Liverpool are currently ninth in the Premier League and they just lost 3-0 to Brighton. But now the transfer window is open, they have just signed Cody Gakpo from PSV. And I sure am excited to use him in this career mode. But guys, FSG have given Klopp this contract for this season. He has to get top four in the Premier League, reach the quarterfinal of the Champions League and win a trophy to keep his job next season. And if we take a look at the side, it's not like we have a bad roster to work with. I don't know how they're ninth. But we're going to be working with players like Salah, Trey, Trent, Van Dijk, and even Allison in goal. I don't see how we don't get top four with this side. Of course, we're going to have to make signings. And luckily, we have 160 million to work with. And stay tuned, because we will be converting one of our defenders to a complete different position. But guys, there are going to be rules with how we can spend this money. In the summer transfer window, we can only make three signings. And one of you guys had a great suggestion, saying that Liverpool have a buy-to-sell policy under FSG. So that's exactly what we're going to do. If we wanted to sign a new new midfielder, let's say Jude Bellingham, then a good player to sell would be Oxley chamberlain And he actually is one of the players I do want to get rid of. He's on there with Firmino and Carvalho. He's going to go out on loan. And we've kind of won the lottery with our Youth Academy prospect. We've got this Foster who has a 76 to 94 potential. And right now it's 69 overall and we're going to convert him to a striker so he probably will actually go up. I do currently have a bunch of players on the short list and you guys have suggested these players. Of course, center midfield is the main position and you guys want me to sign Nunes from Wolverhampton as he is linked to IRL and he is Premier League proven. But we might as well get straight to it because you guys are going to be suggesting we sign Jude Bellingham non-stop. And I agree, Jude Bellingham would be a fantastic signing to Liverpool and somewhat realistic. If you guys want to know if we're actually going to sign him, then stay tuned. Another suggestion from you guys saying convert Trent to a centre mid from a right back and buy Hakimi as a replacement. Trent currently gets a plus one at right back. If we move him to centre mid, he gets a plus three and it would only take four weeks to convert him to a center mid so we might as well do it because his defending is not great but if we're to sign Hakimi as a replacement PSG are asking between 60 and 70 million but I reckon we could get him closer to valuation maybe 50 but one player we're gonna actually sign right now is Livermeno from the Liverpool B side aka Southampton because we don't actually have a backup right back and if we were to sign Livermeno right now we could just play Trent at center mid 12.5 million they straight up at set that. Our first offer gets straight up accepted. I don't know if this is going to be a good deal or not. And that's our first signing. A B. That's not actually that bad. But Trent starts center mid and Livermano is now at right back. I've nearly messed up on the first signing. To sign someone, we have to sell someone. So we're going to have to sell a player like Oxline Chamberlain or Firmino soon, as we're going to be in trouble. Man City offer 52 million for Thiago. Absolutely not. But Joe Gomez, an offer from Sevilla, 35 million. Now, this is an interesting offer because he's not been that good IRL. But at the same time, I don't really want to sell him. So I'm going to say 52 million. If they pay that, they're mad and they straight up say no. Now, it'll only take two weeks to move Henderson to a CDM. I will do that because we don't have a backup. Newcastle have offered 9.2 for Chamberlain. Now, we're going to accept that because I don't feel we get much more for it. And the game rate's that an A, so we've done pretty well. Before we sell Firmino, I want to move him to a cam, which means he goes up to 84 overall. All, which means now we should get more for him. And our Youth Academy prospect is now a striker and he only goes up by one. We might as well promote him and loan him out. Cavalho is off to Napoli for a two-year loan deal. And Javier Lid is off to West Ham United for two years. Same as Curtis Jones off to Leicester for two years. Real Madrid are interested in signing Firmino for 35 million. His contract is expiring, so we're going to have to accept that. But here's the big moment, the moment of truth. What rating will Trent B. Now he's a center mid. Will he go up to like 89? We're about to find out. He does. He goes straight up to 89 overall. This midfield is going to be incredible. Trent as a center mid. Fabino, who's insane at CDM. And Thiago. We know how good he is. Henry, Henry, Henry. I see that you're putting Trent at center mid. That man can't even defend. He's going to flop at center mid. Well, Edgar thinks Trent's going to flop, but we're going to prove him wrong. He's going to get so many more goals and assists. And hopefully Kai Foster comes back as the next Cristiano because he's going on loan to Sporting for two years. Now, I know you guys are wondering, what are you going to do with the attack? Because you've got Diaz, Nunes, and Salah, who are very, very good. But you've also got Hyoda and Gakpo, who are also really good. In fact, Hyoda's our highest rated striker. But I'm expecting a lot of you guys to mock and roast Nunes for his finishing. But I honestly think Nunes is going to be our main striker in this series. I'm going to back him because he actually is good IRL and has been a good signing. But do let me know in the 
comments, who do you guys think should be starting over Nunes or Hyodo or even Gakpo and Diaz? Right now, we're going to start Diaz. But I mean, Gakpo will have to have some game time because this guy's got some good potential. So we've now sold two players and bought one player in Livermeno. And we have 199 million to spend. And a couple of great options to replace Trent at right back. Of course, is Hakimi. We spoke about it. But also Fringpong from Bayer Leverkusen. It'd be a little bit cheaper, probably around 35 million. So only 10 million less. And I did say to come back to Drew Bellingham. He'd be a fantastic signing. Probably cost 70 million. But guys, I think we should be signing him at the start of season two. We did just use him in the Chelsea series and he would be a great replacement to Thiago if he leaves in the summer. And if you guys are excited for this brand new series with Liverpool, then drop the video a like, subscribe and turn the bell on if you're new. And if you want to see extra career mode content, my second channel, more HRS, is in the description. Our first competitive game of the season is actually Man City in the Community Shield, so we could actually win a trophy. We're going to make no changes. This is our strongest lineup and I'm excited to see what Trent can do at center mid. Of course, we do expect City to be in a title race with us this season, or at least we hope. I mean, we better not be as bad as Liverpool have been IRL, but we have to get top four. Oh no, here's a counter-attack for Erling Haaland. He threw on goal. Surely this nope. is a goal. What a bit of defense by Matip and Van Dijk. Oh, Alisson nearly making a mistake there at the back. We've got Livermeno coming forward. Now back to Salah. Onto that left. Don't want to hit it. Back out to Livermeno. Good opportunity. Now in the box to Trent. Oh, what a block. Now is it center mid? He will score more goals and get more assists. We will prove that go wrong. Here's Trent on the ball in midfield. What strings is he going to pull? He's found a nice ball there to Nunes. Now a nice ball to nope. Diaz. Tries to chip the keeper. What a save. Oh, no. Here's Haaland. They've got options. They've got blue shirts in the box. Surely the goal always messed it up. All he had to do is make the pass and he couldn't want an interception. Thiago. Nunes is in behind. This should be the goal. Liverpool to go 1-0 up. Darwin Nunes. Can he finish it? Yes, he does. He doesn't mess that one up. It's 1-0 Liverpool in the final. Oh, what a tackle. Verge. But on a silver, that's the goal. Straight away, City are back in it. 15 minutes to play, and City are back in it. What a tacky goal that is. I don't know how we let Bernardo through like that. But I want to win this in real time. I don't want to be going to extra time or straight to penalties, whatever it is. Here comes Trent. We're going to get this ball out wide to Mo Salah now. Back to Trent. He's going to cross it in straight away. What a ball. That is a Trent cross. And City do get this one away. It's Kevin De Bruyne on the ball. Now Mares. He crosses it in. Big header away, Verge. Now Mares on the ball. Oh, what a block. One last minute of the game. If they score here, it is too late for us to get back in it, and they've won it. Crossed in. Trent will get that away. Just about. Still not gone. Oh, that could have been the winner there for City, but does this go to penalties? It does. It goes straight to a penalty shootout. Are you kidding me? Fabino to step up first. We're just going to hammer this to the left. I was going to go to the right, but the keeper's nope. going to go to the left. We should have gone to the right. Kevin De Bruyne is also going to go to the left and you're not stopping that. Now Mo Salah also going to go to the left. Surely he scores this one. He doesn't. Are you kidding me? Erling Haaland is also going to go to the left. He doesn't and it's 2-0 on pens. Darwin Nunes do not miss a penalty. He's going to the right and he scores that. What a pen. Now Mares is going to go to the right. He does. What a save. Now Thiago we're just going to smash this down the middle. Keeper's going to dive to the side. He nope. stays down the middle. Are you kidding me? This keeper, all they have to do is score and they have won. We're going to go to the right and Man City have won the penalty shootout to win the Community Shield. Not a great way to start off the season. It is nice to win it when you're in it, but Man City win it. Kevin De Bruyne lifts it. Congratulations to them. Now, one player on the side who can actually play right back is Joe Gomez. But he does get a negative four if we play him there now. And to convert him would take like a year, so we basically can't play that. Ooh, the first game of the season in the Premier League is Everton, the Merseyside Derby. And it's also at Anfield. We're going to keep the same squad as we did last game. We did play amazing, but it was our first game of the season and we were playing City. This really is not a game we can be dropping points in and we could be conceding. Virgil with the tackle. Oh no, here's Mope through. Nope. Goal. Oh, he's messed that one up. What a save, Alisson. But he really he should have been doing better. Here's Luis Diaz on the left-hand side. He's just smoking everyone right now. He's going past them all. Still Luis Diaz. Options in the box. We'll chip it up. We've got Salah in there. Not for the header, though. Now I've got Thiago. Takes it down. Hits it. Oh, what a goal. It's upside. 
side. Are you kidding me? What, what, what on earth happened? I don't want to know about Aspas to Arsenal. That's a terrible signing. What on earth happened there? And now they're throwing goal. Mope, is he going to mess this Wee. one up? Chip oh, I don't believe it. I do not believe it. He's chipped Allison. It's 1-0 Everton. And we're now losing. Right, we have a corner here just before halftime. Is this the way we're going to get back in it? Trent. Now to Thiago. Edge of box. Now we've got Trent. Good bit of play. Wide to Thiago. Back to Trent. Goes to hit one. Oh, easy save. That's half time. Here's Thiago. Ball over the top for Luis Diaz. We need that equalizer, man. Here's Trent. Edge of box. Big opportunity. Hits it on his right. Oh, just over the bar. Oh, no. Gordon's in behind here for Everton. He's messed that up. Is he going to score, though? What a save, Allison. Nearly a second goal. I mean, the ball's still not gone. What a nope. tackle. Oh, another good save. But we going to get anything from this game. Everton put the corner in. Not a great one. We can head that away. Oh, another save, Allison. 15 minutes to play. Okay, we win the ball. This is our last opportunity of the game, though. The referee is literally about to blow it, and he does. We lose our first game of the season to Everton at Anfield. You guys need to get in the comments and let me know who are we signing in this career mode. Because this squad right now is really, really good, but we've just been smashed by Everton. I mean, it was only 1-0, but we did not show any signs of scoring. And we do actually now have 222 million to spend. After our first game of the season, we're in the bottom three. In our next game versus Aston Villa, we can be getting nothing but three points. Oh, I don't believe it. Danny Ings is through for Villa. I do not believe it. Four minutes in, under five minutes, and Danny Ings of four people has scored. Perhaps this career mode is going to be like IRL. We're going to be ninth in January. And perhaps Edgar is right, and Trent's going to flop. Here is Trent in the midfield. Get that ball out wide to Livermeno. We do need a new right back, Salah. Now to Diego. Shot a big opportunity. He's done so well. Sweated a cross. Tony, Tony Gakpo with the equalizer. I just called him Tony Gakpo. Hopefully, I'm not calling him that during the whole series. It's Cody, not Tony. Oh, no, that's a ball in behind there. Oh! It's a second goal for Danny Ings. I don't believe it. What on earth is our defense right now? 2-1 Aston Villa and Coutinho with the assist. This is awful. Oh, no. Here's Leon Bailey. Oh, he's done us there. Oh, that could have been a third. Here's Thiago coming forward. We're going to slip that through to Jota. Surely the equalizer. Loads of goals in this game so far. On his left. That's the finish just before the break. It's equal. Here's Cash for Villa. They're not finishing. Nope. Could be an Ings hat trick. What a save, Allison. Half an now left to play. And Aston Villa want to win this. We want to win this. And it might end up in just being a draw. But here they are. Leon Bailey. What a block, Livermano. Still not gone. Camera in the box. Oh, no. Oh, I don't believe it. We're so bad at defending. Leon Bailey with another goal. I mean, to say another, he hasn't even scored yet. Look at that. What are we doing? Oh, here's Ollie Watkins. Is through. I, the, I, at least this isn't 7-2 or something. It's 4-2. It's 4-2. It's offside. We could still get a draw at this game, but we need to pull our finger out. Here's Robertson. Now we've got Gakpo. That's a ball in behind there for Jota. That's what we need to do more off. What a bit of defending. Liver and Menno, what a tackle. I thought he dribbled that out. He goes back post. Gakpo with the header. Is he onside? That's the question. I mean, is he? Why, why are we not seeing the players? Out? This game's amazing, by the way. What's going on? What is going on here? It's a goal. Apparently, it's a goal. Three all. We could win this. Gakpo. Now he's got Shotter. Oh, he's turned his man. I don't believe it. Shotter is still on the ball. With his left, hits it over the bar. That could have been it. Nice head of Trent. It is still not over. Mo Salah coming on the right-hand side. This is good. Shotter's in a good position. What a bad pass that is. That will be game versus Villa. In, in fact, no, this could be a win for Villa. Coutinho. Now we've got Digne. He's going to cross it in. It's in the box too. The potential hat trick. Nope. Oh, what a save. Get that away. Hey, blow the whistle. We get a point away at Aston Villa. We take Trent out this defense and it somehow gets worse. We need to sign a Hakimi or a Fring Pong next episode. You guys need to get in the comments let me know what right back should we sign to start in the 11. After two games, we now have one point and we're sat 11th in the table. And we've actually started Gakpo and Shotter up top. Same as the last game in this one. Here's Trent. We're actually going to shoot at your box here on his right. Oh, what a goal! Trent, that is why it's in a center mid position. If he was right back, he wouldn't be edge of box there. Check this out. Ball edge of box. And this is perfection. He bends this. And look where it goes. Holsten in. 
top corner. That is beautiful. That man can even defend. He's going to flop at center mid. But is this defense, which hasn't stopped a thing so far this season, going to stop nope. Leeds? What a save. Nope. The rebound. Oh, no. Get it out. <laughs> yes, what a goal line clearance. Oh, but here comes Shotta. Now he's got Gagpo. I tell you what, this pair have played well since we've played them. Gagpo takes a block. And that's the 90 minutes. We get a 1-0 win versus Leeds. And that's our first one of the season. We keep our spot in 11th, but we've now played 3-1-1, drawn one, and lost one. Despite our bad starts this season, I still think this squad can achieve some good things this season. Of course, we have to win a trophy, get to four, and finish in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. Is that guy going to be right? Will Trent flop at center mid? Or will he actually do well? I think we can go off that goal he scored last game. But let me know in the comments if we've made the right decision. As I said, we've got £222 million pounds to spend. Are we going to sign Hakimi or Fring Pong for that right back position? If you guys have enjoyed episode one, excited for this series, leave it a like, subscribe if you're new, turn the bell on. Episode two will be out tomorrow. So stay tuned for that. If you want to see extra career mode content, my second channel is on the screen now. This Liverpool team is looking amazing. But we're currently 11th after three games. And you won't believe it, but we lost our first game of the season to our rival's evident. And now they're throwing goal. Mope, is he going to mess this Whee! one up? Chip oh, I don't believe it. I do not believe it. He's chipped Allison. It's 1-0 Everton, And we're now losing. Last episode, we did move Trent to a centre midfielder as his defending isn't amazing. And he's definitely going to play better here. Here because check out this screamer he scored. Here's Trent. We're actually going to shoot at your box here on his right. Oh, what a goal! That is why he's in a center mid position. If he was a right back, he wouldn't be at your box there. We have 222 million pounds to spend. We did sign Livermeno last episode, but we do need a better starting right back. And one of the best options out there is Hakimi from PSG, but he'd cost around 50 million. Or maybe even Jeremy Fringpong from Bayer Leverkusen. There's some great options out there, and you guys did put your suggestions in the comments. And this guy's suggesting we go for Mazawi, Calabiera, or Dumfries. Now, I don't think we'd be able to go in for Mazawi because he has just signed for Bayern Munich. But I tell you what, Dumfries would be a fantastic signing. 83 overall, 26. Good defensively, good going forward. But is he as good as Hakimi? This guy would fit the role great and would be a perfect replacement to Trent. Of course, last episode, we sold Firmino to Real Madrid, Chamberlain, and this guy called Phillips. This matters because to sign a player, we have to sell a player. May have 200 million, but FSG really aren't going to let us spend too much of that. And guys, don't forget, Klopp this season has that contract from FSG, meaning he has to get top four, reach the quarterfinal in the Champions League, and win a trophy to keep his job next season. But this guy's suggesting we replace Matip with Bastoni. Matip is apparently getting old. And I agree, Matip is now 31. He's 84 overall. We need a replacement to him, but we have that player. We have Konate, who's 81 overall, and is 23, so we're completely fine for center back. And Gomez is 81. He is 25, so he's young, but he's not been amazing IRL. So you guys still need to let me know. Are we selling him? But when it comes to right back, I'm talking between Hakimi or Dumfries. We can't sign Mazawi and Fring Pong we've signed too many times. Guys, I've started a new server on Football Team Game. I've set up this new club, HISFC, and I need you guys to join and play along. Because as you can see, there's a lot of empty spots in the side right now. When you guys sign up, you'll have to create yourself a player. This is currently my player. He looks somewhat like me. And these are all his skills and bonuses. I show you guys some live gameplay. I've just tuned into this live match between these two sides. And finally, we have a goal. The Kings have scored, so they're probably going to win this game. Guys, this game is completely free. New English servers. Join my team or create your own with your friends. Link to play will be in the description and the pinned comment. Go check it out. So we're going to put an offer in for Dumfries. He's valued at 33.5 million. So if we go in with 30 Six. See what Inner Milan say to that. They want Diaz. Okay, 37 million. They want 50. I don't really want to be spending more than 40 million on Dumfries. And they have stalled it, which normally means they come back and accept it. Let's see what we can get Hakimi for. He's valued at 46. Now, this one, I don't want to mess up. So I'm going to go straight in with 57. 11 million over his valuation. And they straight up accept it. Maybe 11 million over valuation, but hopefully we can still get an A out this transfer. Five year deal. What does he say to that? He's fine with it. No release clause in the wage. Okay, let's make it a little bit more realistic. 120k a week. He should say yes to that, and he does. Here he is in the shirt. Our second signing of this series so far, and our second right back of the series so far. It's not 
of the most unrealistic transfers. Well, and today, that's a really good deal. And now this defense is looking a whole lot stronger, but in game, it's awful. So I'm going to change our tactics. Our depth is at 70. I don't normally play like that. Let's put it down to 55. Do you know what? Let's put our width to 40 and see if we start to defend a little better. And number line did come back and accept the offer for 40 million for Dumfries, but of course, we don't need him now. That's transfer deadline day done till January. We've only made two signings, but I don't want to go too crazy in this career mode. And if you guys are enjoying this new series, then drop the video a like, subscribe if you're new, and turn the bell on. Now, West Ham is our first game in today's episode, and we get a 3-2 win. We've actually won a game in the last minute with Mo Salah. He got a brace and Luis Diaz. We now have the Champions League, and this is our group for this season. We have Ajax, Napoli, and Rangers. And our first game in the group is actually Ajax away. I said Nunes would be playing a lot this season. It will probably be our main striker, but guys, Jair Hjot is now 86 overall. We have rotated slightly in this one, but still a strong side. Oh, here comes Ajax on the ball. Tad it. What a ball. What a save, Allison, And just keeps it out. Oh, no. Here's a good opportunity. Robbie. Oh, they've hit one. Ooh. Finds the Ajax up. This does look like a good counter-attack. Oh, he spun his man there. Kept the ball. Wow. Now Mo Salah. Surely the nope. goal on his left. What a save, really. Oh, his timber. Oh, that's a ball. That's nope. a ball. That's a save by the keeper. Now here's De Hjot up. That's a ball in behind there for Gakpo. Big shot onto his right foot. Gonna bend it from here. It's way out. Oh, what a goal, Cody Gakpo. This guy has probably been the best player so far in this series. What a goal. Look at this little chop there on his right. I could have got a whole lot closer, but, you know, keeper was not expecting that. God is making the run. We'll go over the top. What a big opportunity. Takes it down on his left. Oh, what a goal. 2-0 Liverpool. Diego Jota finds the top corner. Maybe the Premier League is going to be tough like IRL, but this side always seems to perform in the Champions League. Oh, here's a big opportunity for them to get back in it. Allison does his job again. 20 minutes left. If I had to get a goal here, it would be massive. Windell on the ball. Oh, he's He's done it there. Oh, what a goal. I thought he was going to pass it. What a goal. Wendell, he just stuck to it and beats Allison. Tell you what, I could really get a draw out of this. We've got eight minutes to go. Less than that now. All it will take is a goal and they get a point. Nice defense, Hakimi. And that's the 90 minutes. It's a 2-1 win versus Ajax. And I'm pretty happy with that performance. We defended okay and going forward, we were good. Back to the Premier League playing Brentford and it's a 2-0 win. There we go. Diaz and Darwin Nunes. And we get a 3-1 win versus Badley in the Cabo Cup. Gakpo over brace. And now we're fourth place in the Premier League after fifth games. Three wins, one draw and a loss. We're now starting to pick up some good form. But now we have Brighton, so hopefully this goes a little better than it did IRL. And as I said, this team is starting to play good football, so I'm sure it will. Trent, he's got some space here. We'll hit it on his right. He's got a good shot. I tell you what, it's all Brighton. They've had so many possessions now. They're coming down the left-hand side. They chip it in. Oh, what a big opportunity. Right, Brighton are clearly playing well here. So we need to make the most of any opportunities we get. John Matip on the ball. Here's Robertson. Now I've got Thiago on the ball. Goes for the gap. Good stuff. Can't make the pass. Oh, but in the last minute of the game, here's Lewis Diaz. Our final opportunity. we we'll either score and get the win, or we don't. Oh, it looks like we're going to be crossing this one in. We'll make the pass there to Salah on his left. Nope. It's it. What a save, Sanchez. And that's the 90 minutes. Brighton, Brighton. Why are they so good, man? They get a point. To be fair, this isn't the easy group in the world. We should be getting through. We're top of the group right now. And next up, we're facing Napoli. For the next episode, I will get the mod installed, so we actually have their badge. Do you know what? I feel we can actually rotate slightly in this one. We're going to play Henderson in the midfield. We'll get Canale at the back. Why not? But we're going to play Nunes and Diaz. Early on, they have an opportunity. And early on, they get a goal. Wow. 1-0 Napoli like that. I did not expect this. And we hit back, though. Here's Diaz. Oh, oh, no, he's killed that. He's played it in the air. I tried to put it on the ground. Here's Salah. Pulls it back onto that left. He can do anything here. He hits nope. it. Good save. We have Trent on this corner, and we need to make the most because we've got 15 minutes left. He puts the ball in the box. Salah wins the header. Now Nunes. Salah. Oh, how you not finished it? Nunes over the bar. Come on. And that's the 90 minutes. Great. We get a 1-0 loss to Napoli at Anfield. It'll be interesting to know who is our top goal scorer. Gakpo. Five goals in 
five games and only two for Salah, but he's got four goal contributions. He'll just pick that up. Up next, we have Arsenal at the Emirates. I think we have to be starting Cody Gakpo. It's our top goal scorer right now. Do we start Nunes or do we start Xhara? I'm going to start Xhara. Philly has been better. I think we have discovered that top four is going to be a whole lot harder than we thought. And here's Gakpo on the ball. He's kept that well. Still got the ball. Still Gakpo. Gets that out wide to Hakimi. Pulls that back. Now to Gakpo. Takes a touch. Going to go for a long shot. Oh, not a bad effort. Oh, what a tackle. Matip is going on one of his little wonders going forward. Now a ball to Salah. Big opportunity. Onto that left foot. How did you not expect that? Going to hit it. Takes a block. Could have been a penalty. Oh, how's that not a penalty? Tell you what, this game has a draw written all over it. If that went in the top corner there, I'd look like an absolute mug. Now here's Odegaard. His sack on the ball. Oh, no. I do not believe it. I don't believe it. How have we just conceded that? Saka to Jesus. Flicks it up. Keeper comes out. Doesn't get it. A little pass and a goal. I'd said it would be a draw, but I tell you what. We have been better than Arsenal, and we find ourselves losing. If it's anyone to make that impact, it's Salah. Gakpo's getting back in the box. Our top goal scorer. We cross it in. Robertson. Oh, just make the pass. Come on. We can make something happen here. Salah on the ball. Oh, it's loose. Now Robertson. Crosses one in. Matic. He's been so good this game. Wide a goal. Maybe one more counter attack. No, that's it. That's game. 94 minutes played. A 1 0 loss. And we were the better side. And we bounce back with a win versus Fulham. And we do just about 2 1. Darwin Nunes with a brace. We get a 3 1 win versus Rangers in the Champions League. Diaz with a brace. And Darwin Nunes again. Three games into the group stage. And we find ourselves second spot. Only two points away from third. But things are not looking so good in the Premier League. We already find ourselves eight points away from top of the league. Now, we do have a five-star, four-star scout, and we're going to send this guy out next episode. What country do you want me to send him to? We've gone to South Africa before. We've gone to India. Try and find the next Messi. I'm thinking maybe America next. Let me know in the comments down below. We're back to the Premier League now. Nottingham Forest, and again, just about winning. Hakimi in the last three minutes. Of course, Klopp has to win a trophy this season. I feel the Calibre Cup and the FA Cup is our best bet. And we get a 3-0 win versus Coventry City in the Calibre Cup. And also a 3-0 win versus Bournemouth. You can't stop us right now. We're back to the Champions League playing Rangers and if we lose this game, as you saw from the group, we're in trouble. But if we win it, quite the opposite. Here's Mo Salah. Do you know what? A couple more touches. In fact, let's just go through everybody. He's kept the ball like Messi and eventually loses it. Here's Darwin Nuno. Slips that to Diaz. Big chance on his leg. Nope. Hits it. What a save. Here's Mo Salah. Now Trent. Oh, we're going to wind a power shot up here. Oh, that was going in. I'm telling you. We've got a penalty. Apparently, there was a handball. So Trent hit one. We can see if it was going in. It was... Oh, that was going... That was... That was definitely going in. That was going in the top corner. But the important thing is the penalty. The VAR check. That is not a pen. It just hit his shoulder. Is Thiago coming forward? Oh, that's a pass there to Darwin in the box. To Salah. How's he not scored? Here comes Robertson on the left-hand side. Darwin's making the run. Now give that to Diaz. Now in behind for Darwin Nunes. Back to Diaz. Has he got the finish on his right? No, he hasn't. It's another penalty. How many VARs are we going to have? Hopefully this one is actually a pen. He hits it. I can't really see. So, I mean, he gets his hand, but it's not by his side or in a natural position. This is a debatable one. Whatever decision I make, you guys are going to say something else. The pitchforks are going to be in the comments, but we're taking this one. VAR says it's a pen. We're going to go to the right-hand side. We did miss some pens last episode, and some say justice for Rangers. We miss it. Uh, oh, what a save, Allison. Rangers are really getting close to this goal. He's Morales. Yep. Oh, what an interception, Virgil. Can we build off that interception? Nunes making the run. Oh, through the gap. What a ball. Here's Darwin Nunes. Fake shot through the gap. No, we don't. That that was awful. Oh, what a tackle. Tiago. Luis Diaz. Now it's fine. Nunes. Now Salah has to be the goal. On to his left. Got to finish it. What a goal, Mohamed Salah. That is what we love to see. 18 minutes left the play. Liverpool get the goal. Well, look at this. We've got Trent edge of box. Now Salah. Now Hakimi. Back to Salah. On his left. Goes to hit one. Oh, what a goal! 
That is goal of the season. Surely, that is insane. Take a look at this. Just about had the angle to shoot before getting closed down. Hits it there. And that could be more top corner. I can confirm Salah has officially signed in. He is now here. The season starts now for Salah. That is fantastic. He has single-handedly won us that game. Now, take this form to the Premier League, to bottom of the league, Southampton. And, of course, we drop points. Salah scores again, but a two-all draw. That is Southampton's third point of the season, by the way. But now we have Chelsea, and you won't believe this, but they're seven points above us. So they're a whole lot better than us. And if we lose, then we're in some big trouble. They whip the corner in. We get that away. Oh, I thought that was it. Oh, but you won't believe this. Here's Luis Diaz. We're not going to pass it. Still, Luis Diaz is going to go the whole way. He's going to shoot, and he's going to miss it. But thankfully, Mo Salah has turned up. His season started in the Champions League. That's another goal for Mo Salah. He has arrived. He's going to be a top goal scorer this season and best player this season. Ooh. Oh, that would have been a penalty, but chance to get straight back in it with Hakimi. 54 minutes in, Diaz. Now a pass. Oh, what a pass that was. In between the lines. Now Salah. Perfect. Still Salah. Chips the keeper. I should have just finished it. And that's it. That's game. We get a point to Chelsea. And Salah really could have won it at the end there. After 12 games, we're now 7th in the league on 22 points. And we have two games left in the Champions League group stage. We need one more win to qualify. But if we lose both of our next games and Ajax win, then we could find ourselves in the Europa League. But guys, January is around the corner. We have 159 million to spend. Get your suggestions down below. If you've enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. If you want to see extra criminal content, my second channel is on the screen now. Last episode, we signed Hakimi from PSG for 60 million. And I've got to say, our defense now is looking a whole lot stronger. But unfortunately, after 12 games, we are seventh in the league. Guys, this career mode is quite realistic. And we're also doing well in the Champions League like IRL. We're second in our group after four games. But you guys need to check out this goal of the season from Salah last episode. Back to Salah. On his left. Goes to hit one. Oh, what a goal! That is goal of the season. Surely, that is insane. Stay tuned as we have a five-star, four-star scout, and we're going to send him to the United States to try and find the next American Messi. Last episode, what do you guys said in the comments? If Klopp gets the sack, then replace him with Gerard. Of course, Klopp could quite easily get sacked this season because he has a contract from FSG where he has to finish top four, which we're struggling to do right now, get quarterfinal in the Champions League, and win a trophy to keep his job next season. Now, we're actually going to send out this scout all the way to the United States. Of course, we've done this with South Africa and India so far, as there is a lot of you guys from those countries who watch the channel. We're going to send it out for nine months. That is done. Perhaps next we do Ireland. Let me know in the comments. But stay tuned, because we will have the first scout report coming back soon, and we might have a good youth player in it. First game of the episode. It's a tough one. I exit the Champions League, and we get a 2-0 win. We have our biggest rifle up next, Man. Manchester United at Anfield. And guys, they're currently third in the league and we're now eighth, apparently. We've got our strongest side out for this one and hopefully we can get the win. We need the win. Because if we find ourselves losing this one, we go even further away from top four. It's Jaden Sancho. He's done really well nope. early on. What a save, Allison. Oh, he's shick. That is a striker they've signed. And he's not a bad player. Now Anthony on the ball. Another not bad player. Good tackle. Oh, here's a good opportunity for United. Bruno across the box. What a save again, Allison. So we need to be careful here. They're looking good. Oh, is Bruno Fernandes? Surely this nope. is a goal. Another save, Allison. Surely this goal is coming for United. Casemiro, edge of box. Van der Beek. Look at this. Passing Anthony. Delo. Now in the box. Get it away. Still not gone. Anthony on the ball. Delo. Anthony goes to hit it. We finally get it away. Oh, what an interception, Darwin Nunes. The pass across the box. What was that? The wrong player. To be fair, we've actually defended really well and kept United out of this one. Robertson, fantastic. Crosses one in. Mo Salah with the header. What a bit of defense. Hakimi. Oh, we've gone to wind one up nope. there. Oh, what a save there. We're bringing on Gakpo. He's our top goal scorer right now, I'm pretty sure. I don't know why we didn't start him. I'm really hoping with this sub now, we can try and win this game in the last couple of minutes. Here's Gakpo on the ball. That's an overlap there. 
by Robertson. Can we get the ball out to him? We couldn't even make the pass. That'll be game. In fact, United could possibly win this later on. Bruno on the ball. Oh, no. Nope. You're kidding me. What a save, Alisson. He has saved us in this game. We should now be beating Palace. And we get another draw. Trent with a red card in the last two minutes as well. This season is not going amazing so far. We're now seventh in the league. And we're five points away from top four. So in this game versus Wolverhampton, we're going to have to rotate. We can't start Trent, which is a massive loss this midfield, by the way. We're going to have to play Artur. We're tired in defense as well. We've got to play Kanadi and Gomez at the back. We've got the yellow ball out for this one because it's snowing. Here comes Luis Diaz. We should have probably started Gakpo again. He's doing well here, though. Makes a pass. Salah nope. for 1 0. What a save. Who are we going to slip this to? We're going to get that out wide to Salah. Takes it down on his left. Nope. Both the Ben one. What a save. An early goal really would be fantastic. Mo Salah. Do you know what? We're just going to hit that again. Oh, what a save. Save. Guys, I'm pretty sure that number 11 for Wolves is Oxline Chamberlain. We sold him to them. Mo Salah over the top there for Nunes. Big opportunity. It's Diaz. Hits it. Oh, what a goal. Top left third corner. 1 0 Liverpool. Terrific assist by Mo Salah. He took it down. Luis Diaz thought it was Nunes. And check that finish out. Top corner. Here's Robertson. Now it's Luis Diaz looking for that second. Back out wide to Robertson. Good counter attack here. Just going to hit it to be fair. And that's a goal for the left back. It's 2 0 Liverpool. Surely we're going to get the win here. Oh, what a goal. I don't believe it. How did that go in? Expecting the whistles be blown for half time. He hits that edge of boss, goes through a couple of players and beats Allison. What a goal. Akimi's got a red card. How on earth was this a red card? We actually might bottle this game. The ball was played through. Okay, yeah, that was not a great tackle. Here's a Damatrare. Oh, no, close him down across the box. Of course they do it. 15 minutes to go, and they get the equalizer. Right, we need someone to save us in the final minute. Salah on the right-hand side. I tell you what, he's doing really well here. Here's Salah onto that left foot. Oh, he's tackled. Just keep the ball. How's he being tackled in that situation? If we get the ball there, come on, referee. He's blown it. He's bottled it. It's a 2 all draw. We've bottled it. That's the point. We have a final game in the group stage, and we're currently second, level on points with Napoli. So if we want to top the group, we're going to have to beat them here, and we're going to have to rotate quite a bit. We're going to line up like this, and luckily we have Trent back for this one. It's Jordan Henderson early on. I could look to shoot here. You know what? I'm just going to shoot for Ray. What a goal, Henderson. I really thought I made a mistake there by hitting it, but clearly not. Check out this goal. Doesn't start very often, but perhaps we need to. Perhaps that's what's going wrong. Look at that. Top right hand corner. Here's Politano and the boss goes to hit one at the post. What an effort. Here's Trent on the ball now. Do you know what? We're going to wind up a long shot. He's hit that. And do you know what? That was not a bad effort. Here's Gakpo. Shotter over the shoulder. Maybe the volley. What a bit of defense. Second half now. Here's Gakpo. We're going to take another long shot. Nope. He hits it. Oh, Forster. Good save. Here's Simicast coming forward. Nice pass in behind there for Gakpo. Surely the second goal. Oh, doesn't need to pass it. There we go. 2 now. Fantastic assist by Simican. And you would fully expect us now to top the group. That is a finish by Gakpo. This guy needs to be starting over Diaz. Oh, what a ball there from Hakimi at the back. Nice header. What a goal this would be. Please don't mess this up. Out wide to Salah. Here he is coming forward. Still Salah. Could be a great goal. Gonna hit it. Oh, what a goal, Mamed Salah. 3-0 Liverpool. That is a team goal. The long ball. Salah does all the work. And the finish was amazing. What a goal. And that's the 90 minutes. We top the group. Get the three points. That is looking good for Klopp. We're currently seventh in the league. And guys, we're now six points away from top four. And Leicester City a third. And that's who we're playing up next. And they're clearly doing very good. Hakimi can't start because of his suspension. And we will play gap over Diaz. I know he's slightly tired. But I feel this guy just has to be playing right now. Here's Nunes. Oh, we take a touch. We take a long shot. Blocked. Here's Thiago. Out wide to Trent. Now in the box to Salah. <laughs> Vanessa is it. What a save. Oh, no. Tillemans on a free kick here. Do you know what? We're going to try put a man on the line. I don't think we're going to make it over the wall. Oh, nearly going in. Here's Thiago. Thiago makes a nice ball over the top to Salah. Wins the header. Now Nunes. Now to Gakpo. Onto that right. 
Goes to hit nope. one. Oh, nice save. Here's Trent. We really need to turn this one into a goal. Always oh, kept it nice. He's done so well there. His shot on the ball. Now wide to Thiago. Oh, what was that for a touch? And that's the 90 minutes. We get a point. We're really failing right now in the Premier League. The round of 16 for the Champions League has been drawn. And you guys are going to want to see who we have. So stay tuned. I'll be revealing this later on in the episode. We now have Newcastle away. And we finally win a game. 4-1. Mo Salah Henderson. Robertson and Luis Diaz. Now, this is a big game. Spurs at home, and they're two points above us in sixth. And we're not just going to start Gakpo this game, but we're also going to bench Nunes and start Diaz shot. I'm pretty sure you guys want to see this guy start more. Let me know in the comments. He's most rolling the ball early on. I don't really want to pass it. I know how good his shooting is. Going past number five. That's a gap. We're going to go hit it. Nope. Oh, what a save, Lloris. Here's Salah again on the ball. He really did get into things last episode. Oh, he's done so well. There's a gap. He hits one. Never good save, Lloris. Now Trent. Oh, that's a long shot opportunity. Could have been a handball. It is. We're going to VAR. It very often is not a handball with these power shots. Trent hits it. And yeah, looks like his hand is by his side. Ooh. It is by his side, but he's turning into the ball. I think in the Premier League, that would be given. So what an opportunity we have here with Mohamed Salah. Gonna, we're going to go for something cheeky here. Keep a better time. He doesn't. I don't believe it. We've gone and messed up a penalty. Still Thiago. Good stuff. Thiago, long shot, pads it up. Oh, what a save. I'm going to try something here with Salah. I mean, we, we need a goal and we're trying all sorts, but edge of the boot shot there. Good save. Really would be disappointing if Spurs were to score here. After all that, we've done nope. the two, but what a save. Rebound, is it there? No, it's not. We get it away and we can keep the ball. Thiago, oh, he's done well. Now Robertson, beautiful bit of passing here. Gakpo coming forward. Over the top there for Jota. Can he take it down? Good defense. Here's Harry Ken on the ball. Hits one. Good save, Allison. Who's down the middle, but you had to keep your focus there. Can we come forward now with this counter-attack and make something happen? Here's Gakpo. Oh, what a ball there to Salah. Perhaps this is finally the goal. Through the gap. What a tackle. Oh, he's, ke he's kept the ball nicely. Still Salah. He's done so well. Nope. Is he finally going to get that goal? Another save. How many attempts do we need to get this goal? Win that header. Good stuff. Now Thiago. Hakimi crosses one up. Can he take it down? Edge of box to Trent. This is just not happening. This is good stuff. Gakpo in the box. Going to smash it. What a save. I was hoping it was Salah from the corner, but now Gakpo. We're going to try hit one. It goes out for another corner. Do not blow the whistle. He does. You cannot end the game or go into halftime on a corner. FIFA just doesn't take that on board. Guys, we have a bunch of contracts inspiring come end of the season. James Milner is retiring, but the biggest one is Mohamed Salah. Seven months left. He's on 230k a week. We're going to want to re-sign him. But of course, this was a massive thing IRL last season. Was he going to sign it or not? He's on 11 goals, 5 assists right now. So what I'm going to say is he has to score 20 goals by the end of the season for us to re-sign him. If he gets approached in January, then we're just going to have to re-sign him so he doesn't go. But we really don't want to be losing our best player for next season. We have the Carabao Cup quarterfinal here versus Nottingham Forest. Klopp has to win this because he has to win a trophy. And this is a competition that he could win and we lose it 3-1. I do not believe it. Why did I sim that game? We lose 3-1 to Nottingham Forest. So our only hope now is basically on the FA Cup. We may currently be eighth in the league, but guys, we're only three points away from four. But we're now facing City at the empty hand, and they're 12 points above us. So we should probably be approaching this game with defense in mind. Because to be fair, a point in this game would be a very positive result. Is Thiago coming forward? He's actually doing really well. Mo Salah's in a decent position. We cross that in. Mo Salah's there. Oh, a mistake at the back, but they get it away. Erling Haaland on the ball now. Oh, it's it's just unfair. Erling Haaland's just too good. A ball so over the top in behind. And look at this for a finish. It's just deadly. Oh, no. Here they come again. Maris in the box. Goes to hit one. What a block. Still not finished, though. Erling Haaland on the ball. Just get a tackle in. Oh, no. Erling Haaland. What a block. Still not gone. Slide in. It's 2-0. I don't believe it. We're getting smashed by Man City. You just cannot be conceding this. A slide in because I know he's going to hit it. And I'm surprised he doesn't get the block. What? What a 
finish there. De Bruyne. Now Thiago on the ball coming forward. Salah's making a run over the top. Salah, that'll be a goal back. What a finish. Go on, get the ball. We don't want to celebrate. We've, we're a goal behind. But that is a fantastic assist by Thiago. And a fantastic finish. Finds the corner. Oh, this could be 3-0. Nope. Oh, it is. Oh, what a save. I don't believe it. We've escaped to half time. Trailing by one. Oh, no. Haaland in the box. That left for De Bruyne. What a save. The rebound. I don't believe it. A FIFA rebound. A typical rebound. Kevin De Bruyne rebound. Look at that. We just can't be doing it. Oh, it's four. I don't believe it. It's Kevin De Bruyne again. Did he? A miles ahead of us. This team is great on paper, but we just can't get it to do anything. I mean, Robertson, well done. Fantastic there, but we're 4-1 down. Get this in behind to Salah. This will be a goal. Mo Salah on the ball. Fantastic. On his right. That's a goal back. Get the ball. It may not be over if we can find that goal. Nunes over the top and behind. Oh, this, this, this could go our way. Nunes, the nope. finish. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, here's Mo Salah coming forward. This could be another goal. Onto that left foot. Oh, he's done that well. It's just going to hit it from there. I should have passed it. I just don't trust anyone else. We want to get a draw. We're going to have to get the goal round about now. Here's Gundogan. Ball over the top. Yes, good defense. Here's Shot on the pitch now. Good job. Dear Shotter on his left foot. Oh, he's missed it. That's it. We've lost it. That should have been a goal. And that's the 90 minutes. It's a 4 2 loss. They were so much better than us. We had a couple of patches where we played all right. But overall, we just need to do a whole lot better than that. Pets may get the win. And we get beat to Villa 3 0. Are you kidding me? How bad are we? Guys, we're 11th in the league and we're seven points away from fourth place Leicester. And great. Our tour has been re called by your Venice. That is not what we wanted. But we do get our first scout report back from the US and this guy looks good. 74 to 94 potential. And this guy as well, Christian White, 70 to 94 potential. That's two players. Oh, we have signed a good player. 63 overall. He looks very good. To be fair, he does look like a center mid. Can we move him to a camp? It would take two weeks. Yeah, we're going to do that because he might actually go up in rating. 44 rated for this CDM. He's definitely not a CDM is more like a winger. We'll convert him to a right winger. That'll take four weeks. I mean, we're looking for the next American Messi, and so far, it looks like we have a right winger, so we're getting close. Now, I did tell you guys to stay tuned so you get to see the round of 16. It's finally here, and you guys won't believe who we have. We have Shakhtar Donetsk. There's probably not a better team to have. That is why it was important that we topped the group. It was either Copenhagen or Shakhtar Donetsk. I think we've done pretty well there. And by next game, is Everton, and you know it's going wrong when they're four points above us. That'll be next episode. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. On the screen, there should be a link to my second channel. We're 10th in the Premier League after 20 games. Guys, Klopp really could get the sack. But the January transfer window is now open, and we have 160 million to spend. And we most likely will be signing this Chelsea player who is linked with Liverpool IRL right now. But one of you guys last episode mentioning that now Firmino is gone, it's only fair that we give number nine to Nunes. I didn't notice this. To be fair, Diego Jota is our highest rated striker at 87, but we will give it to Nunes because they signed him at the start of the season for a lot of money. So we will give him the number nine. But don't forget, guys, we have the number 10 freed up as well. We might even give that to our new signing in this January window. But of course, last episode, we sent a five-star, four-star scout out to the United States to try and find the next American Messi. We have two players signed up right now. One big Christian White, who's a CDM, who's been changed to a right winger, but hasn't decent potential. Same as this Roberts, who's been changed to a cam and also has some super good potential, but is 63 overall, so he's pretty high rated. Both of them are 16, so we might promote them in today's episode and get them loaned out. But of course, that player who is linked IRL is Mason Mount from Chelsea. His contract is expiring soon, and that is in the game as well because he's valued at 47 million, and we could get him under that valuation. But of course, another real estate transfer we could do is Tillemans from Leicester City. It would cost between 15 and 16 million, so quite a bit more. Of course, our tour got recalled to Juventus last episode, so that's why we're going to sign another center mid. We already have Kader as a center mid, so I feel a cam in Mason Mount could be interesting. A cam in this formation would work really well. Of course, I have mentioned Thiago moving on at the start of next season and maybe signing Jude Bellingham, but that could change if Mason Mount really plays well at cam. But before we make an offer and try and sign him, we have our rivals Everton now, and they're four points ahead of us. So the last thing we can be doing in this game is drop 
15 points. His shot are on the ball. Get that out wide to Robertson. Now back in the box. Salah's taking a good touch. Now Hakimi. Back to Salah. Takes a touch. What a bit of defense. Salah, little dink on there to Hakimi. Nice bit of play. Shot is making the run. Ball through the middle. Fantastic finish. Is it there? Oh, what a finish, Jay John. It's 1-0 Liverpool. That is a fantastic start in this Merseyside derby. Great nod on by Salah. Great assist, Hakimi. And that finish is fantastic. Of course, right now, a lot of competition between Nunes and Shodder, who starts up top. Here's a corner evident. They whip it in. That looks good. Oh, what an equalizer, Calvert-Lewin. They're straight back in it. And this really was a fantastic corner. Look at that. Look at the space he had. No one challenging him. He's Gakpo on the ball. Oh, he's done number six there. Shodder in behind. Oh, that's a good ball. Perhaps the finish could pull it back. We are going to go look for Gakpo. It's Trent hits it over the bar. We should have been doing better. Oh, no. Here's Newhouse on the ball. No. Nope. Hit one. What a save, Allison. Now Hakimi. We've got Gakpo back post. We get the ball to him. Takes it down. Now hits it. Takes a block. It's a penalty. A handball. We go to VAR. Please be a penalty. It goes over to Gakpo. He takes it down. He hits it. And that's not a penalty. Come on. His hand's behind his back and it just clips his shoulder. That's not a pen. That would have been a massive goal. Here's Shotter on the ball. He's kept it well. Still Shotter. This is good. We're going to pass this back in the box. Gakpo takes a touch. Oh, he comes off the bar. They get that away. Poorly. Here's Shotter. Going to wind one up. Takes a block. But here's Hakimi. We can keep the ball. What a tackle. We cannot be getting anything but three points from this game. We're literally mid-table right now. Here's Gakpo on the ball. That's an overlap by Robertson. Here we go. Possibly a late winner. Still Robertson. Get in the box. We're going to put this across. That will be it. We're going to get a point to our Merseyside rivals. And they're four points ahead of us right now in the Premier League. This is a joke. Is Mason Mount going to fix that form? Is he going to come in and change stuff at the club? Because don't forget, FSG gave Klopp a contract this season where he has to get top four in the Premier League, get the quarterfinal in the Champions League, and win a trophy as they will sack him. We did go and get knocked out the Cavaco, losing 3-1 to Nottingham Forest in the quarterfinal. So our only hopes of winning a trophy are basically the FA Cup. So we're going to go in and make an offer for Mason Mount. His release clause is 81 million. No, we're just going to try and get him for a decent fit. By the way, if you guys are enjoying this series, leave it a like, subscribe, turn the bell on, and check out my second channel in the description. He's valued at 47 million. So we're going to go in with 42. Just test the waters real quick. They want 45. Hey, we'll go down to 43. I want to get an A here. They accept it. That surely is an A. Rotation, that is how he is going to be. I mean, he's going to have to fight for that position. Trent's been good. I don't know about Thiago, though. I haven't noticed too much from him. Perhaps he's an unsung hero right now at the club. 150k a week. He should accept that, and he does. And that's another signing. Our third signing off the season, and it's finally not a right back. Mason Mount, there he is with Klopp. This could be a reality IRL, because, of course, he is linked. This is realistic. It's strange, but surely this is an A. It's a C. What do you mean it's not an A? We could have saved 6.6 .6 million. I did mention perhaps giving Mount the number 10. I don't feel we should be doing that, though. I don't know. Perhaps Gakpo or Diaz or maybe Diego Shota deserve the number 10. Let me know in the comments. Now, Kader's contract is running out commended this season. He's been approached by AC Milan. But I think we're just going to let him go. I'm not going to renew it. We now have the first round of the FA Cup. Round of 64 versus Ipswich. Guys, we cannot be going out this competition. So we're going to literally rotate as much as we can. We're playing some 63 rated Gordon on the right. I hope we don't have an upset here. I mean, they have the first opportunity. Here's Chaplin on the ball. Go and get a tackling Kowadi. Well done. I am really hoping we smash them here and we get to see loads of goals. I mean, we get to see this Gordon. Perhaps he's a wonder kid. And we just don't know that yet. I mean, he's not the quickest player in the world. We're going to go to Livermeno here. Perhaps cross it in. Good bit of play. Now across the box. That was awful. Oh, now we have Darwin Nunes. We'll slip that in behind that for Diaz. I could have got closer. Not a bad effort, but we should have been scoring that. We're actually in the 70th minute now. Surely this is a goal. Nunes. Oh, have we messed that up? No, we haven't. I thought we did. He scored the goal. 1-0 Liverpool. This should be the second. And hopefully it's Gordon. In fact, he's going to get the assist. He can't even get the 
assist is that bad. And that is the 90 minutes. We get a 1-0 win. We get a 3-1 win versus Leicester in the league. They're actually ahead of us. And Thiago Diaz and Trent with a goal. Guys, we're still 10th in the league after 22 games. It really could be possible that Klopp gets the sack. We're only six points away from four fast and Villa, so it's possible. And Cater is off to Seville on a pre-contract. Okay, Youth Academy prospect who's 63 overall is now a cam and he doesn't go up in rating. But to tell you what we're going to do, we're going to promote him and loan him out. We're playing Wolverhampton now and we do have Mason Mount starting at cam instead of Thiago. So it'll be interesting to see what he can do in this game. I mean, he's done pretty well there. Out wide to Gakpo. Here we go, edge of box from the corner. Here's Trent. He goes to finesse it. He's just hit that straight in the face of Mount. I mean, that's not a great debut in the Premier League. He's been hit in the face. I mean, hopefully that's not the highlight of the game. Here's Hakimi. Back in the box. Shot her against his former club. What a save. So we've had a decent start so far. We're going to go edge of box again. Trent takes it down. Nice. Now Salah is going to hit one nope. on his right. Just about gets a hand to it. I keep going edge of box because I just feel crossing the ball in does absolutely nothing. So we go back to cross the ball in so it does absolutely nothing. I mean, it's just a loop. Oh, they pass it to us. Gakpo always oh, messed it up. What an opportunity that was. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They win the header from the cross. And it's 1-0 Wolverhampton. A free kick from the halfway line from a dodgy foul. They win the header. That is just poor defending. Oh, no. It could be 2-0. Oh, damn it. What a tackle. I was so nervous that was going to be a penalty. Corner Wolverhampton. They cross it in. Get that away. Still a dammer in the box. We Oh, yes. Virgil with his defense. Now, here comes Mo Salah. We've got Shota versus his former club. Here he is. He's through on goal. Has he got the finish? Never touch. There's the finish. There's the goal. That's the equalizer. Let me know down below in the comments how you do the hands up celebration because I didn't really want to celebrate there. That is a finish and a half though. He gets a nice pass to Gakpo. Now slips that to Shoda. Now to Salah. Oh, he's stat padding. What a lucky goal Salah got there. Shoda really could have finished that himself but we're now in the lead. Oh, that's a nice pass there to Salah. Oh, that's a beautiful ball to him. This could be a beautiful goal. Diego Shoda. Oh, it's done so well there. It's a third goal for Liverpool now. And it's getting Sue out. Sue! What an assist from Sally. Takes it down well. Wait. I mean, that's just fantastic. And I didn't even mean to do it. Oh, no. They could get a goal back here. Slide in. What a bit of defense, Matip. Oh, no. What's the keeper doing? No, no, no. What a block, Matip. Oh, no. He's a dummy. You're not going to stop him. He's through on goal. <laughs> that's not the goal. Oh, no. Here's Samido. A dammer. Oh, what a goal. Wolverhampton get back. In it. You can see how bad we are this season. We could play well and still concede two goals. He gets a nice ball out to Gakpo. Oh, that's a nice counter attack. This is good. Back to Gakpo or Shoda, who's going to look to wind one up. Takes a block. Oh, no. Oh, I don't believe it. This is typical. Wolverhampton get an equalizer. How are we this bad? Look at this play. They're playing ball right now. And look at that for a finish. This is dreadful. If we don't get three points, I will be fuming. Mohamed Salah on the right-hand side. This is good. This is a good counter-attack. Oh, I, I mean, he's not agile at all. What was that? He's turning like a bus. Here's Shota. Slips that now to Gakpo. Please be onside. He misses it and he's offside. Okay, one last opportunity. Mason Mount out wide. Yes, Robertson now back in the box. Oh, we mess it up. I do not believe it. We're going to finish mid-table, aren't we? We cannot get a win right now. And that's it. That's nice. 95 minutes played, six goals, one point. Okay, next round of the FA Cup. I feel we can get away with simming this one. I mean, just about a 2-1 win. Mason Mount scoring his first goal, by the way. We have a scout report back from the United States. Are we going to sign anyone this month? So far, no. In fact, not a single player. We get a 4-2 win versus Palace. Salah, Shota, Gakpo, and Shota. And it's official. Roberts is off on loan to another club for two years. Couldn't tell you who they are, though. And now we have Manchester. United away at Old Trafford. If Klopp gets sacked, let me know in the comments who you think should replace him. Oh no, are you kidding me? We start this one off with our CDM getting an injury and it has to go off. I do not believe this. How long is that going to be? We have the Champions League coming up as well. Henderson's going to have to come in. I mean, as I thought, this season couldn't get any harder. That goes and happens. I mean, that really does give United an advantage because Fabinho really does hold this team together. Is Acuna is going to try and get this ball in the box. Oh, so what a tackle. Now that's a through ball to Robertson. Nice counter attack. Still Robertson. Really good stuff here. Gonna pass it. Shoda. Oh, we've got someone coming into the box. It's trying to get in. There we go.
we go. Proving it gone wrong again. Now, this guy will get goals and assists at center mid. And he does it again. He's always scoring when we sim games as well. That's an easy finish. All he has to do is get it on target. United have a corner here. Enjoy it whilst we're winning. They cross it in. We can head that away. Perhaps we might actually win this game. Marcus Rashford on the ball. Now, Martinez out wide to whoever that is. Good tackle. Now, here's Gakpo coming forward. Slips that in behind for Shota. Look at that run by Salah. We could pass him the ball or go all the way. Shota to hit it straight down the middle. Now Thiago in a nice spot. Kept the ball. Now Trent out wide to Hakimi. Tell you what, we're playing well in this one. Salah in the box. Nice touch to finish. Oh, it's 2-0. What a goal, Salah. Just before halftime, we're beating United 2-0. What a bit of play assist from Hakimi. He takes the touch, turns his man, and boom, what a finish. Here's Anthony. United trying to get back in this. Acuna nope. hits one. I mean, he made that look hard. I'm pretty sure that shot was down the middle. Corner whipped in. Nice header away. Oh, but here comes Mo Salah. Here comes Salah. This could be a goal. I mean, Rashford's marking him. Still Salah. In fact, I'm not going to pass it. I'm just going to hit it. I should have sweat it. That would have been a third as well. Can we keep the clean sheet? That's the question. Yes, we can. Because referee blows it. And what a win at Old Trafford. Question is, how long is Fabinho out injured. The answer is two months, which is shorter than a four. So for now, Jordan Henderson is going to have to be at CDM. To be fair, Trent can actually play there. He has the stats. He has 79 defending somehow. But we're just going to play Henderson. But guys, we now have the first leg of the round of 16 in the Champions League. Of course, in the contract, Klopp has to get to the quarterfinals. So we're pretty much there already. But surely we're going to beat Shakhtar Donetsk. You know what? For once, we're going to put a normal corner in the box. Watch us score the this. We whip it in. We nearly win the header. I don't know. Let me know what is the best way to score a corner or how you guys do it. Is Gakpo coming forward? We could hit this. We're going to play the ball over the top. Please keep the ball. Win the header. Trent. Our white to Hakimi. This is good. Back in the box. Trent. Good touch. What a block. Is Thiago. Now Gakpo. Going to hit it from this angle. Never good save. Oh no. But here comes Traore coming forward for them. We've only got one defender back. Oh, he beats us. Is he going to chip the keeper? Squares it across. Luckily, it doesn't go to anyone. Is Tiago on the ball? Oh, that's a gap there for Gakpo in behind. Oh, he's done well. Got onto that right foot. God is making the run. Do we square, square it across? Yes, we do. Oh, we don't score. Are you kidding me? And that's it. We get a draw on the first leg. This is going to be a 10-second leg at Anfield. We cannot be dropping points in this one. And we get a 3-0 win. We're good when we sim games. At this point, I honestly think Klopp is probably going to get sacked. We're ninth in the league on 44 points. Leicester are fourth with 49. And let's scout report back. This Clark looks good. We've signed him up. Anyone else? 90 rated. Not good enough. 90. Yeah, so we've signed one player there. We're now Arsenal away at the Emirates. And I'm pretty sure they're like five points ahead of us. So this is a game. Again, we have to be winning. I don't know why the game is looking so dark. I think this is a glitch. Here's Gakpo on the ball. Couple of step overs. Now finds Yoda. Oh, he tackles him. Good stuff. Salah's in the box. We cross it in. Salah. Nope. Oh! The bicycle kick, whatever that was, nearly working. Out wide to Salah. I'm just going to go for a shot like that. Cheeky. Oh, I thought that went in. That would have been goal of the season. Now find Salah. Now mount. Back to Salah. Now in behind. Oh, what nope. a goal that would have been. Salah rebound. That's the goal. Fantastic stuff there by Liverpool. It's 1-0 thanks to Mohamed Salah. Should have chipped the keeper, but luckily comes to Salah. And that is the goal. Here's Mohamed Salah on the ball. Now Hakimi. Oh, that's a pass and a half. Please. Oh, no way. That is a goal and a half. Gakpo chips the keeper. That's the second goal. We should be winning this game now. Check this out. Salah to Hakimi. Passes the ball. That is filthy. That is filthy. Leave a like and subscribe after that. Here's Saka. They want to get a goal back. Keep themselves in it. Odegaard. Oh, that's a pen. That is a pen. Aspas, what a save. They should have had a pen there. Arsenal score this. They're still in it. They have six minutes to get the goal goal. The way we've bottled these games this season, I would not be surprised if they got that second. So keep this ball. Try and score a third and do not let them get back in this. Salah, you're the man. He's kept the ball. I mean, that is just so good from Salah there. 
Onto that left foot. Try wide Whee! one. I mean, that's awful. Oh, what a tackle there, Trent. It may have been a foul, but it's tactical. And that's the 90 minutes. It's a 2 1 win away from home to Arsenal. That's the three points. Oh, no. I don't believe it. We have City in the next round of the FA Cup. And we can't be going out this competition. That's the last side we want to be playing in the round of 16. But we're now eighth place in the Premier League after that win to Arsenal. And, guys, we have 11 games left. And we're five points away from four. This game versus City, we're going to have to rotate a few players. Trent is now 90 rated, by the way. He won't be able to play because of fitness. We're going to get Kader in here. Do you know what? We have a youth player called White. We're going to get him on the bench. He may make his debut. When we have the first opportunity coming forward, you love to see it. Luis Diaz. Can we get that out wide there? to Robertson. Are we going to hit this? I'm just nope. going to hit it. Good save. Here comes City. Opportunity. We're already 60 minutes in. Gundogan. Now Stones. This is not a time to concede. What a save. Oh, apparently we're in overtime now. 104 minutes in. And remember, we actually cannot go out this competition. We have to win it and get to the quarterfinal of the Champions League. So many things. What a tackle. Our hope in this one is to win on penalties because we've got five minutes left to play. They've got a highlight. Oh, we get a tackle in. And that's full time. We are are going to penalties. We already have lost a penalty shootout in this series to Liverpool. I mean, Man City. Salah to step up to take the first. We're going to go to the left. I mean, if this keeper does what he did in the first game, he doesn't. We score. Now it's Gundogan. We're going to go to the right and we saved it. What a save, Alisson. Now Darwin Nunes. We're going to smash this to the right. Top right hand corner. And he scores. Let's go. Alvarez steps up. He's going to go to the right. He doesn't. We save it. We're going to win this. We are going to win this penalty shootout with smashing this top left hand corner oh keeper dives the other way we haven't missed one yet and if Foden misses this he's going down the middle he goes to the left if he missed it we'd win Henderson if he scores we win he's gonna smash this down the middle he may hit the bar on this he's smashed it down the middle he's won it for Liverpool we're in the quarter final of the FA Cup now we're facing Brighton and we get a 2-0 win Jordan Henderson with a brace guys it's still possible we're climbing the table with 10 games left to go we're sixth and we're only two points away from fourth question is can Klopp handle the pressure that he has right now on his shoulders has to get top four has to win a trophy and get to the quarterfinal of this competition and it's currently tied at 0-0 versus Shakhtar Donetsk I mean it doesn't matter if we get smashed in the quarterfinal we just have to win here and get to the quarterfinal and surely we do surely we make it here comes Henderson we're going to chip that up. Oh, great. Oh, we have a free kick here. Edge off the box. Oh, no. Do not mess this up. I have a record of not putting enough power on them. So I'm going to put a decent amount. That's it. That should go over the wall. It does. Oh, I put it too wide. I desperately want to score a free kick. There's nothing better. Going to get that out wide to Hakimi. Takes it down nicely. Keeps the ball. Can we work this in? This is an awkward one. Edge of box now to Darwin Nunes. Who nope. hits it. What a save. Okay, we've gone short from the corner. Still Salah. Still Salah. Get a bit closer. Now hit it. What a goal by Ahmed Salah. 1-0 Liverpool. Finally, we score that goal. And finally, we score doing that technique. That is what we need to do. Just get closer, use it, and it will go in. We need to start doing that. If the final whistle were to blow now, that is one thing ticked off for Klopp. Here comes Salah. Another good opportunity. Keeps the ball. Passes it. That is just not the pass. Oh, nice header there, Trent. Now Salah going to chip that up over the top to Darwin Nunes. Fantastic. That's the second goal. What a goal, Darwin Nunes. The assist from Salah was great, but look at that. He has the awareness to bring it back. Hits it on his weak foot. Never talk about his finishing because he's capable of doing that. Here's Arnold. What a ball out wide to Gakpo. We know he's capable of doing that. Now he's found Trent. Oh, he's going to wind a pass shot up. Hits it. Takes a block. I want to know where that was heading. Nope. Oh, ooh, that is a save and a half, Allison. That should have been a goal. Gakpo slips it to Nunes. Oh, he could get a second goal here. What a goal this would be. We're going to pass shot it as well. Darwin Nunes hits it. What a goal. Smashes it in for 3 0. Quarter final. Here we come. Okay, and the referee blows it. That is full time. Quarter final. Here we come. A 3 0 win on aggregate. And guys, take a look who we have in the quarter final of the FA Cup. This is not going to be an easy game. 
game. As I said, we're sixth in the league. We have 10 games left to play. We're three points away from fourth now. It is possible. We're picking up form. Quarter final next episode. If you've enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. I'm going to see more Krimo content. My second challenge on the screen now. At the start of this season, FSG gave Klopp this contract where he has to get top from the Premier League. And right now we're sixth with 10 games left to play. Reach the quarter final of the Champions League, which we have completed after beating Shakhtar Donetsk 3-0 on aggregate. And the final one, of course, is to win a trophy. We got eliminated in the Carabao Cup, but we're now in a quarterfinal of the FA Cup facing Arsenal. Guys, we have some breaking news. FSG, who own Liverpool, have put the club up for sale. And the owner, John W. Henry, is saying that he thinks the club is worth six billion. There are currently three buyers interested in buying the club, and that's Elon Musk, Apple, and Amazon. I think we can agree that we'd take any of them over FSG. Guys, with new owners, especially an owner like Elon Musk or Apple or Amazon, we would have a lot more money and the rule where we have to sell a player to buy a player would be gone. I mean, this squad is strong right now. Of course, we had a big injury to Fabinho last episode. He'll be back probably this episode. And of course, if we don't get top four win a trophy, then the manager will also change. This dude is saying if Klopp gets the sack, maybe replace him with Steven Gerrard or Chaffee from Barcelona. Apparently, Barcelona got knocked out in the group stage of the Champions League. They're top of La Liga, clear by five points with 10 games left to play. So I don't think they're going to sack him anytime soon. But if we had an Elon Musk, I think we might be able to get him. Of course, our first opponent in today's episode is Arsenal FA Cup quarterfinal. We have to be winning this one. Of course, we signed Mason Mount last episode and we're going to start him at Cam in this one. Left Cam, see how he plays. But you know what? We're going to start Kanade at center back as well. If I can't remember where Arsenal were in the league. They have an early counter-attack there. What a save, Allison. Good effort, Martinelli. Here's Mason Mount. There's a gap there in behind for Diego Shotta. Salah's in the box. We get it onto his right foot, though. We look to bend it. Oh, what a goal, Diego Shotta. Fantastic. We've had long-range goals from Gakpo, Shotta, Henderson, Salah, and check that out. Keeper's not stopping it. He has really put his foot through that. And we get a second and really lift our chances of getting to the semi-final. Oh, what a save, Ramsdale. That's a nice pass there out the back by Virgil van Dijk. I tell you what, Jota's making some good runs. He always does. We've kept the ball. That's good. Here comes Mo Salah. Back to Jota. He's going to chip the keeper. He has. Is he onside? Yes, he is. It's 2-0. We have one foot in the semi-final right now. 15 minutes left of this first half as well. That's an assist, Salah. And that is a finish and a half, Jota. I mean, keepers, that, that, that's embarrassing. Here's Henderson. Now, Trent, we're going to do a pass shot here. We hit it. What a save, Ramsdale. Is Trent coming forward? A massive opportunity. He could outrun this defender. Could be a third goal to get us in the semi-final. What a save, Ramsdale. That really would have put the nail in the coffin there, and we would be in the semi-final. But here's Trent again. He's going to wind one up on that right. Oh, what a goal, Trent. I don't believe it. This guy's been amazing for us this season. I mean, take a look at this. Takes a touch, finesses it, and he goes top court. He covers off the defender. I'm pretty sure if Zinch Schenker wasn't in the way. The keeper would have saved that. And that's the 90 minutes. It's a 3-0 win versus Arsenal at the Emirates as well. We are in an FA Cup semi-final. That is massive for Klopp. Surely we get to the final. The team we have in the semi-final is Watford. And also Leicester and Spurs. We are surely the favourites. And guys, the quarter-final has also been drawn. The side we are facing is Inner Milan. To be fair, a lot of big sides have been knocked out. The only really good team left, I guess, is Bayern Munich. But back to the Premier League playing West Ham. And this is certainly a game we cannot be dropping points. We are so close to top four. It'd be so disappointing to drop more points. Here's Hyoda on the ball. We can get that out wide to Robertson. Return that to Hyoda. Nice bit of passing. Gakpo, this is good. Trent going to hit one over the bar. We do move the ball well. That is a positive. Here's Hyoda. Big opportunity again over the bar. Oh, what a solo run. What an opportunity for Gakpo. Oh, makes it 1 0. We're winning at Anfield. We have literally seen nothing from West Ham here. Second goal would be massive. What a ball out wide to Mo Salah. Still Salah going to bring it back onto that left foot. Oh, what a goal this nope. would be. What a save. And that's the 90 minutes. What a win. Three points in the back. And we back that up with a 2 0 win versus Leeds. Gakpo and Shotter with the goals. Now, with eight games left to play, with fifth. And guys, we're two points away from Leicester in fourth. 
four. We have Inner in the quarterfinal now. If we were to win this competition and not get top four, we would get Champions League football. Surely that would count. In this game, we're going to start Nunes up top. I feel he's going to turn up in this one. Oh, we're facing Lukaku. That's interesting. Martinez as well. That's a foul, apparently. Edge of the box. Are you kidding me? Lukaku, please take it. A striker taking it from here. He is going to balloon it. He's going to balloon it. He puts it wide. Here's Hakan Chalanoglu in the box. Down for his hit one. Good save, Allison. Guys, I really do feel we could actually go on a run in this competition. I expect to get to the semi-final. We could even get to the final. Here's Lukaku. What a save. Here's Thiago. He slips that in behind there for Gakpo just before half time. Oh, he's been taken down. That is a horrible tackle. Just a yellow card. It's not even a shooting opportunity. We're going to have to just dink this one in the box. We're going to lift it up quite a lot. Okay, that is quite literally dinking it in the box. Nearly creating a danger there. Oh, it's an opportunity for Inner Milan. Passing it around. Dumfries, what a bit of defense, Robertson. Now we can get this to Gakpo. Nunes in behind. Oh, he's just got straight past him. Here's Darwin Nunes. Now we've got Salah. This is a good counter attack. Now Hakimi crosses that in back post there to Gakpo. What a counter-attack. Now Thiago blocked. Oh, so close there to making it 1-0 for Inner. I tell you what, this game has been close. Will I Versailles get a goal? 1-0 Inner with 15 minutes to play. It's Chalanoglu, if you say his name. Lukaku with the assist has decided to turn up now. Oh, no. Oh, that could have been 2-0. This will actually be hard to overcome. We're an extra time here. Inner are trying to find themselves that second goal. Will they do it? They're in the box. Here's Martinez. Goes to hit one. He's hit the post. I don't believe it. It. We escape only trailing by one goal. Guys, great news. Fabinho is coming back from injury. So give it a week or two. He will be back in the side. But now we have Man City, who are no joke, 18 points ahead of us. They're top of the league, of course. And we do have a few tired players in this one. So we're going to play Canadi. And good job. We signed Mason Mounts. So he's going to slot in there at Cam. This is how we're going to line up. In fact, we're going to get Diaz on the left-hand side. And instantly, Man City have a good opportunity in behind. Do not set in Haaland. I'm going to slide in or do that. That works. But now we're in behind with a good opportunity. Here's Mo Salah. A good chance. Could make it 1-0. Mo Alex Salah makes it 1-0 Liverpool. Man City trail. And it's this man again. As we pick up form, it's like in the last seven games of the season. Well, really, like last 15. We have been playing well for a while. That takes a block. Got less than 10 minutes to go now. Can we win this one? Is Diaz on the ball? Okay, that's good. You know what? I'm going to wind a pass shot up there. Um, we can keep it. Is Matip makes a pass. Oh, that could have been a foul. Oh, no, but here's a good opportunity. Boda gets the equalizer in the last five minutes. We get a point to City as I thought we were going to win it. And that's the 90 minutes. That is so disappointing, man. We bottled that. In Serie A, they have six games left to play. And Inter Milan are actually two points away from top. But we sure do have some work to do in this second leg. We're trailing by a goal and we did not look good last game. We're going to actually play Mesa Mount. I feel we need an attacking player in this game. We need a cam. We're going to play Hyoda, Gakpo. This is how we're going to line up. This is a massive game. It's Mason Mount on the ball. What a massive game he has. We signed him and he hasn't started too many games to be fair. So this is a big opportunity for him. We cross that in. Mo Salah with the header. Oh, they could get a second hit in the box. Oh, nope. it could be a second. What a save. It should have been a second and Allison saves us there. Okay, that, that's fantastic, Mount. Oh, that's a ball by Mason Mount and that's a foul on Mo Salah. We can get this up the pitch. Oh, no. Ooh. Oh, again, Allison with the save. Corner whipped in. We need him again. Oh, it's not gone. We get it away. Now we've got Trent. Salah's making the run. Oh, is he onside? Please say he's onside. It's Mo Salah. What an opportunity. What's he doing? Oh, he gets the goal. I thought I messed it up there. It's one all. Now, now, can we get ourselves in the lead? That is the question. Hakimi's done so well. Oh, yes, he gets it to Salah. We break away. Looking for Yoda. Chips the keeper. Oh, the top of the net. I don't believe it. Oh, no. Here's Martinez in the box for Inner. Doesn't want to let it go. Berea on the ball now. Dumfries could hit one. Martinez. Dumfries. Never good save. Oh, I don't believe it. He saved it again. Thought that was in. Alison Becker is saving us in this Champions League quarterfinal. And Mason Mount can come away with this ball. Salah trying to find a position. Mount, still Mount. Can he go all the way? Mason Mount with the goal. 
He has traveled about 75 yards before he got the ball in our box. So probably even farther. Check this out. Mason Mount has got the finish. He's got the dribbling. No one came near him. That is a finish. We are in the lead. In a Milan bottling it at the San Siro. The Liverpool away fans in high note. What an opportunity. Surely the equalizer. What am I saying? Start giving it the big one. And they get straight back in it. Is Trent now Hyoda all through the middle. What a sub. What a decision it was to start Mount. It's got another goal. Straight back in it. It's 3-2 Liverpool. 13 minutes to play. And then injury time. But check this out. That is a finish by the new signing. If away goals were still a thing, we would 100% still be in this competition. Oh, no. A free kick. Just edge of the box. He's going to cross it in. Can we get that away? Oh, get it away. Get it away. Oh, no. What's what's this? What's this? Is it a foul for them or us? It's us. It's Mason Man again. Clutch player. Man of the match. Here's Gakpo through the middle. Mason Mount. Now he's got Hyoda. Oh, we could completely finish this off. Hyoda could completely finish this off. That should have been it. They have to score this counter-attack. If they want to stay in this competition, they have to score this counter-attack in the box. And that's it. We are in a semi-final. We are in a semi-final. We're doing it in the Champions League. We have seven games to play, and we're now four points away from fourth. Are you kidding me? We're now playing Spurs, and they're only a couple of points behind us. We're going to start Nunes in this one. Do you know what? We're going to play Canade at the back. It's an early opportunity. Thiago in the box. Gakpo on that. Right! What a goal! 1-0 Liverpool! Gakpo with the goal. Get in! If we basically get a draw in this game, it is over. The top four race is over. This could be a second goal. Mo Salah is going to all the way. Mo Salah. Mo Salah for the second. 2-0 just like that. We are going to get top four. Believe me, you. Remember, guys, Salah has to get 20 goals to sign that new contract. Is he going to get that ball? He does. Yes, let's go, Gakpo. Now we've got Thiago. Oh, Trent out wide. This is good. Good opportunity. Here's Livermeno. Back to Trent. Back to Livermeno. Oh, he's in a really good position here. Livermeno is going to make the pass. Darwin Nunes in the box. Oh, they don't want to let it go. He hits it. Gakpo going to get the rebound. And that's it. We get a 2-0 win away to Tottenham. They really showed nothing in that one. And that was so important. We won that game because we're still four points away from Leicester. This is going to go down to the wire. But guys, the semi-final has has been drawn. Some of you guys will know who we have. But I'll reveal this next episode. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. My second channel should be on the screen now. So last episode, FSG announced that they want to sell Liverpool for $6 billion. And there's currently three buyers lined up. Elon Musk, Apple, and Amazon. Stay tuned to see how you guys can vote on who buys the club. But of course, one of the things in Klopp's contract this season is to get top four. And we're currently sitting fifth, four points away from four. And we have six games left to play. We've completed this one, but it's to get to the quarterfinal of the Champions League. We're in the semi-final, and the team we are playing is Juventus from Serie A. And the last thing on the contract, of course, is to win that trophy. We're in a semi-final off the FA Cup versus Watford. Surely we make the final. If Klopp doesn't achieve all of these things, then he will get the sack. Let's do the same from last episode. If Elon Musk buys the club, you should have no problem buying Mbappe since you have all the money. I really like this suggestion. I did not not use Mbappe once last FIFA. He's probably the best player in the game. And he would be a perfect player to sign. If Elon Musk were to buy a football club, he would want to buy the best. 152 million to 190. 93 overall at 24. Guys, this player would be incredible to sign. But the question is, how do we fit him into this side? Because we have Nunes and Jota as the striker. Mohamed Salah on the right hand side, who's 92 rated by the way. This guy's insane. And Gakpo and Diaz on the left hand side. Mohamed Salah's contract is actually expiring in three months. He had to score 20 goals minimum this season, and he has achieved that. 22 goals, 9 assists. What a player. Perhaps we could get rid of Diego Jota next season if we sign Mbappe. I mean, we don't even know if Elon Musk is going to buy the club. But we can now negotiate a new contract with Mohamed Salah because he achieved the 20 goals this season. But guys, if we're going to re-sign Mo Salah, he wants 320k a week, and we've paid it. But of course, the big question
question in today's video is, will Klopp be in a job next season? Our first opponent in today's episode is Brentford, and we get a 4-1 win. Salah, Diehjada, Gakpo, and Henderson. But this FA Cup semi-final is so much bigger than the Champions League semi-final because we have more of a chance of winning this, and we need to win that trophy. Do you know what? I'm really enjoying Mason Mount being in this side right now as a cam, not a center midfielder, so we will do that. And do you know what? We'll play Canada as well. You guys are saying in the comments, we need to play this guy more because he'll probably be the starter next season. I mean, it really would be embarrassing if we were to not beat Watford in this one. Gapo, nice pass there to Hyoda. That's a nice run there for Mason Mount. Onto that right foot. We're going to just bend it from here to be fair. Oh, I probably should have passed it. Oh, here come Watford. What a tackle. Kanade is showing us that he should be the starter. Now Mo Salah on the ball. Oh, he's done well. Through the gap. Still Mo Salah. Here he comes. Mo Salah going on a run. He's not going to let it go. Still Mo Salah. Oh, he goes down. Here's Hakimi. No penalty. Trent. Dinks it in the box. Gakpo couldn't win the header. Oh, no. Oh, he's bottled that. What an opportunity there for Watford. Oh, another opportunity. Nope. What a save, Alisson. Watford are going for this. His hand on the ball. Now, Dio shot it. Do you know what? We've actually scored a couple of these recently. What a goal, Diego Jota. We've done it again. Every time we find ourselves in that position, we are shooting. Check out this strike. It's the opener in this semi-final. Could be the goal that gets us to the final. Right, we have three minutes to play. Corner Watford. We're only winning by one goal. I tell you what, give credit to them. They've done well in this final. Oh, semi-final to get to the final. Here's Mount. That's a ball there to Salah. And that's it. That's the 90 minutes. We get a 1-0 win and we're in an FA Cup final. We go from playing one Italian side in the Champions League to another. And they're actually fifth in Serie A. How about that? And they're actually five points away from fourth. So they're probably not going to get Champions League football. But guys, Vlahovic is actually top goal scorer in this competition with eight goals in 10 games. And the FA Cup final has been drawn. But I'm not going to show you guys who we have yet. The final will be in today's episode. Episode. And Fabinho is back from injury, which is good. He'll go back into the side. I mean, he's got negative two. We won't put him straight back in there. But I did tell you guys to stay tuned so you could find out how to vote for who is going to be the new owner. You go to my channel page, the community tab, there will be a vote. So go vote. Oh, nice. I've gone into the semi final versus Juventus and the kits clash. Don't you love to see it? We've had to start Darwin Nunez. And I tell you what, Robertson's going on a bit off a run. Goes to hit it, takes a block, comes to Hakimi. Still got the ball. Totally did not see that defender there. I'm going to have to really focus here to try and make sure I'm passing the ball to the right player. I tell you what, I said I'm going to hit it every time in this position. Not enough height. It's been two career modes now since we were at Juventus. What a tackle, Joel Matip. We definitely were not in a semi-final in our first year at Juventus. So their manager is really doing well. It's Gakpo on the left-hand side, onto that right. What a tackle, Laporte. What a signing. Juve have a corner hit. They cross it in. Vlahovic nearly getting the goal, the rebound. Down there, I thought that was in. Oh no, why have I brought the keeper out? Here's Vlahovic, he's gonna square it. Matip, he read that. Still not gone. Carvajal with the goal, I don't believe it. Carvajal of all people. I mean, what is Matip doing at the back there? We really should have not been conceding that. Here they are again, start of the second half, putting that across the box. I mean, they could easily make it 2-0. Struggling to get the ball out the back is Henderson. Oh, that's a ball there to Gakpo. Here's a counter attack. You'll need to get in the box. Gakpo's on a run, he's gonna get this one in the box. Trent's there with the header. Not good enough. Oh, no. This could be nope. a second. What a save, Allison. Is Hakimi on the ball. He finds Salah onto that left foot. Good chance for Salah. Good chance for Salah. <laughs> Goes to hit one. Good save. And that's the 90 minutes. We lose the first leg 1-0. We have a lot of work to do in the second leg at Anfield. We don't believe it. We're still four points away from top four with five games left to play. And now we have Chelsea at Anfield. This is going to be such a tough game. They're not even in the top eight, by the way. So it's pretty realistic. Mid-table Chelsea. But I guess Liverpool are also mid-table IRL. Diaz is going to start Mount at Cam. And guys, we are starting for Benio at CDM in this one. And he has zero sharpness. Should we really be doing this? Oh, what an opportunity here for Chelsea. Jao Felix on the ball. Come on, Matip. Step up. He hits that. What a save. Oh, here's for Benio. I mean, welcome back to the side. Oh, what a ball. He could get an assist. His first game back. Here's Diaz. 
Oh, he's done well. Pulls that back. Now Salah. Good touch. The finish. Right there, Liverpool. Mohamed Salah makes it 1-0. That is exactly what we needed. No run a high after scoring, but just let it sink in. It could be a reality that we're in the Europa League next season. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, let's go. He's going to put that across the box. It's 2-0. Mason Mount, what a signing it's been. That is his fifth assist of the season, by the way. And he has six goals. What a signing. And that's full time. We get the three points. Top four is still alive. It's possible. But when are Leicester going to draw points? Oh, you won't believe it. We have a game in hand on United, who are now four. If we win by three goals, we go above them on goal difference. But before that, we have the second leg at Anfield versus Juventus. We tactically have to get this right. We could be in a Champions League final. Diego Chiara slightly tired. Do we start Darwin Nunes or not? But once again, I'm going to start Mason Mount. He's slightly tired, but this guy Cam is smashing it right now. It is now or never for this season at least. Because we'll be back next season. Or will we? Because we need to get top four or win this competition. But here comes Gakpo. Do you know what? A long shot, a pass shot. He hits him! What a goal! Gakpo! Goal of the season! Oh, many long shots, power shots do we need? I mean, check this out. Puts his boot through this one. Look at that. Take a look at that. What a goal. The home fans have got it for that one. That is what we wanted. We are back in it with an absolute wonder strike. I mean, if you haven't already left a like and subscribed, then now is the time. Here's Trent on the ball. Oh, I mean, that is just not necessary. That is cheeky. That is through the gap. Oh, he's just upside. Always hit that one. Oh, outside gone in. I don't believe it. We've had two goals in this game. Both edge of the box. Or at least outside the box. Long shot. Surely that took a deflection. Let's take a look. So here he comes, McKenna. He thinks about hitting it. He hits it. No. That's just awful goalkeeping. This 45 minutes will most likely decide who gets to the final. There could be a Champions League winner in this side, and we do not want to be making mistakes at the back like that. Jovic, what a block. I mean, I just called him Jovic. It's Vlahovic. His Chiesa is going to try put it in the nope. box. What a save. Now Rabio on the ball. Oh, that's a failed tackle. Oh, that's disgusting. <laughs> what a save again. Allison. Here comes Robertson. Bit off a run here. Is he going to pass it? What's he going to do? Gets it onto that left foot. Bat is going to hit it nope. on his right. I mean, keep it out to get to that. We're going to get that out wide there to Robertson. Anyone in the box will cross it in. Oh, we've got Mount there. Takes it down. Oh, it's it. What a save. We've got a VAR. We've got a handball. This is a potential penalty. To be fair, I don't really know what happened. Salah took a shot. I mean, that was an awkward shot. What was he doing? Hands are in the air. I mean, where does this hit? It hits his... Oh, are you kidding me? It goes at his arm, hits it, and goes down. That's a penalty. Fans on the edge of their seats. You cannot be messing this one up. Mo Salah steps up. Where's he going to go? Takes it down the middle. What an equalizer. Get the ball. We could win this. To take a look at this, Mo Salah, he penenkers it down the middle in a must-score situation. It's to all. Oh, no, but here they come. Here's our tour on the ball. Oh, no, he played for us. Oh, I don't believe it. They've gone and scored. This team is so hard to play. This guy, Vlahovic, that's like his 10th goal this season in the Champions League. Artur with the assist. They recalled him from us this season as well. And look at that finish. We have 15 minutes to get that goal. Here's Mo Salah. Edge of box. He's kept it. He's done well. I mean, Robertson's in a good position. We'll get it out wide to him. Now Gakpo. We're passing the ball to him. And we're bottling this. We are bottling this right now. Vlahovic. Now Chiesa. Oh, he's let it go through his legs. Still Chiesa. We're going to have to take him down at some point. We're going to slide in. He gets the ball. Not good enough, though. Lucas Vasquez. Can he get it in the box? Big opportunity. Flavich, I don't believe it. Juventus go to the Champions League final. We're eliminated in the semis. What a goal to concede. This guy's just been immense. Perhaps we should be signing him in the summer. Perhaps if Elon comes in, he says he wants to sign Vlavic. Oh, this could be another goal. Nope. This could be another goal. I don't believe it. Oh, no, no, no. No, 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 no. Whoa, there's a penalty. 
Hey, it's a handball, but it's not even worth going to VAR. They could, he could score a hat trick if he hasn't already. This is his chance. We're saving it though. Bottom right. Look at that. What a save. But unfortunately, that's game. A 3 2 loss in game, 4 2 loss in aggregate. Congratulations, Juventus. They're going to the final. Guys, perhaps another play we could sign next season is Caicedo from Brighton as a backup CDM. If you haven't already seen, but he actually tweeted today that he wants to leave Brighton. I mean, like you do, just tweet that I want to leave. I mean, fair enough. Maybe we sell Henderson because he's actually getting on now. He's 32. Perhaps he wants to move. Perhaps he wants to be a starter. But of course, Fabinho is our main man. I'm not sure about Bellingham, though. I don't know if we go in and sign him. Perhaps Mbappe will be the only big signing. I mean, if Elon Musk comes in. I tell you what, Mason Matt is smashing it right now. He's got 12 goal contributions in 29 appearances. Yes, that is a lot of appearances, by the way, for the fact he came in in January. We're now playing our B team, and we don't just need to win this game, but win by three goals. If we do that, we actually go top four. So bring it on. It is possible. Here's Van Dijk. Now Fabinho. We're going to make a nice pass there to Thiago. Oh, he gets tackled. I love how the kits are basically clashing in this one as well. Here comes Gakpo. Big chance. Should be a goal. 1-0 Liverpool. You love to see it. That is the opener. Thanks to number 18, Gakpo. Of course, we do need two more. Oh, this is an opt- Oh, we have to be scoring this. Gakpo. Yes! 2-0. Get it. It's possible. We need one more. Gakpo once again. Okay, 15 minutes to play. Here's Trent. I mean, oh, I was tempted to hit a pass shot. They're so tempting to tell you that. Here is Trent. Uh, uh, oh, every time you get tackled and that's it. We get a 2-0 win. They're pass shots, man. They just bait you into doing it and then you just get tackled. I mean, I'd say I'm disappointed because United have now played an extra game. But guys, they got a draw. So we could actually go two points above off them. Just do not bottle it. We have Saudi FC and we get a 2-1 win. Gakpo and Fabinho, welcome back. And there we go with two games left to play. We are now now fourth clear by two points of fifth and it happens to be manchester united and we now have an fa cup final you guys don't yet know who it is it is so possible now that clock can keep his job for next season the team we have in the final is tottenham hotspur what a final it's gonna be oh no but we have a slightly tired squad i mean slightly tired uh very tired gonna have to play Kanate. we're gonna play mesa mount which i would anyway because it's goaded you know what nunes is gonna start Diaz is going to start. That is a lot of changes, but here we come. He's Mason Mount. I mean, this guy is so good. He's kept the ball. I mean, just what a signing he's been. Still Mason Mount. He's finally going to pass it. It's Fabinho. Now Salah out wide to Robertson. Now in the box to Luis Diaz. Trent, I mean, we need to shoot at some point. Nope, just pass it straight to them. Wonderful. Do you know what? I'm going to give it them. Spurs are actually really organized here. They're defending well. Here's Nunes. Goes to hit one. Another block. Is Hakimi on the ball. Nice pass that. Mason Mount. I think this is their tactic. Sit back and hit them on the break. Just defend. Please be a free kick. It's not. By the way, if you guys want to see one of the new kits for next season, we will be using it in our final game of the season. Because teams do actually like to do that IRL. Here's Mo Salah. A little dink over the top there to Luis Diaz on the volley. Oh, he's at the post. Just take it down. We have to win this game. It's the only trophy we can win. We're out the Champions League. The league's impossible. Oh, no. In the box. Yes, Virgil. Great defense. Mo Salah slightly this next 45 minutes the final 45 minutes will decide who gets their hands on the trophy but to be fair in cup finals like this we do love to win it on penalties i don't know what it is about me oh no i mean spurs could get a goal here lucas mora oh i don't believe it he's gonna chip the keeper spurs in the lead we have a mountain to climb now give it to mount is luis diaz oh that's a pass there to trent oh yes that's good trent oh what a bit of football nope oh, what a save. Now Robertson coming forward. Salah is up front. Still Robertson. We're going to get this one in the box. What a cross. Oh, he just can't get to it. Robertson. He finds Mason Mount. I want to get that shot off. Okay, he's found the angle. Still Mason Mount. Still Mount. Finds Hakimi. They're making subs. I mean, we should because we need to get Gakpo on. Back to Mason Mount. Gets that out wide to Robertson. Good bit of play. Yes, Salah. Back to Trent. Please, someone do something. We're just passing it sideways here. Trent, good opportunity. Smashes it. What a save. We've now got the subs on. We've got our depth all the way up. Can we find that goal? Oh, that's just not it. Okay, here's Dio shot up. Pass one. Okay, nice bit of play. Yes, hold that. Now Gakpo. The GOAT squad is on. Here we come. Now we're going to get the equalizer. Gakpo, good stuff. Across the box. Yes. No. How 
Mount it not gone in. Here's Salah. We can do it. We can do it. Yes, Mason Mount. Oh, I don't believe it. What is happening? This is painful, man. We've got so many players up front. Yes, this is good. Here's Mason Mount. We have to score here. We've got so many players. Okay, they're getting men back. Here's Robertson. Now Mason Mount. No. Nope. hit it. What a save. This is just not what we wanted, man. This is not what we wanted. Klopp is going to be gone. He's gone. Klopp has been sacked. He's lost his job. Whoever is the new owner is going to have to bring in a new manager. I do not believe it. Congratulations to Spurs. I mean, Kane's not even lifting it. It's Son. I mean, that's hilarious. Spurs. I don't believe it. We've lost to Spurs. Of all teams, we lose to Spurs. They've finally won a trophy. Please do not drop points in this one. A 4-3 win. A 4-3 win. Are you kidding me? To 11 points, Bournemouth. Gakpo with a hat-trick, by the way. We're now third, by the way. Yes, we're still two points away from fifth, and we could still not get Champions League football. But guys, we have lost four games. That is the least amount of losses from anyone this season, and we've had a terrible season. But we have Forest now, our final game of the season. We have to be winning it. And of course, I did say we'd be showing off some of the new kits for next season. The away kit, Gakpo, <laughs> trying to find the angle. What a save. And you guys should see the detail on this kit. It is nasty. This isn't any old game. We actually have to win and get the three points to get top four. He's a uh, shot up. Pass that out wide to Robertson. Now Thiago tackled. We're, we're not doing it. We're bottling it. Oh, but here we go. We break away now. Here's the goal. We've got top four. Gakpo's through. Should be it. Gakpo 1-0. Boom. Get in. Number 18. There's the new kit. Check that out. It looks beautiful. We have five minutes left to play. Probably the last counter attack. If we score it, that's it. It is game over. Darwin Nunes. Now Gakpo. Oh, he's going to try and hit it. it. It's gone. That's it. We have got Champions League football. Unfortunately, Klopp doesn't keep his job. There he is. That's his final game as a Liverpool manager. But we do get Champions League next season. Oh, we have this Seth Roberts. He looks good. We'll sign him up. Our last report from the USA for the season. And uh, we get a player. He's a center mid, but he has stats which are off a cam or a winger, maybe. I mean, it would take two weeks to become a cam and four weeks to become a winger. We'll go for a cam. And we now get to change it because it's off season. 53 overall. Okay, we'll, we'll get him loaned out. I mean, what a season it's been. Top goal scorer, Salah, 22 goals. 21 goals for Gakpo. I mean, what an episode he's had. But go vote for who you want the new owners to be. Elon Musk, Apple, or Amazon. Do you want us to sign Mbappe? If Elon Musk wins, then we will. There'll be three brand new kits next season and a brand new manager. If you enjoyed this season and this video, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. But unfortunately, this is now the end for Klopp at Liverpool. This season is going to be incredible as Elon Musk has just bought the club for $6 billion. And it's also appointed Zinedine Zidane as the new manager. Unfortunately, we lost the FA Cup final last season, which cost Jürgen his job. But guys, now Elon has taken over the club. A lot will change. Starting with the budget, we have a billion dollars to spend. Don't worry, we won't spend it all. But another thing that has changed is our sell to buy policy that we had last season. It is no longer in place. So if we wanted to sign a new center back, we'd have to sell a player. I mean, take a look at this squad. It's looking so strong. This is going to be a massive season and we will be making improvements. So stay tuned as we'll be signing the world's best player, aka CEO. And we have three amazing brand new kits for this season that will be revealed. Okay, the elephant in the room right now, because I mentioned him last episode, if Elon Musk buys the club, is Kylian Mbappe from PSG. 24, 93 rated. This guy would be incredible. And by the way, his contract's expiring this year. This dude's saying if you sign Mbappe, you should loan out Diego Jota. It's smarter than selling him. Of course, Jota's our main striker right now, being 88 overall, and he's 26. He scored 22 goals last season. He was a massive player, but I do agree. If we sign Mbappe for striker, I would prefer to loan him out than sell him. We also have Jordan Henderson, Thiago, and Matip on the transfer list, by the way, to sell. I was so impressed with Mount at January signing last season that he is now the starter going forward. Of course, we're men assigned Drew Bellingham going into this season, but we used him in the Chelsea. I just don't feel like signing him. So maybe in January or next season. But another player that all of a sudden has been linked with loads of Premier League clubs is Chiesa from Juventus. 85 rated 25 year old winger. And of course Salah is linked with leaving the club maybe this season or next. But we could replace him with Chiesa. But guys I'm going to do it. I'm going to put an offer in for Kylian Mbappe. If his contract expires.
retiring, we could get in for valuation, which is actually going to save us a lot of money. So I'm going to go in with 175 million. See what they say to that. They want 190. Okay, I want to get him under valuation. 183. They accept that. There's Zidane as well negotiating. But now this is going to be tense because Mbappe is going to want big wages and is not messing around with this contract. He wants a million a week. That is actually what he's earning right now at Paris. 100 million signing on bonus. And if he scores 25 goals, an extra 50 million. I mean, Elon Musk is now the owner, so we're going to do it. And it doesn't actually just end there, guys. He's not just a player. He's actually the CEO. So technically, this guy has more power than Zidane. Question is, what rating is this? A D. We could have saved 40 million, apparently. So there we go. He now slots in at striker. This team is so strong. He's currently got number 10, but I think number 7 makes more sense. Let me know in the comments. I've also given Gakpo number 11 and number 10 to Salah because that's actually his shirt for Egypt. So it makes sense. Guys, Kylian Mbappe just sent the manager this message since he joined. Hi, Zizu. Glad my team hired you for this season. Looking forward to see what we can achieve this year. I mean, I guess he is the CEO, but he shouldn't really be speaking to the manager like that. And talking to the manager, Elon Musk has given Zidane this contract for this season. It's a two-year deal. And if we don't get top two in the Premier League, we have to sell Mohamed Salah next season. And if we don't reach the semi-final in the Champions League, we lose 500 million next season. If we don't win a trophy, then no Tesla sponsor for season three. Again, stay tuned for the new kits because I will be revealing them. We have a loan offer for Diego Jota. It's a two-year loan offer from Real Madrid. Yes, it's a competitor in the Champions League, but we're going to get that. He's 88 overall, so we're going to accept it. And you won't believe this. Chelsea have come in for Thiago, 54 million. We're going to have to accept it because his contract is expiring, so he will be off to Chelsea. AS Roma have also come in for Jordan Henderson. He's worth 15 million, so I'm going to try and get 19 from them. Oh, only 16. I mean, perhaps his contract's expiring too. What about 17 and a half? What are they going to say to that? They say, yeah, okay, we've agreed on something. And it's official. Diego Jota is off to Real Madrid. I have a feeling that he's going to smash it there. And also Jordan Henderson to Roma for 17 and a half million. Now that he's gone, we actually need a new backup CDN. We have both Fana from Monaco, whose contract is expiring come end of the year. I mean, he's definitely too low. It's 75 overall. But what about Saedo from Brida? He costs around 10 million. I say let's go in for Fofana. He is French. We have the French manager. We've just signed Mbappe. And we really do have the French theme going here. 23 million. That's what we're going to put on the table. They want 24. And I'm just going to accept that. That surely is an A. Rotation player. Five-year deal. That is all wonderful. No release clause. And 120k a week. Unfortunately, now we have to pay big wages because everyone knows we have the money. And that's our second signing of the season. There he is in the new Liverpool home shirt. 24 million. I'm saying it's a B minimum. And to be fair, that's not that bad. We now have the backup CDM in Fofana. We need a replacement backup center mid to Thiago. And perhaps even a backup cam. But guys, we literally don't even need to sign anyone. We have Curtis Jones, a center mid who's on loan at Leicester. So we can just recall him. And we have Harvey Elliott and Cavajo, who could be a backup cam. Elliott has 87 potential and Cavajo has 86 so it doesn't really matter but I'll recall Elliot and it's official Thiago is off to Chelsea for 54 million that's actually a really good signing and we somehow get an A for that looks like all our players are going to be staying in the Premier League because Matip has had an offer from Tottenham they're going to have to up their offer to 45 million 39 perhaps his contract is fine in fact I think it is but can we get to 40 million and they do they agree to 40 million and it's official it's off to Spurs for 40 million in Interested to see what they're going to give us for this. And hey, that is a very good deal. We have another scout report back from the United States. And check this guy out. 80 to 94 potential. We need to sign this guy. I mean, this Eric Harris looks good as well. 70 to 94. And even this guy. There's loads of good players in this report. So to reveal the new kits, we're going to start with the home one. And check this out. Look at the red and white. It goes so well. Look at that. Number 7 Mbappe. Or M PayPal, as people will be calling him. I'd rate this an 8 out of 10. I really, really like this home kit. Of course, I did tease this one at the end of last episode, but the away, I mean, look at the Nike logo, how it kind of drips with the sponsor as well. The detail on this kit is nice. And look at this, number 10 Mo Salah. It looks weird. I know, but we're going to have to get used to it. I'd rate this away kit a nine. It looks solid. The detail is amazing. And we have Mason Mount to reveal the third kit. Take a look at this. He's now number eight, by the way. I gave him that. Let me know what you think of it. But this kit is probably the nice. Nicest one. The detail looks 
amazing. I think it's dark, midnight blue and gold, the colors. It goes really well. I'd rate that another 9 out of 10. And of course, not to forget the goalkeeper kit, but this is what Alisson is rocking this season. It looks really neat. It goes well, looks great, stands out. What more can you ask for a goalkeeper kit? I'd say an 8 out of 10. If you're wondering who made these kits, it's MLY. Link in the description to his channel. He also does career mode content. He's goaded at making kits, so go check his socials out. Now, first game in the Premier League is Norwich. Now, if Mbappe is going to be our best striker since Suarez, then I think Norwich should be scared. If you know, you know. If you haven't already, leave the video a like, subscribe, turn the bell on so don't miss a future video. I really would appreciate it. We're going to start for Fana over Fabinho because he's got a negative one. For some reason, he's only got seven sharpness. He did start in preseason. Well, that's an early tackle. Trent early on. Stole the ball. Still Trent. Oh, he's going all the way. He's going to try get the cross in the box. And Mbappe with the header over the bar. What a first goal that would have been. Norwich have a corner here. 20 minutes in. Don't want to be conceding. That would cause an upset. Here's Sargent on the ball for Norwich. Virgil, a semi-tackle there. Can they get the ball in the box? Garcia, well done. Good defense. I, mean, I tell you what, Norwich have been the better side and we're half an hour in, so this could be concerning. Good defense. Okay, here's a counter-attack. Here's Mason Mount. We're going to slip that to Mbappe. Oh, he's gone. He's through. We're going to see this so much this season. 1-0 Liverpool. Killian Mbappe with the goal. Oh, there we go. Killian has done it in the Premier League. Welcome to the Premier League. It's Haaland versus this is Mbappe, and it's in England. Take a look at that finish. What a signing. What a player. Okay, nice stuff from Mbappe. Oh, okay, that is disgusting. What was that? Roberto. Roberto, whatever his name is in the box. Head her over the bar. Who's Roberto? Oh, here come Norwich. Sergeant on the ball. Big nope. opportunity. Oh, so close there to being the equalizer. Mo Salah down the right hand side. Now not the main player. I wonder how he's going to adjust to that. I mean, he could get a goal here. He's through on the right hand side. Mo Salah. That should be the second goal. Mo Salah, what a finish. Tidy in the bottom left-hand corner. It's Mohamed Salah. Here's Mo Salah on the ball. Slips in Mbappe. Oh, he, he surely is gone. Surely this is the third goal. Mbappe is just too quick. It's just too... Oh, what am I doing? I went to do a fake shot. I've messed it up. What on earth is Killian doing? One last opportunity for Norwich. What a save, keeper. We're going to end it on a corner. We want to keep that clean sheet. Would be a great way to start the season. Keepers on it. That's the 90 minutes. That's the three points. A 2-0 win. Now, if we wanted to fully rotate in a cup game, this is how the squad would look. We could do with a new backup right winger and a new backup centre back because Vandenberg has some potential, I think. But come on, we need someone a little bit better than 73 overall. And I know you guys are going to suggest Gavard from RB Leipzig. A great player. But guys, he's 83 overall. His left foot is 21. He's gonna want to be starting. Now, we have West Ham in our first home game of the season. And we can't miss our first home game of the season. Mbappe's just too good. He's too quick. Gets in behind too easily. It's 1-0 already. I mean, how many goals is this guy gonna score? Here we come again with Salah. Do you know what? Take your time. Finesse it. Hit it. Oh, good save. Now, here comes Trent at right back. Oh, there's a run there by Mason Mount. That's good. Through the gap. Now, Mbappe turns his man. Oh, dispossessed. Oh, look at Mbappe making that run. We play the ball over the top. He's just going to be so good. Look at him go. Onto that right foot. Oh, he's just too good. Mbappe over the bar. Oh, here's Masuaku. Good opportunity. Verge is just too good. And that's the 90 minutes. That's all we get in that game. A 1-0 win. And it was fairly dominant. Take a look at this Newcastle side. We've got them up next. And you can tell that the money is now kicking in. But simming it away from home. It's a 2-1 win. Killian Mbappe with a brace. The Champions League group stage has been drawn, and the teams that we'll be facing are Juventus, Bayer Leverkusen, and Kiev. But before we get to the first game, which is Juventus, we have Arsenal at Anfield. We, of course, started last season so poorly, which was probably one of the reasons why the board decided to sack Klopp. Here's Robertson. Now we find Gakpo. Back to Robertson. Goes to nope. hit one. Good save, Ramsdale. Couple of step overs. Let's go straight around him. What a good bit of play. Still Gakpo onto that right foot. We try Ben one. We've got Robertson out wide. Back to Gakpo. Oh, it's Mount. Goes to hit one. Easy save. Here's Mason Mount on the ball. Nice little pass there to Gakpo. Slips that in behind there for Mbappe. He just couldn't get to it. Here's Gabriel Jesus in the box. Oh, what a pass. Great bit of defense. That's probably the best opportunity of the game. That was nearly a tap in. Here's Trent. Slips that to Mbappe. Dispossessed. Here's Salah. Oh, he's just slipped past him. Mo Salah and Mbappe. Having them both on the same team is just insane. Here he is. Killing Mbappe. Pass shot. Winds nope. it up. What a save. We can cross this one in. That's a 
good cross. Oh, we just couldn't get anyone on it. Gakpo dispossessed. Nothing's going right here. Hakimi keeps it. He passes it away. Right, here's Trent on the ball. Let's, let's just play a killer pass or something. Yeah, through the gap. Mo Salah, brilliant, good stuff. Now Gakpo, this is good. Yes, yes, what a counter-attack. Robertson in the box, Salah in the first time, what a save. It just me or is this game really dark and I really can't tell the difference between both sides. We can't get a point, I mean, play it long. That is such a boring game. Arsenal do nothing and get a point. Who's our top goal scorer so far this season? Mbappe, four goals and one assist in four games. That's really good. One goal in four for Salah. No one else has scored. I'm really excited to see what we can achieve with this squad though it's looking really strong we'll obviously make improvements in january to the depth but one competition we did do well in last year was the champions league now we've got juventus and take a look at that squad we of course played them in the semi-final last year and they in fact beat us we're gonna have to bench fabinho because of fitness we're gonna start gomez and we're gonna start diaz as well we're gonna have to rotate a bit but we mean business this season we have elon musk as the owner zidane as the manager and Bappe up front we are so much better oh here's Salah, number 10 Salah as well onto that left foot. Going to bend one. Good save, Chesney. Oh, he's Pogba in the box. We are playing a proper side now. To be fair, I don't even think they got top four last year in Serie A. Here's Pogba again. Good opportunity. Oh, no, not Vlahovic. I don't want to play against this guy. It's unfair. Robertson. Fofana, now Diaz, yes, Mbappe in behind, doesn't matter where, just get him in behind, he's got step overs the whole lot, yeah, onto that right foot, a little pass shot, Mbappe to hit one straight down the middle, we're gonna have like Cristiano Ronaldo from 2006 in our side, here comes Hakimi, nice pass there, now here comes Mo Salah, he doesn't want to pass it, he is better than Mbappe, he thinks, oh look at him go, he's gonna try hit it from that angle, ooh, I mean, what has happened there, win the header, okay, it's Curtis Jones, here's Fofana, through the gap there, to Mbappe. Nice chance on his left. This keeper, man. What's he doing? Is a car out on the ball. That's a nice pass. McKenny, Kulusevski, good defense. Crosses one in. We can get a header there. So close. Edge, edge of box. Curtis Jones winds one up. Hits it. Oh, what a goal. Curtis Jones, first goal in the Champions League. What a way to start off the season. Check this out. Takes a touch. I don't know what the defender's doing. He does everything but touch the ball. And oh, it deflects off him. That's why we score it. Deflex of Pogba. What a goal. Jim White. Sky Sports News. Breaking news. Goal. Liverpool. Is Pogba. Oh, that's a ball there to Vlahovic. Oh, he messed that up. He could have done a whole lot better. I'm so pleased we got that goal because this is a tough game. We're playing a solid side. Now here's Kylian Mbappe on the right hand side. He's just going to go past everyone. Carver out. Get out the equation. He's going to score. What a goal, Kylian Mbappe. He has done it. What a goal. 2 0 Liverpool. And this guy is absolutely rapid. Take a look at the finish as well. Wasn't that bad. Oh, here's Paul Pogba. What a block there. We can get a third. Most Salah, come on, do it. 10 minutes to play. Still got the ball. Still Salah. It's kept it in. Salah on the right hand side. Still Salah. And Kara Salah. Look at this. Mo Salah. Can he finish it off? Oh, yes, he can. Oh, it's blocked. What do you mean? That's the 90 minutes. What a win. First game in the Champions League at Anfield. And we really did play a good one. Check this out. Next game is Manchester United at Anfield. This is going to be a massive game. Guys, this will be next episode. If you enjoy, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. Thanks for watching, guys. My second channel should be on the screen here. Elon Musk has bought the club for $6 million and appointed Zidane as the manager. We had a billion dollars to spend and we signed Kylian Mbappe. But to get him to sign we had to give him a million a week and make him CEO. And he has just sent the manager this message. Hey Zizou, I'm pleased with the decision I made to join the club and I think you're doing a good job. But I'm messaging to let you know that I'm now captain and take all pens. Guys, I think this could become a problem. He could fall out with Zidane. He has too much pass. So the captain's armband goes from Van Dyke now to Mbappe and we have to put him on penalties. Salah has 86 and Mbappe only has 81, but I mean, we have to do it. And by the way, if you guys are enjoying the series, drop a like and subscribe if you're new. This dude from last episode is pointing out that we could be in danger of financial fair play because we're spending a lot of money right now. Going into the January window, we have 709 million left to spend. But to be fair, we've actually sold a bunch of players. We only made two signings, being Mbappe and Fofana. But guys, don't forget about that contract that Elon gave Zidane for this season. We have to get top two in the Premier League, else we have to sell Salah. Reach the same. Final 
of the Champions League as next season we lose 500 million and win a trophy as we do not get a Tesla sponsor next season. And after four games in the Premier League, we have won three drawn one. So that's a much better start than last season. But now we have Manchester United away at Old Trafford. This is a massive game. Our biggest rivals. And we sadly don't want to be losing this one. We're going to play Elliot over Mount because of fitness. So that's an early pass there to Mbappe. Look at him. He's got the captain's armband. I hope this guy doesn't destroy the dressing room. Oh, that's a poor pass. Come on, capitalize off that. Here's Elliot. Little flick over the top to Mbappe. A touch through the gap. Finesse it. Oh, what a save. Oh, no. Here's a big opportunity for United. What a save, Alisson. Just before halftime as well. <laughs> no. Oh, what a mistake there. What are we doing? That is terrible. I mean, what are we doing defensively? Uh, that That is horrendous. I didn't even know it came off Canade like that. That's embarrassing. Oh, here's Schick on the ball for United. A 2-0 lead would be awful. We're giving the ball away at the back as well. What a save. Oh, Virgil van Dijk. What a tackle. What a pass. Here's Mbappe. Oh, couldn't find the ball. Could have slipped him through if he got that right. It was not an easy pass. Here's Hakimi. We make the pass here to Mbappe. Turns his man. He's going to get that. Chip that up there. Robertson. Header. Back to Mbappe nope. on the volley. What a save. I tell you what, guys. I think a draw is the best we can get from this game. Like 10 minutes to play. Back on the left-hand side. Okay, he's doing well. There's a pass there to Mbappe. Here's onside. Onto that right foot. Still Mbappe loses the ball. We've got five minutes to get this goal. Our final hope. Slay on this counter-attack and the ref blows it. Are you kidding me? A 1-0 loss at Old Trafford. That really is a disappointing result. So Mbappe's first game as captain and we lose 1-0. I really do hope this doesn't affect the dressing room. Of course guys, in that contract, we have to win a trophy as we don't get the Tesla sponsor. And we now have Arsenal in the cup. So we're going to rotate slightly. We will play it. We need to be winning it. It's not going to be the easiest of games because Arsenal do have a good squad. We have a breakaway counter-attack here. Oh, surely this is a goal. Gakpo in behind. Good touch. Second touch. Oh, he's taking it wide. What a finish. What a finish, Gakpo. The first touch was great. The second was questionable, but that finish was superb. The Canberra Cup really would be a great competition to win. We're going to try find Nunes. It takes a block. We should have made the most out of that because here come Arsenal on a solo counter-attack. Martinelli, what a tackle. There's Curtis Jones on the ball. A second goal would be fantastic. Chip that up there for Nunes. Can he take it down? Oh, what a bit of play. Chips the keeper. Just finish it. What am I doing? That would have been an incredible goal. I mean, he could get a goal here. Nunes, what was that for a touch? And that's the 90 minutes. Just the one goal. But that is us through to the next round. We need to bounce back here versus Palace. And we get a 4-2 win. Mason Mount, Canade, and Mbappe and Fabinho. Mbappe still our top goal scorer, by the way. Six goals in seven with one assist, which is actually pretty good. But apart from that, no one else has more than one goal. And we get a 3-1 win versus Kiev in the Champions League and Bappe scores Gakpo and Hakimi. You guys need to get in the comments because the January window will be open very soon. We could go in for Jude Bellingham. He's gone to Real Madrid. When on earth did this happen? An accepted transfer. He's now a Madrid player. I mean, we could go in for Nunes. Do we really need to sign a center mid? We have to sign someone. I know you guys are going to say it and to be fair, it is a good shout. Gavardio, 83 rated. He could get on the bench. I said when we started this series, Joe Gomez, I'm not too sure about his future because IRL is not being good for a while. But for a bench player, he's really good. And he actually does have more pace than Canade, so we could play him more. And in fact, he will play this game versus Fulham. And we get a two-all draw. Are you kidding me? After seven games, we're now third. Four points away from top of the league walls. Guys, Spurs are two points ahead of us and we now have them at Anfield. And if we drop points here, I mean, if we lose here, we are in trouble. Here's Mo Salah and Mbappe's making the run. He takes it down. He's done really well. He just couldn't get it back to Salah. But, I mean, Fabinho's done excellent there. What a ball. Mo Salah. Now to Gakpo. Keeps it. Now Robertson tries to get it in the box. And ball. Surely that's a pen. Is this our first VAR of the series, by the way? Surely it's not. We're like episode nine or something. Robertson hits it. And that's a pen. That's a pen. No one is disagreeing with that. That is a penalty. And you guys know the rules. Mbappe has to take it. And if he misses, he's going to look like a clown. Now, do you know what? We're going to do it in Mbappe style. We're, we're not just going to take an average penalty. We're going to penetrate it down the middle and miss it. Great.
This guy takes the captain's armband, now takes all the penalties, and goes and does that. Oh, he's Harry Kane for Spurs, makes the pass. What a block. That probably saved us a goal there. Oh, he's Matip. Oh, no. Oh, do not let Matip score against us. We sold him to Spurs. Allison saving us there. Corner. Son whips it in. We can get that one away, and we do. Harry Kane hits it. Oh, what a goal. What a goal, Harry Kane. Spurs have been so aggressive in the last 10 minutes, and they finally get the goal. But, I mean, take a look at this from Harry Kane. Edge of his boot just hits it, and that is, that is just pure class. Don't know why we played so bad against United. Now Spurs. I mean, they could make it two hit. Watch Harry Kane. Do not let him get the ball. Here's Emerson Royale. Yes, passes it to us. Let's get this up now. Here's Mason Mount on the ball. Mbappe, you need to be making these runs. Here's Hakimi. Plays that now to Salah. Fantastic. Now Mbappe. Yes, he's kept it. Now Mbappe on the ball. Slips that to Salah. Good stuff. Good pass. That's the goal. What a goal makes him out. Bar it in. That is an equalizer and a half. That is a strike and a half. Look at this build-up play. Check that out. Try stopping that. Guys, we've got like 20 minutes to find that winner. What a save, Allison. We have about five minutes left to win this game of football. This would be massive. I mean, right now, we do not show signs of winning the league. I mean, we will certainly be in a top four race if we are going to be this inconsistent. Now, Salah, I mean, you can't be playing a pass like that. What an interception. What an interception again. One last count attack get it to Mbappe here he is on the ball Mbappe past a couple still Mbappe there's a gap he goes to hit one what a save and that's it we get a point that was probably a little bit selfish from Mbappe then in fact we should have passed it so last season we sent our five star four star scout out to the USA guys where do you want me to send it this time I mentioned Ireland maybe Australia that could be a great option we probably won't be finding the next Australian Messi we might go for someone like Ronaldo I mean let me know in the comments we're two games into our Champions League group and we have two wins and our very next game is Bayer Leverkusen. And we're going to rotate slightly for this one. I feel Mbappe has to be starting. Still a strong squad, but rotations here and there like Diaz on the left. We have an early counter-attack here with Salah. That's a run there from Mbappe. We're going to volley that. What a goal. He's onside as well. That is just class. I mean, Mbappe is a very good player. In fact, right now, he's probably the best in the world. Couple of step-overs. That's a foul. Going to take this now. Here's Coate on the ball. We're going to pass that to Mbappe. Okay, he keeps it. Can he keep it? For a long time, though. Still Mbappe. Possibly a long shot. Just move it on. Is Livermeno now going to try and get the ball in the box? What a block. Now I've got Mount. Now I've got Salah. Oh, he's just sat him down. Salah, can we get it back onto that left? Yes, we can. Try bend it. What a block. To be fair, guys. Leverkusen could get the point. There's 10 minutes left to play. And here's a good chance. Abraham on the ball. Is he going to hit it? Oh, he's done well. That's the goal. I don't believe it. How on earth have we bottled this? And that's the 90 minutes. We get a point away in Germany in our third game of the group. But now back to the Premier League. And we get a 1-0 win versus Leeds. Just the one goal. Guys, check this out. Gomez has had an offer from PSG. 38 million. Do you know what? We're going to negotiate this. I mentioned him potentially leaving. And do you know what Van Dijk's getting on. He he will be here this season and next. But if you really want to think to the future, then we need a replacement. And Gomez is not the man. If we were to sign Cavadion, he would be. And they straight up accept 48 million. We just about beat Leicester 3-2 in the next Carabao Cup round. Salah with a brace and Darwin Nunes. And oh boy, we beat Aston Villa 4-0. That is a smashing. Our top scorer is still Mbappe. To be fair, he hasn't scored too many goals since last time. And Salah now has five. And 10 games in, we now sit fourth place, five points away from Tom. It's official, Joe Gomez has now completed his transfer to PSG. We just have to wait till January, and we get an A for that. That's really good. We now have Bayer Leverkusen at Anfield. This should be a complete different game. I mean, if it goes the way it did last game, I would be concerned. We're losing 1-0. Seven minutes in, it's 1-0. I mean, give the ball to Mo Salah. Oh, that's a run from Mbappe. Can he get there? Yeah, keeper dead and come out to get him. As he got the finish, just he has. Killian and Mbappe for Liverpool gets the equaliser. Beautiful. Here's Trent. Good position. Looking for Mbappe. That's the finish. 2-1. Killian and Mbappe does it again. I'm pretty sure that's his ninth of the season. They have a good chance from the corner. 13 minutes to play. They whip it in. They win the header. Good save. And that's the win. We get the three points in the group. We're in a very good position now. We need one more point in the group to officially be in the round of 16. Now we're 
were facing Brentford at home and it's a 3 0 win. But we're now facing Burnley. Oh no, it's Burnley. We get a point. It's always Burnley, isn't it? We're third after 12 games on 25 points. Seven points away from top. Don't forget, guys, we actually do have to finish top two. We now have your Venice and take a look at this squad. It is pretty good. Of course, we've played them this season already. They are the side that actually knocked us out last year in the semis. A couple of changes here. We're going to start Gomez on the right. Probably one of the last chances he'll have to play. Maybe Diaz on the left. No, we'll start Gakpo. That's the only change you're going to make. But not an easy place to come here. Of course, we need a point to qualify to the next round. And you know what? That may be hard because they are looking good. That's a tackle. Got Gomez as well with all that speed coming forward. We're going to play that over the top from Mbappe. Surely he wins that. Oh, it's just too good. Here's Kylian Mbappe. Pass shot. Goal. No, that's actually quite a good save. That's a nice header. Here's Mason Mount. Oh, that's a foul. That's terrible. McKenna is in the box. Nice turn. He's done well. Oh, he's got the pace. He's surely going to smoke everyone here. Mbappe. Still Mbappe. That's a run by Mount over the top. Takes a touch. Mason Mount. Can't finish yet. Oh, that's an interception, Fabinho. Now we find Mbappe. Nice. What oh, we're going the other way. Onto that right foot. Going to hit one. What a save. That was a very good effort from Mbappe. We cross the corner here. We win the header near post save. Now Chiesa. Oh, what a goal. Ango Di Maria gets the opener. 1-0 Juve. Here's Mason Mount on the ball. Nice bit of play there. Robertson now in the box. Oh, you have to be doing better than that, but we have a penalty. I'm not going to be happy if this is not a penalty. You have to be playing that ball across the box. Okay, it hits his thigh. This is good. So it bounces up onto his arm. That's a penalty. Now, if he misses this one, we have a bit of a problem. We're going to smash this top right-hand corner. Loads of power. Surely you don't save that. What a penalty. If he missed that, we would have a problem. He'd be lacking confidence and no one else can take it. Here's Pogba for Juventus. What a tackle. Come on, let's hit them. Here's Mo Salah. Oh, he's done so well. Still Mo Salah coming forward. And Karasada. Get that out wide for Hakimi. Now back to Salah. I mean, pass the ball. 10 minutes to play. Can we find the winner? Salah, do you know what? I'm going to hit it from that angle. Good save. He's killing Mbappe. A couple of step overs. Yes, I mean, that slowed him down a little bit, but you're not going to stop him now. Killing Mbappe. He's just got around everyone. Mbappe for the winner. Oh, what a save. The last minute of the game. I could have got closer, perhaps. Here's Mo Salah. Now onto that left foot. And we try find the angle. Still Salah. I, I want to do that. That could have been a handball. Come on. Keep it. Keep it in play. Do not blow the whistle. Do not blow the whistle. Here's Gakpo. Still Gakpo. Now to Salah on that left to hit one over the bar. Oh, that is just not Salah, man. He has to be hitting the target. We're hopping straight back into the Premier League versus Leicester. And guys, we're actually picking up some good form here. Salah and Bappe and Salah again. We're keeping up with Man United and Man City. We're third after 13. And we're actually only four points away from top. If we want to keep this going, we're now going to have to beat Chelsea at Stamford Bridge. Not an easy task. Oh, Van Dijk's injured. We're going to have to play Gomez over him. And do you know what? I'm really feeling Diaz for this game. I feel this guy is going to be a game winner. Here's Pulisic in the box early on. Oh, what a save, Allison! He has saved us a goal there. Corner Chelsea. Are they going to go short? They're going to cross it in. They go short. Okay, here's Reese James. Tries to get it in the box. Good defense. But now here comes Mo Salah. Can he keep the ball? Yes, he does. Against his former club, remember. Mbappe's making the run, but Salah doesn't want to pass it. Oh, he's going to have to pass it now. Mbappe in the box. Mbappe trying to do something weird. Apparently, Gomez has picked up an injury. I mean, it doesn't really matter because he's about to be sold when the window opens. But would be annoying if we're going to miss him for a couple of weeks. Here's Mason Mount coming forward. We could pass it. We could shoot. Oh, what a bit of play. That's not a foul. What do you mean? We can win this in midfield. Oh, what a header. Here's Mo Salah. Don't hit it. Okay, he's done well. He's maintained the ball. Still Mo Salah. Going to hit one. What a save, Mendy. And what a bit of play by Mo Salah. Here he is. Can we try and bend it from this angle? Outside of the boot. Another save. Mo Salah. Salah, twisting and turning, finds Mount, who lifts it up in the box to Mbappe. That's a push in the back. In the box. Oh, no. That has to have taken a deflection. That hasn't gone straight in. It's Raheem Sterling of all people. Take a look at this. This is unfortunate, man. Take a look. Sterling hits it. It takes a deflection. Are you kidding me? Slot that there to Mbappe. The control was not there. The pass was horrendous. So many times this game, the pass has not been there. We need to do better. Pulisic could make it too. What a save, Allison. 10 minutes to play. Can 
we get the point. Or possibly the win still. Over the top in behind for Mbappe. Koulibaly. I don't believe it. We've gone from 10 to 5. Now four minutes remaining. Bakayoko. Interception again. They keep turning the ball over. And we need to actually do something. Over the top there to Salah. Come on. Come on. The equalizer. Forget Mbappe. Mohamed Salah. Post it in. Get in. Last kick of the game. We get a point. We are still in this title race. I mean, we're a little inconsistent, but we're going to hold in there. Believe me, you. What a game winner. Wasn't even a winner. What a game equalizer. Doesn't really work, but post it in. Mo Salah. By the way, to give you guys an update on some of the youngsters that we've put out on loan, this guy's growing by three. There are a couple of good ones. Or good one. I mean, this Kai Foster is a youth academy prospect we had at the start of the save. He's now 76 overall at Sporting. This is his last year on loan, and so far he's grown by two this year. We now have Watford, and we get a 2 0 draw. I don't believe it. We dropped points in the league. Didn't really want to be doing that after our last one as well. But luckily, we're still third, and we're actually still four points away from top. We have the last game in the group stage, and we most likely will top the group. I mean, Mbappe, he's going to want to be starting in the Champions League, isn't he? I you know what? I'm not going to rotate too much. We're only going to rotate like that. I want to make sure we get top of the group because it is better for the draw. We do. We get a 3-2 win. Mosala, Mount, and Simicass. And we have officially topped the group in six games, four wins, two draws, 14 points. You guys take a look at the league table. Fourth and fifth are all level on points with us. And one of those sides is Wolverhampton, who we actually have now, and we're slightly tired. Van Dyke cannot start. I mean, can he? I mean, Gomez is tired, so we will just start him anyway. Curtis Jones has to play and Elliot at camp. This is going to be a tough one. And what a chance we have here with Curtis Jones. We're going to slip that to Mo Salah. Please say it's onside. What a goal he is. What a goal. Mohamed Salah. I tell you what, Mbappe may be here this season, but he's doing better than last season. But with a good ball in the box, Wolverhampton could be straight back in this one. Good defense. Not gone. Oh, what a save. We have a corner here. We're going to get this outside of the box. Second half now. Here's Curtis Jones. Don't shoot. We've got Gakpo. Hit that First time takes a block. Still Gakpo hits it a second. That was heading for the top corner. Oh, no. Guedes is in behind. Bring the keeper out. Is he going to chip him? Oh, he just puts it past it. Wolverhampton get back in it. What a goal. Don't believe it. This most likely will be a draw. I mean, they could even win it in the box. Keeper, what are you doing? And that's it. That's the 90 minutes. A point to Wolverhampton. After 16 games, we're now fourth level on points with fifth and sixth. And our very next challenge is Manchester City who are doing very well. But the round of 16 has been drawn and you guys want to see who we have. But that will be revealed next episode. If you've enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on so don't miss a future video. My second challenge is on the screen right now. The January window is about to open and Joe Gomez is off to PSG for 48 million. So we now need another center back and I want this player to be Van Dijk's replacement for the future. We finished up off our Champions League group stage last episode and the round of 16 has been drawn. I teased this last episode, but you guys don't yet know who we're facing. But to finally reveal it, we're facing RB Leipzig. And they're currently top of the Bundesliga, clear from Bayern by one point. So this is not going to be an easy match. We have this dude from last episode saying if Mbappe falls out with the manager and plays because of his ego, we should loan him out or sell him like Pep did with Cancelo. Of course, Mbappe is now the CEO. He's on a million plus a week, 100 million signing on bonus. If he scores more than 25 goals, that's an extra 50 million. This guy is set. But it doesn't end there. Last episode, he came to Zidane saying that he is now captain and takes all pens. And Zidane can't do anything about that because Mbappe is the CEO. But luckily, in 22 games, he's got 12 goals to assist. To be fair, Mohamed Salah is actually catching up. Now, this dude said if Van Dijk goes down in raiding, bring in De Ligt to be the next Van Dijk. This would be a very, very good signing. Would cost around 100 million, so not cheap at all. 24, 87 rated at Bayern Munich. This guy could could help us get far in the Champions League, perhaps even win it. But Gavardio would also be a fantastic option. Would cost around 60 million. He's 21, 84 overall, and left-footed, which is amazing. If we were to start him, Van Dijk would go on the right, and we would play him at left centre-back, because he's left-footed, of course. But guys, Van Dijk is now 32, as you can see, so we really need to think about that replacement for the future. After 16 games, we are fourth in the table. Level on points with fifth and sixth. Five points away from top of League Man United. Of course, we need to get top two to keep Mo Salah next season. That is in Zidane's contract. So a new centre-back like Gavardi or De Ligt really could help us achieve that in the Premier League.
League, go find the Champions League. We do need to win a trophy. I think I'm leaning more toward Gavario because he's price and because he's younger. But guys, Zidane has received a message of CEO Mbappe saying, as CEO, I think we should sign to Ligt, not Gavario. Just saying. I mean, this Mbappe guy is really getting ahead of himself. This ego is coming through. But in a way, if he wants to achieve and win things, I can see why he wants us to sign to Ligt. So the January window isn't open just yet, and we're now facing Man City. Guys, I've started a club on Football Team Game, and I want you guys to join and play along. The team is called HSFC, and I have four slots left for you guys to join. And this is currently how the squad is looking. We do actually need a goalkeeper. My player is a center forward, and this is how he is looking. Once you create your player, go to the training section and just train your player up. As you can see, I'm 54 overall. I'm at 99%, so I need a couple more drills, and now I'm level 55. Thanks to Football Team for sponsoring today's video. I highly recommend you guys check it out. Link in the description and the pinned comment. We, of course, are behind City in the league, so this would be a fantastic win if we were to get it. We just can't lose. We don't want to drop further down the table. They've had, to, they've had a good start. What a tackle. Oh, no, Mbappe's just giving him the ball. Alvarez goes to hit one. Good save, Allison. Oh, that's a tackle there. Here's Gakpo on the left-hand side. Mbappe made the run over the top. This is Hallam versus Mbappe. He has on side. Killian Mbappe with the goal. That's the goal for Liverpool. 1-0 thanks to captain CEO Mbappe. Who do you guys think IRL is better? Haaland or Mbappe? Let me know in the comments. I think Mbappe has the edge on him. And he shows it there with that finish. Oh, no. Oh, we're so lucky. We are so lucky just there. Canado, wow, he's just done really well at the back. But we nearly gifted them a goal there. Robertson on the left hand side. Gakpo's making the run. I tell you what, we're playing this ball over the top right now. Here's Gakpo. Can we get this to Mbappe? We make the pass. Surely the second goal. What a block. Now Mason Mount. This is really good. We found Mbappe. Good build up play. That's a foul, but we can keep the ball. We're really going at City right now. Get this to Mo Salah. Onto that left foot. Goes to wind one up. Save. That would have been insane. Is Fringpong for City. Now De Bruyne. Nice bit of play. Oh, Van Dyke. What a bit of defense. What a save. Oh, no. Here's Erling Haaland in behind. Can Van Dyke get the tackle in? It's done well. Van Dyke. Great defense. We win the foul as well. We're really doing well in this one. But we need to keep it up because Man City can flick the switch. There's a gap there to Gakbo. Surely the second goal is through a goal. We're going to finesse this. Oh, what a save. That really should have been 2 0. Get this low. Edge of box. Trent. Edge of box. Box two, Mason Mount. Okay, we're building it up. Here's Gakpo. Mount, Fabinho. Here's Trent. Good bit of play. Salah finesses it for 2 0. Mohamed Salah gets his goal again. We are winning this one. Check this out. He had the same opportunity at the end of one of the games last episode and butchered it right over the bar. But this one, top corner. Oh, no, here's a good opportunity. Julian Alvarez. Oh, what a save. And Haaland coming close there. They've got Edison in the box. Come on, defend this corner. Let's get that third. They whip it in. We can head this away. Oh, it's bouncing around. Oh, surely the goal. How on earth do we not concede there? But get this ball up. I mean, goalkeeper is running back. He's going back. We'll slip him out mid Salah. The keeper is back in his goal. So we just have to play a normal counter attack and referee doesn't want to know. That is three points in the bag. A 2-0 win. Man City destroyed. Can we follow that up against Brighton? Just about a 3-2 win. Mbappe, Salah and Trent. Of course, in Zidane contract he has to win a trophy so we get a tesla sponsor next season we have rotated a lot here but we should still get the win quarter final at home versus coventry it's a 2-0 win van den berg the 74 rated center back and lewis diaz oh we now have the merseyside derby and guys are only six points behind us after the first counter attack in the first 10 minutes gordon he of course has gone to newcastle i route to core nice bit of play what a save tell you what evident i've had a lot of chances that should have been a goal. You get the vibe. We won't have too many opportunities, so we need to finish one. Salah loves a good goal versus Evident. We cross it in. Salah's there in the box. Good defending. Oh, but look at this. 15 minutes to go. This should be the goal. Gakpo is through. Won't bottle it. Finesses it. Bottom right at corner. 1-0 Liverpool. That should be the three points versus Evident. And it is. That's the 90 minutes. What a win. Guys, that save Allison made it near post. I mean, apparently it was on side. That was 
first class. So that win, we're now one point behind Manchester United in second place. And we have Arsenal, who are like 11 points behind us. So do you know what? We're actually just going to sim this. They're having a terrible season. I expect to win this. And we do. 3-1. Mason Mount, Gakpo, and Salah. No Mbappe. And now Salah has the same amount of goals as Mbappe. More assists, so he's actually doing better. But we have one more game before the January window opens. And do you know what? This will be Joe Gomez's last appearance in a Liverpool shirt. Can we get the win? I've noticed Mbappe has stopped scoring as much since we made him captain. A 2-1 win for Fana and Mbappe. There we go. That's number 15. But now Joe Gomez is officially off, walking out the door on his way to Paris Saint-Germain. And we have an offer from AC Milan for Fabinho. 65 million. He's 30 now. But no, we're going to be rejecting that. He's one of our best players. So we made the decision on Gabardio or Delict. We would be in trouble if we went for Gabardio because Mbappe. Gonna have to go in for Delict. I mean, guys, was it worth signing Mbappe for that much money and to make him CEO? We're gonna go in and offer 102 million for Delict. They'll probably straight up accept it. They won't. They counter back. They want Fabinho as well. Okay, fair enough. We'll go up to 105 million. 112? Of course, we could just accept that, but I want an A. I want a B, an A. They accept 107. I mean, Mbappe is doing good. He's got 15 goals, five assists in January. That's good. But really, for the amount of money he's on, you'd expect a bit more. The Ligt is asking for 230k a week and a 10 million signing on bonus. I mean, we have to pay it because we've got the money. 107 million is the fee. A B or an A? I'm saying probably a B. A C. I mean, yeah, we probably could have saved around 10 million. Guys, I've completely forgot about Diego Jota. He's on loan at Real Madrid. And he's got four goals in six appearances in the Champions League. So Delit will slot into the side for Canade. That really strengthens our defense. I mean, Canade was good, strong defender, but Delict's even better. We have Man City in the Carabao Cup semi-final. It's two-legged, so we'll sim the first leg. Delict will start his debut. We will rotate still, though. We we've got players like Elliot and Livermano starting here and there. Please just don't get smashed. It's a 3-2 loss. Okay, we can bring that back. And we get a 3-1 win versus Exeter in our first round of the FA Cup. I guess Exeter are exiting the competition. We now get to see how good our new signing Delict is versus Chelsea. And I don't believe it. Early on, they get a penalty. This guy's definitely going to the right. We dive too early. He goes to the left. It's 1-0. I mean, it could be 2-0 if they get this free kick right. It's Reese James. He lines it up. They're going to wind it up. Oh, what a save. I mean, I really hope that Delict did not give away that penalty. That would not be great. Here's Mo Salah out wide. Has kept the ball. He's doing well. First number 36. Lays that off. Deliver Menno. Don't know why he's playing. Whips it in the box. Gag post there. Not good enough. Oh, but here's a good opportunity now for Mo Salah. We're going to slip that to Killian Mbappe. Should be the goal. Mbappe could sweat it. Oh, he's missed it. I don't believe it. What a fraud. We have one last opportunity to basically get an equalizer. Salah takes it down. This guy's better than Mbappe. Okay. He's kept the ball. Still Salah. I'm just going to hit it. He's hit it. What a save. Please give us one more highlight. Yes. Come on. Mason Mount slips that to Mbappe. Don't bottle it. Do not bottle it. Killian Mbappe. Sorry for St. Salah's. But he gets the goal. That is the equalizer. We get a point. Killian Mbappe with the goal. But we don't draw points here versus Leicester. A 2-0 win. And you won't believe it, but after 23 games, we are top of the league by three points. And we get a 2-1 win versus Bournemouth. Next round of the FA Cup. Elliot with a brace. But of course, they're trailing 3 to an aggregate to Man City. They could score another. N there's no way he shot that. We could get an equalizer here and make it 1-0 if Mbappe scores this penalty. We scored when he went to the right, so we're going to do the same thing. We're going to smash it. Top right. Oh, are you kidding me? There's no way he's missed that. He's just sent that to Texas to Elon. We could have been level there. Here's Trent. Oh, I should have hit that. Was it really going to be going in, though? Gakpo, we could sweat it. He doesn't he finishes it and he's onside. That's the equalizer thanks to Gakpo. Okay, about half an hour left to go. Corner. We go at your box here. One touch. Yes, wind it up. Elliot hits it. Oh, what a save. That would have just been seen. That was a great decision to recall him instead of signing someone new. He's actually done a really good job and he's scoring goals. Oh, Alvarez. What a tackle, Van Dyke. Guys, this is going to go down to penalties, isn't it? I mean, if Haaland scores here, if Haaland scores here, then we are out Foden good defense still not gone and that is the 90 minutes I think that's pens and it is
Fabinho to step up and score the first one. We're going to go to the left here. Please don't send this to Texas. Oh, it's a save. Now to Bruyne. He's also going to the left. He goes to the right. You just don't want to miss your... Uh, sorry, has Edison just been knocked out? All right, here's Mbappe. He's going to go to the right. Do not send this one to the US. Oh, that's a penalty. Back of the net. Now we're rolling Howland. Is he going to miss it? Yeah, he sends it down the middle. Mason, mount, mount, mount. Where's he going to put it? Top left and corner. Loads of pass. Steps up. How are you saving that? You just don't so save those. He's going to the bottom left. Yes, what a save. Right, Gakpo is going to send this one down the middle. Edison, do not stay there. Yes, he dives. Okay, good stuff. He's going bottom right. Bernardo Silva, what a save. If we score this, we win it. And it's Van Dijk. You know what we're going to do. We're going to be cheeky here. We're going to go down the middle with a Penenka. We have scored. That's not not the winner. I, I thought that was the winner there. He's going to go down the middle. Foden goes bottom right. Fair enough. If Elliot scores this one, we are in the final. Top right hand corner. He saves it again. This keeper, man. How are they saving those in this game? He's going to the right. Yes, what a save. Get in. Two. Hakimi to step up. Send it home. Send us to the final. Get in. The, the game's mugged me off again. The game has mugged me off again. We are not in the final yet. Cancelo. Oh, I don't believe it. Oh, there's me celebrating that we're in the final. Trent, come on, please. Score this. Score it. He scores it. Are we in the final now? No, we're still not in the final. Why, why are we going down to the wire? He's going to the left and he scores it. Don't believe this. We're going to the right. I should have gone to the left. He, he scores. What a penalty. Surely he's going to miss it at some point. Rodrigo, there's a reason he hasn't taken one. What a goal. This is absolutely painful this is this is just painful why are we not scoring and winning what a goal it's like the man united europa league final is going to the right he goes down the middle this is painful come on please he's going to send it down the middle allison keeper dives get in what a goal okay akanji steps up going to the right nope. yes we saved it we're in the final finally it's over after about half an hour oh and take a look who we have in the final it's <laughs> Seven and the Merseyside Derby. Where are they in the Premier League? They're 11th place. I mean, this is not going to be easy to beat our rivals in the final. But back to the Premier League. We get a 2 0 win versus Brighton. Our two best players, Salah and Mbappe. Sorry, where have Sporting got all this money from? 131 million for Gakpo. Fair enough. I mean, that is an offer, but no, we're going to reject it. But we're back playing City, this time in the Premier League. First versus third, I think. And great, they have a penalty. Erling Haaland. We're going to the nope. right and we save it. Get in. I mean, it's a bit boring seeing penalties versus City. We've taken so many. Now here's Robertson. Nice pass there to Mason Mount. Okay, we'll get that out there to Gakpo. Now Robertson. Good stuff. We cross one in. Asala with the header. Oh, how is that not a goal? And that's the 90th minute. It's a nil-nil draw. How boring is that? We get a 2-0 draw to West Ham United and Bappi with a brace, but we drop more points. But guys, take a look at who we have now. RB Leipzig in the round of 16 and take a look at that squad. Werner and Kunku both up top. Gavardiol as a left center back. Not going to be an easy game, but we will be simming the first leg and it's a nil-nil. So it all goes down to the second leg. Before we get to that, we have an opportunity to tick one of them things off the contract. We need to win a trophy to get a Tesla sponsor on the shirt next season. But you know what? As it's the cup, we will slightly rotate. I don't know where, though. Fabinho, we'll, we'll start Fofana. We'll play Canadi over Delict as well. But we, of course, cannot be underestimating Everton. We have a much better side, but of course, they are rivals. Here comes Luis Diaz. There's a pass there to Mbappe. He should have shot. Makes a mount. Oh, he's missed it. Salah's making the run. We'll slip him in behind. Here's Mohamed Salah. Good counterattack on that left foot maybe pulls it back oh here's Mbappe outside the boot hits it what a save you know what if we really go for it here we could put four past Everton we just need to actually you know score a goal well that's an interception Hakimi beautiful do you know what I can't help myself I need to hit a pass shot oh I thought that was in so close again here's Kylian Mbappe we just need to make sure we score because right now we're just messing around Kylian Mbappe to go the way like a Gareth Bale goal Kylian Mbappe makes it 1-0 
that is what we need him to do more. Goes past everyone with all that pace. It felt like no one was going to stop him. The finish was so elegant. I mean, check that out. Fantastic from Kylian Mbappe. Now here comes Mason Mount. Slips in behind Mbappe. This could be another goal. He doesn't want to pass it. Mbappe from this angle. 2-0. He is too good. Kylian Mbappe scores another goal. Now here's Diaz over the top there from Mbappe. Could be another. What on earth was that? I went to do a skill volley finish and he pulls that one out his locker. That's a nice header. Here's Mohamed Salah on the ball. Onto that left. He keeps it. Now he finds Diaz, who chips that up for Mbappe to nope. lob the keeper. Just finish the goal. Get your hat trick. You know, all, all respect to them for getting to the final, but they have been horrible in this final. Just, just horrible. Like, we should have had a third. I am annoyed that Mbappe hasn't had his hat trick and we don't have three goals. Here's Robertson. Crosses one in. Mbappe there. Header. Oh, he doesn't get it. No penalty as well. We win it. That's the 90 minutes. We win the trophy. That's ticked off the contract. And of course, because he's captain, he gets to lift the cap. Uh, Cup killing Mbappe. He lifts it. There we go. Champions off the Cup. Uh, Cup. We have won that trophy. We're still yet to face someone good in the FA Cup. And I mean, we beat Fleetwood in the last minute. Luis Diaz with a brace. We just about beat Villa. 3-2 in the league. Salah with a brace. And Fabinho. No Mbappe. And we're facing Man United now in the FA Cup quarter final. Would be nice to win two trophies. We're going to rotate slightly because it still is a cup competition. We're still a strong squad. This is how we're going to line up. Fantastic. They have the penalty. Bruno Fernandez, we save it. I'm going to dive to the right, not down the middle. I'm pretty sure we've seen about 15 pens this episode. You know what? We're going to power this one. What a save. Corner Manchester United, 55 minutes in. They win the header. If that was on target, we were in trouble. But now it's our turn. Can we get it on target? Can we even win the header? Salah, he's too short for that. Delict. Rebound. Luis Diaz, what a save. Here's Mason Mount. Oh, what a ball there to Salah. Through on goal. Should be it. Mohamed Salah. Tucks it over one now. Liverpool in the lead. And that's how it ends. We're in an FA Cup semi-final. We're going to Wembley. Oh, and you guys need to check this out. Look at the side we're facing in the semi-final. It's Crystal Palace and Wolverhampton Newcastle. Surely we win this competition. But now we have that massive second leg versus RB Leipzig. And guys, it's nil-nil. We do have the advantage because we are at Anfield, of course. We need to get to the semi-final as we lose 500 million next season. And that would be terrible. Oh, Mason mounts them really well there. Still got the ball. Moves it on there to Trent. Now in behind for Mbappe. Can't get there. Oh, but Mount wins the header. Mo Salah on his left. Goes to wide enough. I thought that was in. The lick. Can he win that header? Yes, he does. Oh, we're certainly going to win this. That's a tackle. I'm going to say we're certainly going to win this. Don't speak too early. Oh, Marcus Rashford. How have they got him? Now Gakpo. Finesses it on his right. Oh, what a shot. Um, Salah, oh, what a save. Leipzig here really escaping it. Here's Trent now on the ball. He finds Mo Salah. Can he get it to Mbappe? Yes, he has. He's taking that down well. No over the top to Gakpo on the volley. Can't get there. Comes to Mo Salah, though, who gets it to Mbappe. Mbappe, what a goal. 1-0 Liverpool. Mbappe has done it again. This guy is starting to turn up the heat. A real tacky goal there. Mo Salah wins the head. Oh, no, it wasn't even a header, but... Look at that. Top right hand corner. Here comes Trent. Mbappe's making the run. We play that there. Two Mesa Mount. Back in the box. Trent for the second. 2 0. Boom. We should be in a quarter final. Trent Alexander Arnold with the goal. And that was a really clean finish. A finesse shot. All the time in the world. Beautiful. Here's Mesa Mount. Nice bit of play. Now wide there to Gakpo. Mo Salah's in the box. Good bit of play. Looking for Mbappe for the third. Oh, it's just too easy. It's too easy. Mbappe with the goal. Oh, look. Everyone's having a great time here. I don't know what on earth. I mean, 100 million signing on bonus. A million a week. Of course, he's going like this. But that's a great finish. And that's the 90 minutes. A 3-0 win. 3-0 on aggregate. Route to the quarterfinal in style. Thanks to CEO Mbappe. Can we take this confidence back? 
to the Premier League and we get a 3-2 win versus Everton in the last three minutes. We get a 3-2 loss to Norwich. How on earth has that happened? And a 3-1 loss to Crystal Palace. What on earth has happened in the last two games? We have eight games left to play. We're second in the league, four points behind top of the league Spurs. And check out who we have in the quarterfinal of the Champions League. We're facing German side Brescia Dortmund. Oh no, take a look at their squad. They have Ben Yedda up top. To be fair, that's a good defense as well. Saul and Schlotter back. We'll sim the first leg. Can we get a win? A 3-1 win. That is massive going into the second leg. Fabinho, Mbappe and Gakpo. Man United are one spot behind us in third spot. One point behind us. And that is our very next game. But this will be next episode. If you guys have enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. My second channel is on the screen now. Guys, in Zidane's contract this season, he had to win a trophy so we get a Tesla sponsor next season. And we had a Carabao Cup final last episode versus his rivals Everton and check out what we did. Kylian Mbappe to go all the way like a Gareth Bale. Goal! Kylian Mbappe! Slips in behind Mbappe. This could be another goal. Mbappe from this angle. 2-0. He is too good. Kylian Mbappe. We might as well just get straight into it but we've had a message of Mohamed Salah and this is not good. He is saying this Mbappe guy is doing my head in. I want to leave. Mbappe's coming into the club this season earning a million a week. 100 million signing on bonus and not just that he's the ceo so he requested to be captain and take all penalties which is probably one of the reasons salah is actually annoying because he's got 86 penalties and mbappe only has 82 but in 42 appearances mbappe has 26 goals six assists 19 and 8 for salah so he's had a very very good season but he obviously wants to leave because of what mbappe is doing we've got eight games left to play we've got a game in hand on top of the league and we're only four points away and we're currently beating brescia Dortmund 3-1 on aggregate in the Champions League quarterfinal. But we now have one massive game against our rivals, Manchester United. And take a look at their squad. They've got some big players who are tired. But we can put out our strongest 11 and our new signing from last episode, Delict. What a signing has been. He has really added to that defense. Trent back in the box. And Bappe crosses it in the box. The header. Nope. Oh, what a save. And Bappe, what a save again. The rebound. How is that not a goal? But what an opportunity we have from the penalty spot. And Bappe could make it one nil. We're going to smash this top left hand corner. Is De Gea going to save it? And he does. I don't believe it. What a joke, man. And Mbappe is. He has to take every penalty. I'm telling you, Mo Salah would have scored that. Here he is. Onto that left foot. Not letting it go. Still Mo Salah. Makes a little pass out wide. Gakpo. Is he on side? That's the question. Back to Salah. Oh, so close. Oh, that's a good opportunity. Schick him behind. We cannot be conceding here. Schick. Nope. Oh, what a save, Allison. And that's the 90 minutes. We get a draw. That is two massive points dropped right there. We still have a game in hand on Spurs, but we're six points away from them. And now we have that massive second leg, but we are winning 3-1. So we should be in the semi-final. And we can't actually put out our strongest 11. We don't have to make any changes. But guys, don't forget, in Sedan's contract, it also says that we have to reach the semi-final. As next season, we'll have 500 million less to spend in our transfer budget. Is Julian Brandt on the ball? Oh, that's a good pass there to Golovin. What a save. We're only winning by two goals. I mean, if they get an early one, then it is game on. They'll have all the confidence. Look at this. They've actually signed Harvey Barnes. That is strange. Here's Julian Brandt. Oh, fantastic tackle for Benio. Now here's Mbappe. Slots that in behind for Mason Mount. What an opportunity this is. Mason Mount gets the goal. That should be us in the semi-final. Mason Mount makes it 4-1 in aggregate. That is a beautiful finish as well. Calm, composed. Bottom left-hand corner. He only has a few games left of the season until it will be off. There's a long shot opportunity there. He hits it. Oh, just tipped over the bar. Try and get this one in. Mo Salah over kick. Oh, what a save. He was on side as well. What a goal that would have been for Salah. Get this corner in the box. Get a header on that. And Bappe comes out to mount. Now Virgil van Dijk or Fabinho. He can hit that. Out for another corner. A penalty, apparently. We're going to VAR. It comes down to Mason Mount. Now Fabinho. That was a very good opportunity. There was a gap. Uh, to be fair, there wasn't too much of a gap, but he hit it. The question is, is that a penalty? Oh, it hit his shoulder. That is not a penalty. That's not even a handball. Sebastian Haller. Now Gusto. Big opportunity. Is he going to square it across? What a tackle. Now here's Hakimi. He finds Mohamed Salah. Little dink over the top there. For Mbappe on the volley. What a save. His Gakpo slots that in behind for Mbappe. Surely another goal. He's not going to miss that. Kylian Mbappe.
bag. I tell you what, he may have a massive ego. He's really annoyed a couple of players, but he is just a fantastic player. He's destructive in the dressing room, but he continues to perform on the pitch, and it's not affecting our form. Guys, I don't see how anybody is going to stop this side in the semi-final. We are surely going to win the Champions League. Mbappe's got another goal. It's 6-1 on aggregate. Mbappe is just too good. Well, here's another chance. Harvey Barnes in the box. Is he going to pull that back? He does. Oh, that's a goal back. Then Yedda, of course. Who else is going to score? Here's Mbappe on the ball. Oh, it's just too good. He is too good. It's a cheat code. Still Mbappe. It's going to go the way. Mbappe is going to bend it. Oh, it's just too good. No one can tackle this guy. Why is that for a celebration as well? That's interesting. Just enjoy this man. Look at that. Gets it onto his right foot and just smashes it. Top corner. That is wild class. And that's full time. 7-2 on aggregate. We're going into the semis in style. And Mbappe is unstoppable right now. I tell you what, what an appointment Zidane has been. He has changed this side. Oh, and look at this. Our first offer for Mo Salah is Manchester City. Oh, no. We can't let him go there. I mean, he wants to leave because Mbappe. He doesn't want to leave because he dislikes the club. We're going to have to reject that. We, we, we just can't be doing that. Oh, and take a look at who we have in the semi-final. Paris Saint-Germain, Mbappe's former club, potentially Salah's next club. And it's very possible we could have Man City in the final if we beat PSG. Of course, we have a game in hand on Spurs and we're six points away from them right now. And we have them up next. So if we win this, we could reduce it to three. It is still possible. And take a look at their squad. They have three, four, five massive players who are tired. Oh, that's an interception. Hakimi through to Mbappe, sweated across. Is it onside? Yes, mate. Mal. What an early goal there for Liverpool. You cannot stop us right now. This team could literally beat anybody in this form. Mbappe with the assist. Mason Mount with the goal. It's a tap in. Oh no, that's Ben Tanka. Oh, he's bottled it. What a chance that was for Spurs to get an equaliser. Now Gakpo. Oh, what a fantastic ball out wide there to Salah. What a fantastic touch onto that left foot. Going to Ben one Mohamed Salah. What a save. We really are going to miss him next season. Passes it. Regular. Nice pass, Lucas Moura, who also is tired. Is he going to make the pass in the box? Oh, what an equaliser. Ben Tanker, who is also tired. I did not expect this from Spurs. We were expecting a second. We're playing that well. And then they go and do that. That's a fantastic equaliser. Well, that's a ball in behind there. We can play it back. Oh, we've made a mistake. Richarlison, what a save. I tell you what, we need to pull our finger out. That could have been 2-1 right there. Spurs get the corner in. They win the header. It's still not gone. Oh, you're kidding me. We're going to be. Ah, oh, it's a potential penalty. Why is this all of a sudden going all wrong? The corner is whipped in. Are you kidding me? That hand that why is your hand, Gagpo, there? That that's a blade and hand ball. But why is your hand there? There's no need for that. So here we go. Oh, I thought it'd be Kane. We he might actually miss this. To the right. Oh, we went the same way, but that's a great penalty. I'm pretty sure they've subbed Harry Kane off, but Richarlison makes it 2-1 Spurs. Now I'm missing Royale. Now finds Benton Kurt. Now Son, who hits one, just about saves it. Oh, no, here's Pepe on the ball. Still Pepe moves it on. Royale in the box. Easy save. Gets that out wide to Robertson. Now returns it. Oh, what are we doing? We've got one minute to play as well. That should have been the last opportunity. And it will be the last opportunity as we've lost this game 2-1. How disappointing is that? That could be the league title gone. And next up for Salah is actually off Atletico Madrid. This is better than City but I still don't feel Salah would want to go to Atletico Madrid. And we get a 2-1 win versus Leeds United. Van Dijk and Mbappe. Now Chelsea want to re-sign Salah. But does he want to stay in the Premier League? I'm waiting for PSG. He's linked IRL. We're also going to reject this one, but this is the best one yet. But now we have Crystal Palace at Wembley. This is the FA Cup semi-final. I'm going to be honest, I am feeling confident about this one. So we're going to slightly rotate. Still a strong side, but this is how we're going to line up. Oh, what a fantastic opportunity here. Oh, surely that's a goal. Can he get there? Mbappe, do you know what? Pass shot, Kylian Mbappe! 1-0 Liverpool. You just do not stop this guy. Here comes Trent. You know what? It's such a good opportunity to do this. Oh, 
I tell you what, one day we're going to score that and I'm going to go mad. Oh, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. They're three. What's he doing? He's slowing down. Go on, slide in. Oh, I don't believe it. What an equalizer. Palace are back in it. Oh, look at this. We've 10 minutes left to go. Luis Diaz could possibly win it with the goal. Get it. 2-1 Liverpool. Surely that's us now in a final. It's going to get two out. Two. Remember, on this channel, we just don't like semi-finals and finals. We love extra time. We love penalties. I don't know what it is. I personally cannot stand them. I just want to win it in 90 minutes. One last opportunity. Are they going to get it? What a tackle. Oh, but this will be a third goal. Fabinho out wide there to Salah. Mbappe's making the run onto that left foot. Still Salah. Still Salah. He's going to go all the way. Mohamed Salah. What a block. Comes to Mason Mount, though. Robertson, edge of box, Luis Diaz, handball, possibly Mbappe, get there, Mbappe, oh, what a save. Well, that's the 90 minutes, a 2-1 win, we're in an FA Cup final, we're coming back here to Wembley. There's no bigger game of the season than this versus Paris Saint-Germain in the Champions League. I'm sure the first leg is away from home, in Zinedine Zidane's homeland, back at Mbappe's home, take a look at that side for Paris Saint-Germain, and I'm going to be honest, that's not that good. The Play Malin. Where's Messi? Where's Neymar? We've, of course, got Mbappe, but what on earth has happened to that side? But here comes the first leg, and it's a one-all draw. Immobile and Kylian Mbappe versus his former team. But the battle continues in the Premier League, and we get a 2-0 win versus Wolverhampton. Salah with a brace. And take a look at this. Before the second leg, PSG have come in for Salah. I mean, we're going to negotiate this, but what are they trying to do here? They're trying to get to him in the head. We're going to offer valuation, ask, and they accept it. They accept I don't believe what's just happened. Mohamed Salah is off to PSG and we're about to play them. If Paris Saint-Germain somehow pull this second leg off and knock us out this competition, I think we can put that down to them buying Mohamed Salah. This is a great opportunity early on. It's Gakpo. A couple of stepovers. Great tackle. Joe Gomez, a former player. You can't even write this. You cannot even script this. Oh no, but here's Malent for PSG and Mobile. Oh, near post save, Allison. Oh, here's Mason Mount. We can slip that to Kylian Mbappe. This is Joe Gomez. Fake shot onto that right. Okay, we've sat him down. He's actually going to shoot this. Mbappe! What a goal! Kylian Mbappe! I don't know how to do... Okay, I've just skipped it. Fair enough. I don't know how to do the hand celebration. You guys told me in the comments, but I forgot. Oh, no. Here's Malin. This could be the equalizer. He hits it. What a save. Oh, no. That's a penalty. That's a potential penalty. I don't know if that's a handball or not, but we're going to be a... Uh... Corner comes in. Is on the volley. He hits it. Oh, no. Oh, it hits his shoulder. That's not a pen. It's his shoulder or the top of his arm, but his hand's in a normal position. So that's not a pen. Oh, no. Here's for Raddy. Malin. Oh! Oh, what an equalizer. They're straight back in it. They're denied the penalty by VAR, but Malin steps up there and gets a goal. That's a finish. About 20 minutes left to play now. 1-1 one, one in game. 2-2 two, two on aggregate. They cross it in. It's still not gone. Here's Immobile. Hits it. Another save. They've got Neymar on the pitch now. They've got Messi on the pitch now as well. I can see them in the box. So this is probably going to get worse. That's a ball in the box. Gakpo. Oh, he's missed it. He's missed the sitter. How on earth has Gakpo missed that? What a goal. 10 minutes to play. And here's Immobile now in the box for Paris. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Mbappe scores. No, not Mbappe. Neymar. How have we let this game slip away from us like that? He just comes into the box, smashes it, and now we're trailing. We have five minutes to find this goal. Here's Mohamed Salah. Still Salah. He's gone past a couple. Still Salah. Still Salah. He's got the ball still. He pulls it back. Now he finds Mbappe. Who hits it? Oh, what a save. One. Final opportunity. Mohamed Salah on the ball versus his foot. His next club is going to goes to hit it. And that's it. That'll be it. We get knocked out of the Champions League. Paris Saint-Germain are going to the final. How disappointing is that? And we get a 3-1 win versus Watford, Salah, Mount, and Gakpo. And with three games left to play, we are one point away from Spurs. They are spursing this up. They are bottling this. It is still possible. And it's official. It is official. Mohamed Salah is off to PSG when the window opens we get an A for that apparently his contract was expiring so if you guys are probably wondering is there gonna be a season three there will be a 
Mafia Season 3. Especially now we're knocked out of the Champions League. But perhaps Chiesa could be the player to replace Mohamed Salah on the right hand side. Get all your suggestions in the comments down below. But now we have Fulham at home and another win. Mbappe and Gakpo. But guys, we do have competition with two games left. Man United are now second. But the Premier League drama pauses for a game. Because we are back at Wembley playing the FA Cup final. Playing Wolves, by the way. We, of course, have won the Cabo Cup. And now we have the opportunity to win the FA Cup. Here's Trent. He finds Mbappe. Now, Wolverhampton are going to really struggle stopping him. Here's Gakpo on his left. What a finish. Drills it low. Bottom right hand corner. That was a very attractive goal. Now, here comes Gakpo again. He's already got what? Oh, he's going to go past them all. He's going to go past them all. Gakpo is going to go past them all. Goes to lob the keeper. It's cleared. I don't know why I had to lob it there. All I had to do is finish it. Mo Salah. Oh, you just don't stop him there. Mo Salah's going to hit one. What a save. I'm sorry, but Wolverhampton really do not have a chance in this game. We are just going to smash them. We've got Kylian Mbappe up top. We've got Gakpo and Salah. Look at this. We're going to slip him in behind. Here comes Mbappe onto that right foot. Do you know what, guys? I, I want a pass shot somehow. Mbappe. We're going to pass that now to Trent, who's going to wind one up, who hits it. Oh, is it the post? Now wide to Gakpo. Big opportunity. Could be 2 0. It is. Gakpo with the goal. 2 0. Straight at the start of the second half. I mean, Gakpo's such a good player, but in a team of Mbappe and Salah, you really do forget about him. Mason Mount pulls that back. Mbappe for the third. 3 0 Liverpool. There we go. Just give us the trophy already. And that's it. That's full time. What a way to end it. Do you know what? It is a shame that Mbappe's got the armband because Salah could have lifted this. His final trophy for Liverpool, but Mbappe lifts it with his best friend Salah. There we go. Champions of the FA Cup. The Cabo Cup, the FA Cup, to be fair, it's been a good season, but we now have the Premier League to chase. Just do not drop points here to Burnley. Don't do it. A 2-1 win. I tell you what, Burnley makes me nervous. Mason Mount and Gakpo. So it comes down to the final game of the season. Will Spurs Spurs it up? Man United could still win it on goal if Difference. But Spurs and Liverpool would have to lose. By the way, Spurs are playing Burnley. Unfortunately, the Champions League final is Oil FC versus Oil FC. Guys, Mbappe scored 35 goals this season, 12 assists. I was saying last episode, was he really a good signing? But yes, he has. Mo Salah, 22 goals, 8 assists. Gakpo and Mason Mount both having really good seasons. And don't forget, Diego Jota actually is going to come back next season. But our final game of this season is Brentford away. If they get in our way... And end up getting a point or take all three points. The title will be gone, but we can keep the hopes alive here by winning. And here's Mason Mount. Oh, he slips that in behind for Salah. Good start. This could be still Salah. Oh, can't get the finish off. That's that out wide to Robertson. Now in the box. And Buffet! What a bit of space he got himself into. That's the first goal for Liverpool. Here comes Gakpo. I'm feeling a power shot here. Gakpo Ooh. hits it. Oh, just kept up by Raya. Here comes Gakpo. Nice counter attack onto that right foot. You guys know what's going to... Oh. Okay. Oh, no, no, don't give that a penalty. We've got a free kick at your box. I don't even know if I want to take this. I think I've just witnessed the most disgusting power shot there. At the speed this went at, I would be concerned right now at this Brentford player right in the chest. That was not very nice, but we have Salah to step up from the free kick here. Ah, oh, you guys are going to tell me to get Trent on it. So we're going to get Trent on this free kick. Going to put some... Oh, no, it's going into the wall, isn't it? Over the wall. Oh, what a free kick. What a goal! Trent makes it 2-0. I sure did put enough power on it because it went over the wall and that was barring in. Take a look at that. Enough power, enough height. That was perfect. Now here comes Mohamed Salah. Oh, we've got to slip that to Mbappe. Just have to do it. Here we go. Mbappe, pass shot. Oh, that's disgusting. That, 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 that's disgusting. That's just too good. Okay, corner hit. We're going to get this one. Edge of box to Trent. Good touch. He's going to power hit it. Oh! Just one day, just go in. It's all I asked for. I just love power shots and Mbappe. Oh, what a goal. I don't believe it. Power shots are just so fun. Look at this. Receives the ball. He absolutely bladders it. Hits it hard. Finds the top corner. That is the hat trick, by the way. See, we're just having fun here. Obliterating Brentford. Scoring power shots. All we know, Spurs could actually be spursing it up. Now back in the box. Oh, surely a goal. Yes. Mbappe. Oh, he's got another. It's it's just unfair. Kylian Mbappe. And that's it. That's the end of the game. Here's the answer. Have we won the title or not? I don't think we have. Mbappe. Four goals. Eight attempts. I don't think we've done it, guys. I don't think we have won the league. Spurs beat Burnley 
3-0. They win the league by a point. I mean, congratulations to them. It went all the way down to the wire. I mean, what a season it's been. Unfortunately, we now have to say goodbye to Mohamed Salah. 22 goals, 9 assists this season. 39 and 12 for Mbappe, though, at 25. What a player. Zidane did manage to complete all three things on that contract. So he keeps his job. No forfeits next season. Elon Musk is happy. Season 3 will be out tomorrow, guys. Like, subscribe, get your comments down below. Want to see a Barcelona career mode? My second channel is here. Season 3 is officially here, and Mohamed Salah has left to PSG for $120 million. And Elon Musk has provided us with another billion dollars for this season, so we'll have no problem signing a Salah replacement. And because it's a brand new season, of course, we have three brand new kits. We have a Tesla sponsor, by the way, so stay tuned for that. But before we get into the transfers, Elon Musk has given Zidane this contract for this season, which says if we don't win the Premier League and the Champions League, he will get sacked. And we also have to sign two English players. So we need to make sure we get this transfer window right because we've just lost Salah and this side needs to win the Premier League and Champions League. But of course, we do have the best player in the world, 94 rated Mbappe. Now, when it comes to Salah replacements, the majority of you guys are probably thinking of Federico Chiesa from Juventus. I've mentioned signing this guy before. He's in the last year of his contract, so we could get him on the cheap. I mean, he's 87 overall. But another option from Serie A could be Rafael Liao. He's now 25. 88 overall would cost a lot more, like double. The problem I have with Chiesa and Liao is they're both left wingers who are right footed. Salah got a lot of goal contributions last season. He's a right winger, left footed. So a really good option could be Moussa Diaby. He's left footed, 88 overall. 24 would do the job amazingly well. But we need to sign two English players. So Bukayo Saka would be a fantastic player to sign. He's currently in a Milan, 86 overall, but he's 22. So he's still very, very young and he's Premier League proven. Of course, we're going to go straight in here and put an offer in. He's valued at 85 million, but they were talking upwards of 100. So we're going to offer 92 million. Test the waters real quick. Why does everyone want Fabinho? I know it's amazing, but we don't want to sell him. 97 and a half. We're just going to accept that. 275k a week, 10 million signing on bonus. Of course, he says yes to that. Welcome to Liverpool. So here he is, the brand new signing. We're in the new home Liverpool shirt. 97 million. The game is going to rate this an A. Yes, it is. That's a really good transfer. I mean, he's Salah's replacement, so we might as well just give him number 10. And he slots into the side nicely. I am expecting him to grow quite a bit this season because he is a little low rated at 86. Of course, we do have Diego Jota out on loan at Real Madrid. He's 89 overall at 27. I thought we should recall him. He'd be a massive player, a part of the squad. Okay, Spurs may have won the league last season, but are they having a laugh? They've offered 229 million from Bappe. I wouldn't even accept a billion for this guy. Are you kidding me? We have a massive injury to Trent. Guys, he's rolled out for three months with a broken collarbone. This is a massive injury. I don't think we should sign a replacement because three months will go by pretty quickly. We could play Curtis Jones there, but my suggestion for now is we play Mason Mount at center mid and we actually play Diego Schotter at cap. I mean, they still get plus ratings, so I'm just going to see how that goes. Now, you guys have patiently been waiting for this kit reveal. Unfortunately, my kit maker, MOI, was not available to make these, so I have had to go and make them, and this is how the home one is looking. It's still Nike, but Air Jordan, I just thought that would look better, with a Tesla logo. It's all red with a bit of orange on it. I think I've done a pretty good job with this. Let me know in the comments what you think about it, though. To be fair, I didn't really know what to do for the away one, so this is what we have. I admit, it's probably average or just slightly better. It's all white. Home shirt's got a nice little pattern on it. Tesla sponsor is clean. Air Jordan looks great as always. Again, let me know in the comments what you think about this one. And this is the third one. Again, didn't really know what to do. Same colors as last season. Same pattern all over the kit. Of course, new signing. Saka displaying it. Tesla sponsor does look good. Let me know in the comments. What do you think about this one? And of course, we can't forget the goalkeeper kit. I made a little mistake with the badge there. I'll have to fix that. But just ignore it for now. I will fully accept this is terrible. The home away and third are okay, but this is just dreadful. So don't go too hard on this one in the comments. Now, we do actually have an opportunity to win a trophy here in our first game of the season against Spurs. As it is our first game of the season, do we make a little bit of a rotation? Maybe start Canade over De Ligt and both Banner at CDM. The FA Cup winners versus Premier League winners. They beat us to the league by just a point. So to test where we really are at the start of this season, there's no better side to play than Tottenham. Oh, Ramiro nearly making a mistake there. Yes, he does make a mistake. 
take Mbappe. Diego Jota. Oh, what a goal. What now? What a way to come back from lone goal, Diego Jota. Fantastic pressure there. Klopp style. Nice assist, Mbappe. And that is a finish. So I'm going to shoot here. He does over the wall. Oh! I thought that went in. Oh, it's a good chance for Spurs to get back in it. Harry Kane, what a goal. Spurs don't take long to level it out. And it's nobody else but Harry Kane with the goal. Keeper didn't even move. I tell you what, Spurs are going to be challenging this season as well by the looks of things. Here's Gakpo, still got the ball. Oh, that's a foul. He keeps it though. Looking for Mbappe. Why not just pass them the ball? Apparently we have a penalty. A handball from a corner. I tell you what, since we scored that goal, it's all going wrong. Here it is. It'll be here. And Mbappe. But he didn't even header it. It just hit his hand. That is a pen. This first side is going to be very competitive this season. Oh, we go the right way and he still scores. Is Saka out wide? Oh, that's a foul. Gives the ball to Saka. First impression on the ball. He's got that left foot. Okay, he's got out of that situation nicely. Still Saka. Still Saka goes to hit it blocked. Here's Gill on the ball. Now Kane could be another. Oh, the referee has just blown the whistle. I would be fuming. I don't believe it. Oh, no. Oh, we're getting smashed here. They do get the goal. Still an injustice because it could potentially be 4-1. Oh, no. Oh, no. No. Oh, what a save. This is damage control right here. Could have been another right there. Head of this away. Get it out. He finds Mason Mount. Takes a good touch. Still Mount. Still Mount. Has he got the finish? Oh, what a save. Now here's Gakpo on his right. Hits one. Oh, good save. Haven't really seen him do anything this game. Still got the ball. Still Saka. Still Saka. Good stuff, Saka. Oh, Oh, what a save. Rebound. Oh, what a block. That is not how we wanted to start this season. We lose a trophy. We get smashed by Spurs 3-1. That is a massive sign that this could be a tough season. We need to win the Premier League and the Champions League. Perhaps Mohamed Salah was our Mane and now he's gone. Stuff is about to get bad. Guys, where are us in this side? Could we make a signing? Potentially on the bench, most likely for the bench. But we need to sign another English player this season. I'm going to be honest. I know 29 and is at Real Sociedad now, but I really wouldn't mind signing James Ward Prowl. He used to play for the Liverpool B side, Southampton, would be a cheap signing and a good bench player. And I know a lot of you guys are going to suggest Jude Bellingham, but guys, our midfield's too good. We can't fit Jude Bellingham into the side right now. First game of the Premier League, we have Wolverhampton away, and we cannot be losing this one. Here's Saka on the ball, finds Gakpo, chance to shoot, hits it. Oh, what a goal, Gakpo! What a fantastic goal that was! Now here comes Saka onto that left foot. Can he keep it? Is he going to pass it? Saka moves it on. That was a horrendous pass. Now Robertson crosses it in. And Mbappe with the header 2-0. I really did not expect to score that. It isn't the easiest thing to score a header on this game, but Kylian Mbappe gets his fast. Now here comes Fabinho. Out wide there to Gakpo. This really does show how good Spurs are. And Mbappe, pass shot. That's another goal. This guy is going to score more than 39 goals this season. Are you kidding me? What an opportunity this is for Wolves. We'll bring the keeper out. He Wee. chips. Okay, right. That's embarrassing. That is embarrassing. Didn't mean to call him out that far. And what a chance here from the free kick. Unfortunately, Trent is injured. We could get Saka on it. Do you know what? We're going to get Mbappe taking it. I feel that is the best option here. We're going to put a decent amount of pat, put a bit of bend on it over the wall. Oh, close to the post, but that's full time. 3 1 win. Now we have Arsenal, who didn't even finish top 10 last season. So we simmed it and we get a 2 0 win. Mbappe and Saka with a goal scores against his former club. I tell you what, we've had no simple start to the season. We've now got Man United. If you take a look at their side, they've re signed Chris Smalling for centre back and they've now got Pedro at centre mid. If we can play like we did against Wolves here at Old Trafford, silence them Man United fans, that'd be amazing. Here's Saka on the ball. He did get his first goal versus Arsenal, which was just fairy tale stuff. Still Saka, gonna try and hit it. Oh, Chris Smalling, Mike Smalling with the tackle. Oh no, is Bruno Fernandes on the ball. Now out to Anthony. Is he gonna do a spin? What a save. Akimi. Now he's found Saka. Mbappe make the run. Do something. That's it. In behind is Mbappe on the ball. Got all that pace. Back post maybe. Dink it. I could have shot. What am I doing? Here's Gakpo. Still got the ball. Mason Mount. Now Fabinho. He's found Xhota. Nice run there. Back to Xhota in the box. Or Gakpo. No. Nope. Oh, what a save. Oh, that's a nice header there, Mason Mount. Here's Saka. Little ball over the top there for Mbappe. Wins the header. Oh, what a goal. What an assist, Saka. And what a goal, Mbappe. Check this out. Look 
at that. Just plays it long. Keeper comes out. Wins that. That is a very good goal. Oh, no. It's a chance for United. What a block, Van Dijk. Oh, no. It's Pedri. Shot. Another save, Alisson. Here's Bruno. Oh, that's a pass. That's a pass. Bruno with the shot. Oh, just past the post. That leads us to halftime. Here's Mason Mount. Slips down to Mbappe. He's through. This could be the second goal. Mbappe. Pass shot. Oh, what am I doing? Of course, the keeper's going to come out and get that. That was a fantastic chance. That's a nice long ball there. Shota wins the header. Now to Mbappe. Nice touch. Still Mbappe. Great bit of play. Now in the box. Oh, Gakpo couldn't get there. Oh, this could be the last counter-attack of the game. United. What an interception, Virgil. Gets that out wide to Gakpo. Perhaps we could get a goal here. Saka. Referee blows. That's the win. 1-0 at Old Trafford. Three points in the bag. Now, our Champions League group has been drawn for this season. The sides we're facing are Bayer Leverkusen, Real Sociedad, and Diamond Kien. Oh, we've got the dreaded Burnley now. It's a 3-2 win. Just about. Gakpo with a brace and Virgil van Dijk. Our first game in the group is Bayer Leverkusen. Take a look at that side. Richarlison on the right with Deabe just behind him and Abraham up top. Super good defense in midfield. We need to be careful against them. They're probably going to challenge for the Bundesliga. We can't be slipping up in the group stage. We need to be winning this competition. A win here would be great for the confidence. Here's Saka. Can we get a shot off? Yes, he can. Just past the goal. But now we have a penalty. And of course, no one but Mbappe can take it. We're going to actually be cheeky here. We're going to penetrate it down the Every time we do it, every time we do it, the keeper doesn't move. But we have another penalty. You guys know exactly what we're going to do on this one. We're going to penetrate it down the middle. Oh, he just scores. 1-0 Liverpool. His mount. Oh, that's a run there for Saka. In behind, out wide. There's people in the box. Still Saka. He's going to pass it on. Gakpo. 2-0. Assist for Saka. And a goal for Gakpo. I feel Saka's probably going to get more assists than goals this season. Oh, but a real good opportunity now for Leverkusen. Abraham back to this dude. Back to Abraham. Is he going to get the shot off? He passes it. So Soler hits it. Just about saving it. There's Mbappe. Now we've got Saka. Oh, this should be a goal. Saka on his right. Has he got the finish? Yes, he has. 3-0. That's the number 10. Saka with a goal. And that's full time. A 3-0 win at Anfield. That is the best way to start the Champions League campaign. Back to the Premier League with a 2-1 win versus Leicester. Saka again and a Mbappe. Now, we've got Wolfhampton in the first round of the Carabao Cup. Would be a good competition to win. If you take a look, we've pretty much fully rotated, and this is how strong our squad is. And we get a 2-0 win. Diego Jota and Darwin Nunez. Oh, boy, we're doing well in the Premier League. We get another 3-0 win away to Forest. Six games in, already five points clear from second place. And Spurs aren't even in the top eight. They're actually 15th. Perhaps that loss in the Community Shield was a massive wake-up to us. So back to the group stage in the Champions League, playing Kiev. And Adi, oh, that's a really nice pass there to Livermano. Now Harvey Elliott still got the ball. And Bappe! Oh, past the post. Oh, but we're back at it again here. Gakpo onto that right foot. Finesse is it. Oh, top right that corner. 1-0 Liverpool. This team is going to achieve so much this season. Here's a good opportunity for Kiev. Hits it. What a save. Oh, and pretty much a one-on-one -on -one hit for Saka. Slots that to Gakpo. Surely the second goal. Got to finesse it. 2-0. What a finish, Gakpo. This is going to be a massive season for him. And that's the 90 minutes. We beat Kiev 2-0 and actually went down to 10 men. Back to the Premier League play. Bournemouth and we get a 3-1 win. And back Mbappe, Saka, and Saka with a brace. A top goal scorer is Mbappe. Seven in ten games. Six and five for Gakpo and Saka. But guys, Saka has seven assists. I really do think he's going to get more assists than goals, as I said. And take a look at that. He's now 88 overall. We're going to 3-1 win versus our B team. Saka, Mbappe, and Gakpo. I'm going to say it, but so far, this front three has been better than it was last season with Saka in it. And just like that, Trent is back from injury. Don't I don't know how it's gone that quick, but we will give him a couple of weeks to recover. But now we're facing Real Sociedad back in the Champions League. And they have an early opportunity. What a save. And it's better them to have a decent side. Not as good as Bayer Leverkusen's, of course. But from this free kick out, I'm actually just going to smash it. Try and win a corner from it. Mbappe. Oh, it's the post. Oh, but here's Saka out wide. Big opportunity. He's going to find Gakpo. Back post. Could have sweated it across, but what a volley. What a goal, Gakpo. It's 1-0 Liverpool. And in the final 
final minute of the game, we can confirm this win by scoring this penalty. And Bappe, we're going to hammer this top right hand corner. Keeper dives the other way. 2 0 Liverpool. Kylian Mbappe wins the game. And we get a 2 1 win versus Brighton. Mbappe and Saka once again. 16 goal contributions for Saka in 13 games. And 15 for Mbappe in 13 is incredible. We absurdly found that replacement for Mohamed Salah. And he's only 23. We have a Cabo Cup game here we're pretty much fully rotated and trent is back from injury by the way let's go zero sharpness we're just gonna give him minutes anyway a 3-0 win nunez diaz and jones nine games in nine wins 27 points seven points clear from second place west ham guys this season has gone amazingly well so far of course this season we need to sign two english players we've signed one already and january will be around the corner very soon so get your suggestions down below guys have enjoyed today's episode leave a like subscribe turn the bell on want to see a barcelona Lona career mode, my second channel is on the screen now. We have the best front three in the world right now. And Mbappe could potentially win the Ballon d'Or in today's episode. I'd show how good our attack is right now. Mbappe, Gakpo, and Saka have a combined 41 goal contributions in 13 games. And the table shows it as we haven't lost a game so far. And we're seven points clear from second spot. The guy's Zidane's contract is pretty harsh because if he doesn't win the Champions League and the Premier League, then he will get sacked. And because we also need to sign two English players, We've already signed Saka, but we need to sign another one. This dude from last episode is recommending James Madison. Now, this is a pretty good shout. He's a right mid and is at Bayer Leverkusen right now. He costs around 50 to 60 million, and we could convert him to a camp. Where on earth would we fit him in the side? I did mention James Ward Prowse here. Costs around 20 million, 81 rated, but he is 30. This team is just so stacked right now. We do have Trent back from his injury, so we'll have to drop Jota back down to the bench. To be fair, he actually did play really well as a cam. If you guys see where we could make a signing, then let me know in the comments. It has to be an English player. Our first game is Leeds United, expecting a win, a 2-0 win for Binio and Mbappe. And back to the Champions League, beating Real Sociedad 3-1. A massive win for Fana Saka and Mason Mount. Now, Kai Foster was our Youth Academy prospect when we started the series. In the summer, we weren't able to loan him out, so we have an offer here of Dortmund. We'll try and say two years and see what they say. He's 19 and he's 79 overall. We're back to the Premier League playing Villa and a 4-1 win. Guys, you cannot stop this side right now. Gakpo, Saka, Mount and Mbappe. This team is so good. And Kai Foster is officially off the Dortmund for a two-year loan. He'll be off when the January window opens. To be fair, guys, we could honestly break records this season. We're 11 games in and we've won 11 games. We're nine points clear from Arsenal. But check this out. Man City are actually 11th place on 14 points. And we now have them away. And what a chance this is for Mbappe. Could make it. 1-0 and he does just like that straight into the game and it's straight away 1-0 Kylian Mbappe I mean they're not even top half of the table this could get ugly here's Mbappe Oh, what an interception. And now a great chance for Foden. Makes a pass there to Bailey. Slips that through. That is an awful pass. And here comes Mbappe just before halftime. He's kept the ball. Now wide to Saka. He is on side. Still Saka. Gonna finesse it. Oh, he's missed it. But 50 minutes in, we have the penalty. If we make it 2-0 here, that would be massive. We're gonna go to the left-hand side here. Oh, keeper stays put. It's 2-0. And of course, it's Kylian Mbappe again. This guy is just too good. And that's the 90 minutes. What a win that is versus City. Now back to the Champions League. And we lose 2-1 to Bayer Leverkusen. Tammy Abraham and James Madison, the player we were looking at. It doesn't matter though, because we've got one more game to play and we're already qualified. But the question is, in the last game, will we get top of the group? And we get a 3-1 win versus Everton. Luis Diaz, Mbappe and Saka. And the numbers keep rolling in, because Mbappe, Saka and Gakpo now have a combined 52 goal contributions. And we beat Palace 4-2. Mbappe with a hat trick and Mason Mount. Guys, to be fair, I thought we'd miss Mohamed Salah this season, but we've actually been better without him. Saka's been so good. And he's gone down from 93 to 92 overall. And we have West Ham here at Anfield. And it's a 2-1 loss. We lose our first game of the season. Hakimi with the only goal, but that is terrible. But to be fair, West Ham are actually second in the league and we're 10 points ahead of them. Chance here to top the group, our final game of the Champions League. And we're facing Kiev. A nice bit of build-up play here. 
Yeah, here's Trent. Good to have him back. Now, Darwin Nunes make a nice pass there. Good interception. Oh, here's a good opportunity. Darwin Nunes. Now, Luis Diaz. First time finish. 1 0 Liverpool. It's not even Luis Diaz. He's on the right. It's Gagbo on the left. And chance from the penalty spot. Now, Mbappe is not on the pitch. Who is going to take it? Gagbo is on fire right now. Maybe Luis Diaz. But to be fair, Darwin Nunes. Oh, I've taken too long. I've taken too long. Great. I mean, they barely give us any time to take that. I cannot believe we did not score that. There's a good chance. Oh, what a goal. Luis Diaz taps it in for the second goal. That's a fantastic finish. Now here's Mason Mount. Where are we going to get this? Out wide to Gakpo. Oh, this will be another goal for him. Can he finesse it? Oh, that's not a great finish. Awful keeping. But it's 3-0. That's how we will end here at Anfield. Now, Bappe grabs November Player of the Month award. But he hasn't been nominated for 2024's Player of the Year. He said it's Fede Valverde. Verde, Harry Kane, Son, and Vinicius Jr. And we're actually now facing Spurs, who do have Harry Kane and Son. Of course, we know how good they are. They beat us to the title last season. But we can put out our strongest squad right here. But we're going to make one change. I'm going to start Diego Jota at Cam. You guys know I actually really like playing him here. I'm going to convert him to a center forward and try and convert him to a Cam. We did, of course, play them in the Community Shield and got smashed 3-1. We'll just say that. So I'm going to be really careful in this game. Despite the them not having a great season so far. Here's Hakimi on the ball. We make a pass there. Now here's Trent. Do we get a shot off? He goes on his right. That could have been a handball. In fact, we get a free kick. What a fantastic opportunity. And Trent is back from injury. This has to be going in. If we don't score this, I will be disappointed. Okay, a decent amount of power. Is that going into the wall? It, oh, it goes straight into the wall. That is so disappointing. I wish I could rewind that like you can in kickoff. Here's Diego Jota. Still Diego Jota. Shot it. Nice bit of ball there. Now Hakimi. Back to Jota. Still got it. Makes a pass. Here's Trent. Pulls it back. Going to get a shot off. Good save. Oh, that's a bad pass there. Giving D.A. Jota the ball. He will punish them. He's going to slip that to Mbappe, who will punish them even more. Killing Mbappe. Oh, what a goal. I thought he skied it. This guy is too good. How on earth has he not been nominated for the Ballon d'Or? I mean, Spurs have had a dreadful start to the season. And Kane and Son get nominated. This guy got to a Champions League final and can't stop scoring. Is Hakimi coming forward on the ball? Saka make that run. Here he is on the right-hand side. On that left. Okay. Oh, he's just gone straight around and Doji there. Still Saka. Still Saka. Gonna release it. Oh, what a save. We have one of the best sides I've ever built in career mode. From defense to midfield to the attacks. Team just plays so well. Here's some. Plays it to the feet of Harry Kane, who hits it. Oh, no. No, that's too good. That is a world-class goal. Harry Kane and Son. Son with the assist. Harry Kane with the goal. Look at that. Look at that touch. And the shot. I mean, he just knows where Virgil van Dijk's going to go. Top corner. And Spurs just be Spurs again in this career mode. Oh, he's Emerson nope. Roy. Oh, what a save. That could have won Spurs the game there. What are we doing with that clearance? Just get it out. With how good we've been this season, you would expect us to win this game. This is like pre-lockdown Liverpool form. This is Mbappe's in the box. We whip it in. Mbappe with the header. Diego Jota gets the goal. Surely that's what it for Liverpool. I knew we would do it. We've just got that winner's mentality. Wherever we go, we are going to do our best and win. Fabinho crosses it in. Mbappe with the header. What a save. But Diego Jota in the right place at the right time. What a tap in. Now we have Brentford at Anfield and we drop points again to Brentford, the beast, the bottom of the league, Darwin Nunes and Luis Diaz. That's what happens when you don't play Mbappe and Saka. We'll take a look at this. Chelsea are now second, but we're 13 points away from them. Guys, at what point do we just confirm the league title? We're facing Chelsea now away at the bridge, so no easy game. And take a look at that Chelsea side. It's looking pretty good. We'll get a ball out wide there for Hakimi. Mbappe's in the box. He's got a head on him. Just couldn't get the direction. Maybe it was the tension in the dressing room last season between CEO and Mbappe and Salah that actually held us back. Because this season, we've actually had no problems with Mbappe. Hopefully it stays like that. But here he is on the ball. We'll slip that to Gakpo. What a goal this will be. Sweat it across. That is the front three getting involved. A team goal there. We're celebrating in the away end. And number 10, Saka with the goal. And oh boy, was that beautiful. Mbappe with the assist for the assist. Gakpo with the assist. Saka with the goal. Oh no, Brozier. Oh, has he missed that? What a sitter. Here's Brozier. Now Sterling. Nope. What a save. Nope. Oh, 
want to save again, Allison. Oh, you're joking. Potential penalty here. Corner whipped in. We clear it away. They give Sterling the ball and he just turns around. Hits it at Van Dijk. His hand does come down and get it. That will be a handball, won't it? So penalty it is. Oh, early dive and what a save, Allison. Doesn't even go for a corner. Goes for a throw in. We're just so good right now. Look at Saka. Back post. Gappo whips it in. Saka takes it down. Oh, goes for a little bit of a weird volley, but what a save. Saka wins the header that. Now here's Trent on the ball. He finds Mason Mount. Now he finds Saka onto that left. Saka from range gonna bend it. Oh, I thought that was in. So close. Graham Potter. Harry Potter doesn't know what's going on. Here's Saka again. You can't stop him when he gets going. Oh, he's still got the ball. Still got the ball. Onto that left foot. Saka gonna bend it. What a save. Okay, me. What a tackle. Now Fabinho. Now wide to Saka. Big chance. Here he is on the right hand side. Gaka back. Gakpo back post. We whip it in. Takes it down. Gakpo makes a pass. He's gone down in the box. And they get it away. This second goal is coming. Here's Trent on the ball. Oh, he's done so well. Gakpo's making the run over the top. Here's Gakpo. Mbappe's getting in the box. Just going to put it across the box. We're making silly decisions now. Oh, that's a tackle for Benio. Robertson. Now Gakpo on the ball. Slips that now to Mbappe. Oh, he's just too good. Mbappe's too good. How's he still got the ball? Robertson. Edge of box, Trent. Hakimi passes the ball away. That was just class from Mbappe. Oh, this could be the equaliser. Nope. Oh, what a save with five minutes to go. Alexander Isaac. What a fantastic opportunity that was. They cross it in. Get that one away. Now here's Saka. Oh, we've gone past one. Saka, Saka, surely the goal. Surely the second. The three points in the back. Saka to finish it off. What a finish. This guy has been a fantastic signing. So good. One-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Doesn't bottle it. You knew he was going to score. We now have Chelsea again in the Carabao Cup quarterfinal. We won this competition last year. I'm going to rotate a fair bit here. I am confident we could still get the win. Away at the bridge, we lose 3-2 are you kidding me? And now we have Newcastle at home. A 3-1 win. Gakpo and Mbappe and Mbappe. We are now officially in the January transfer window. So get your suggestions down below for what English player we're going to sign. 101.3 million from Man City for Darwin Nunez. Do you know what? I don't know how I'm even like debating this. It's tempting. We hardly use him. But no, we can't let him go for City for one. But Arsenal, oh, I mean, 109 million. We don't really need the money. We've, we've got Elon Musk as the Owner. In the comments and let me know, should we let Darwin Nunes go? But Dershot is now a center forward. He goes up to 90 overall. Can we now make him a cam? It will take 197 weeks. Great. But we just have a 90 rated player chilling on the bench. I mean, at center forward, he gets a boost one. We're going to have to start rotating this guy with Mason Mount. They're both 90 rated. Perhaps we sell Luis Diaz in nine games. He's got four goals, one assist. Perhaps we sell him and bring in a English left mid. Now we have not a and Forest, and we lose 3 1. What is going on? After 20 games, we are still top of the league, and we're clear from West Ham by 10 points. But now we have Barcelona coming in for Darwin Nunes. They want to give us Lewandowski. But we could negotiate this next episode. Let me know in the comments. Should we sell Darwin Nunes to Barcelona? Also, get your English player in the comments. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. If you want to see a Barcelona crew mode, my second channel is here. You guys probably saw in the news, but LeBron James and Liverpool are doing a Nike crossover. And if you didn't already know, LeBron actually has has investments in Liverpool. And the first thing in Zidane's contract for this season is that he needs to sign two English players. Of course, he's already signed Saka and he's been on fire so far. Do we need to sign one more? And you guys would recommend him perhaps going in for James Madison at Bayer Leverkusen. My suggestion was going in for James Ward-Prowse at Real Sociedad. But guys, because LeBron James has investments in Liverpool, he has actually convinced Elon Musk to change it from an English player to an American player. So my suggestion is that we actually loan out Curtis Jones Jones, who is an 80 rated English midfielder and we replace him with 84 rated American Western McKenney but apparently he's just gone to Dortmund hopefully we can still buy him he would cost around 50 million and it does actually let us go in for him just forget he signed for Dortmund he's valued at 39 million so if we go in with 42 million test the waters real quick I know we have a billion to spend but I kind of want to still get an A 45 million they want 60 okay 48 with a 15 cent 
Salon Claws 55. I've just accepted that the tension was getting high. I was fearing that they were going to walk out. Rotation is fine. Three year deal, 110k a week. This is a really good signing. The question is, is the game going to like it or not? We get a C. I will take that. We now have Chelsea in the Cabo Cup quarter final. We have rotated a fair bit. Still a strong squad though. But we won this competition last year. Hopefully we get to the semi-final. We lose 2-1. Reese James and Raheem Sterling. Darwin Nunes for us though. As I said, we did win it last year. I did mention at the end of last episode, perhaps selling Darwin Nunes. The Barcelona bid has expired. But now we have PSG offering 103 million. I mean, he played the last game. We're using Diego Schotter at camp. So I'm just going to keep him. I'm going to reject it. We're going to need the extra depth this season. I mean, this squad is absolutely incredible. The front three is absolutely insane. When the FA Cup comes around, I think we should probably just forfeit it because Zidane will lose his job if he doesn't win the Premier League and the Champions League. Now we have Newcastle at home and it's a 4-1 win. Gakpo, Saka, Fabinho and Mason Mount. And it's official. Weston McKennie has walked through the door. He's put on the home shirt. Shout out to Football Team for sponsoring today's video. As a lot of you guys already know, I've created a club on Football Team Game and I'm looking for active players with a high rating to come and join. As you can see currently, I really could do with some defenders and a goalkeeper. Currently I'm 55 overall, but just keep training your player and he will go up in rating. Unfortunately, yesterday we did lose 3-0 to this side, but we do have a new game today at 6 o'clock. I highly recommend you guys sign up, create a play. Link will be in the description and the pinned comment. Thanks to Football Team Game for sponsoring today's video. LeBron James's signing is officially here. 84 rated. Look at those stats. I know we did a Juventus crew mode and figured he could play everywhere but goalkeeper. We've actually changed Harvey Elliott to a backup right winger. And D.A. Schroeder is now officially a cam. So he'll be playing that role with Mason Mount. Do we have the number six freed up? We do. We have the number six freed up. LeBron James's number on Weston McKennie. Let's go. We draw 2-2 to Nottingham Forest. And Bappe with a brace. But we're actually dropping a lot of points at the moment to clubs we just shouldn't be. But despite that, 20 games in, we are top of the league. Clear from second spot by 17 points. And Mbappe, Saka and Gakpo in basically 25 games have 68 goal contributions, by the way. And Saka's now 90 overall. We signed him at 86 and it's only January. And Barcelona won a loan, Curtis Jones. A short-term loan. We'll accept that. We're now facing Leicester City at home in the Premier League. Here comes Saka on the ball. We're going to make a pass there to Mason Mount. Not going to shoot. Now Gakpo in the box. Mason Mount! Oh, what a goal on his left foot. First time finish. That was a finish and a half. This side scores all sorts of goals. Here's Trent. Are we going to pass shot it? Oh, straight down the middle. Oh, one last opportunity of the game, and it's for Leicester. Here's Javier. Have you say his name over the top there for number 10. Adley, get a foot in. Delict. Good stuff. Still not gone. Kuka Raya. Nope. No, what a save. That's the 90 minutes. That would have been horrendous if we conceded that. And Curtis Jones is officially off to Barcelona for six months. Okay, we have Leeds now. First round of the FA Cup. I said it wouldn't be bad if we went out. So this is how we're lining up. It's a pretty strong squad, but rotated in every position. Bring it on, Leeds. If you beat us, I mean, boo-hoo. We beat them 2-0. Can I add a amount? Oh, talking amount. I'll be Leipzig one in for 150 million. Where have they got that money from? Oh, no. The dreaded Burnley are just about winning 2-1. We have never convincingly smashed Burnley in this save. We now have Man United at Anfield. Our biggest rivals. You have to be up for this one. We've had to make two changes. Canade and Fofana starting. Oh, no. Man United have a great opportunity here. Here's shit coming forward. Can we get in? Slide there. Oh, that's a penalty. That has to be a red card as well. What's the ref going to do? He's just going to stand there. He's, he's going to stand there and do nothing. Oh, the pen, though, is going to the right. Oh, what a save. Not even a bucket. And we save it. Mugged off. Here they come again, though. Schick. He goes to hit that. Delete with the tackle. Now Rodrigo out wide. Get another tackle in. We get it away. Oh, no. It's all been... Oh, no. That's a mistake. If he accelerated there, that could have been deadly. What a save. And they have another chance from the spot. He's going the same spot. He's going the same place. He does. And he misses. What a fraud. It's been all Man United. We've got five minutes left and we're going to win it. We're just that good. We are that good. Across the box. I don't believe it. We're just so good. We have the winner's mentality. 
Nobody can beat us. We're top of the league by 17 points or something. Probably 20 now. You're not beating this side. To the FA Cup, fully rotated side. Fleetwood Town just winning 2-1. We're playing Arsenal now. They're joint second in the Premier League. And if you take a look at their squad, it's actually changed a lot since the start of the season. As I said last game, this team is just unbeatable right now. Gakpo is going to go the whole way. What a save. We're going to get this corner in the box. Van Dijk with that. Oh, what a save again. Okay, do the same thing. Get more hide on this one. Van Dyke couldn't get to it, but Gakpo gets that down to Weston McKenney, who is starting this game. Crosses it in, and Bappe can't get his head on it, but we can keep the ball. Is Deo Jota. Is Saka. Nice pass there. Oh, this is good stuff. Back to Saka. Maybe they clear it away. Arsenal, they're going to have a tough one here. They can barely get the ball away. Out wide there to Hakimi. Now Jota trying to find Saka. Still got the ball. This is just horrendous for Arsenal. Oh, I want to put like four past them. Why not? Cross it in, and Bappe. Oh, there's me saying I want to put four past them. The week could be 1 0 down. It's Jovic. Oh, no. Oh, what a fall. Jovic with the goal. What am I saying? You're only 10 minutes in. You've had a bit of possession. All this confidence just comes out, and we're 1 0 down. Do you know what? Going 1 0 down has just really woken us up. We are ready now. We need this equalizer. We're going to get it in the box. Oh, what a goal. Saka, I don't care about the celebration where you put your hands up. What a goal. What an assist. He finds the top right hand corner. Saka, it's just too good a tie. What? Check that out. It's Yoda on the ball. Now Mbappe. Good stuff there. Now Robertson. Not going to cross it in. We'll do this in the box. Header. Diego Shotter. I don't know why I headed that. Just take it down. Oh, here come Arsenal. Another counter attack. No, no. Don't go 2 0 down. Delete. That is defense. I think I was a little bit too confident at the start of this game. We're still 1 0 down. We could go 2 0 down if we're not careful. But the same thing against United will happen. We will just find a way to win this game. There is absolutely no way we are not going to win this game. Now to Ligt. Nice pass there. Mason Mount now in the box. Still got it. That's a handball apparently. We're going to VAR. 15 minutes to play. This would be absolutely massive. I don't think it's a pen though. Mason Mount. It comes off. Ooh, that's a pen. Comes off his foot. His hands there. That's a pen. CEO Mbappe. Can he win it here? We're going to go top left. Come on, Mbappe. Yes, keep the dogs the other way. What a goal. Kylian Mbappe does it once again. Where's Arsenal? Oh, that's an interception. That's a breakaway interception. Saka slots in Mbappe. Mbappe to get another. Mount is in the position. 3-1. Liverpool win it. What a fantastic goal, Mason Mount. You just cannot stop this team right now. Arsenal may get Champions League football, but they're going to be 20-odd points away from top of the league. Now we beat Wolverhampton 2-1 at home. Trent and Mbappe. The Champions League round of 16 is here. And guys, we're facing Copenhagen. So we've had a pretty good draw. We're going to rotate a little bit in the first leg. And we get a 3-1 win. Saka, Mbappe, and Gakbo. Back to the Premier League. Beating a lead 3-1. Hakimi, Mount, and Mbappe. Now a 2-1 win versus Brighton. We now have Arsenal in the round of 16 of the FA Cup. As I said, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world if we actually went out this competition. So I'm going to fully rotate. And if we beat them, then great. I mean, it's still a very strong side. Away at the Emirates. It's a 3-1 win. We're just too good. Diaz with a brace and Nunez. I think it's safe to say the Premier League title is won. We're pretty much 30 points clear from third place Man City. So we can honestly start prioritizing other competitions like the Champions League. It's a 2 all draw. Mbappe with a brace. Haaland and Leon Bailey. Of course, we are winning 3-1 on aggregate thanks to that first leg. We need to get the business done at Anfield here. And here's a Copenhagen attack. That's a nice pass. Oh, and the good stuff. Oh, what a save. Not the start that we would have wanted if we went 1-0 down. Is Mason Mount. Mbappe gets that out wide to Gakpo. Back to Mbappe. Now Trent. Bit of an awkward attack here. Give the ball away. Why not? But CEO Mbappe has the chance from the penalty spot. You guys know exactly what we're going to do here. The keeper is going to die. But then get it down the middle. Killian Mbappe with the goal. Question is, how embarrassing can we make this the opposition? Saka was suspended for this one. Here comes Trent. He obviously has that crossing ability. We'll get one in the box. Gakpo header. Oh, what a goal. That's what we need to do. We need to go to the byline and then cross it in. But Gakpo gets the fifth. It's Luis Diaz. Slots that to Mbappe. One touch. Power shot this. Oh, you're not stopping that. Killian Mbappe does it again. Can we get the fourth? That is the question. Here's Fabinho. 
Mbappe, little run over the top. Mbappe, what a save, rebound, boom. Luis Diaz, this team is just too good. And that home kit, by the way, I think I've actually done a really good job of it. FA Cup quarterfinal, fully rotated side, 2-0 win versus Norwich. Now we're in the semi-final. We might as well just take it seriously. Yoda and Darwin Nunez. To be fair, guys, Darwin Nunez in 10 games has seven goals. Every time we start him, he seems to score. Now we have Spurs at home. This could increase our lead top of the table. Gakpo with a brace and Kylian Mbappe. We're going to pretty much fully rotate here against West Ham because straight after, we have the quarterfinal of the Champions League. A 2-0 win. Diego Jota with a brace. And we're facing Juventus in the quarterfinal. I'm pretty sure in season one, they knocked us out. We had them in the group stage of season two and we also played them in the Chelsea. But here comes the first leg and we win 2-1. Just about winning. Mbappe and Gakpo. We get a 2 all draw versus Palace. We did rotate. But now we need to get the business done at Anfield. And to be fair, guys, if it's anyone to beat us, it's probably Juventus. Because what they did to us last season and in season one. And specifically, what Vlahovic did to us. Here's Mbappe. Now we've got Trent on the ball. Smashes it near post. What a save, Chesney. But short from the corner. Here's Saka. Still got the ball. Edge of box there. Fabinho goes to hit one, takes a block. That's a penalty, apparently. But the question is, is it actually a penalty? We can see from this angle that that probably isn't. I mean, it hits him on the shoulder. That is not a pen. Oh, Lucas Vasquez, Vlahovic. Why is he past it? Pogba in the box. Get a foot in, Virgil. Goaded. Absolutely incredible. Look at him coming forward as well. He's going to get an assist. Watch this. Mbappe, just make the run. We'll play it. Here he is, killing Mbappe. Can Virgil get the assist? Mbappe pulls it back left foot. We'll just pass it. Why not? Trent. Now we've got Robertson. Nope. Oh, what a save. Oh, that's an interception, Robertson. Now we've got Gakpo. Nice stuff. Onto that right foot. Now we've got Saka. Now Hakimi. Back to Saka. Onto that left. Goes to Ben Warm. What a save again. Oh, no. Frankie de Jong. Vlahovic. Oh, I don't believe it. He's leveled it up. What was I saying about this guy? They turn up in the purple and the pink, and Vlahovic does that. Here's Frankie de Jong on the ball. Now Lucas Vasquez. Oh, no. Here's Mazzawi on the ball. Lucas Vasquez. Still Vasquez. Now Mazzawi. What an interception. 15 minutes left to play now. We've been doing so well in the Premier League, but it's just completely different in this competition is Mbappe on its right dispossessed hey well your Venice are absolutely quality less than 10 minutes yes to lit what a tackle give it to Trent Gakpo's making the run over the top I can see it can he header that down to someone good stuff now here's Saka back to Gakpo tackled your Venice are so good oh that's an interception Virgil good stuff now Mason Mount oh tackled again this is just end to end right now this is going to extra time isn't it we've brought on some subs now of course we've got to get McKenney playing versus your Venice Dio Shotter again in the midfield. We've got so many good players we can bring on. Mbappe's making the run over the top. Good stuff. Killing Mbappe takes it down across the box. Oh, why has that not gone in? Are you kidding me? Gakpo, work with the bounce. Yes, he's kept it. Good stuff. Gakpo. Still Gakpo. Oh, yes. He's just gone straight around him. Still Gakpo. Slots that. McKenny versus the Atlantis. Get in. Weston McKenny with the goal. Number six, the American. The new signing. LeBron James is signing. Get in. Oh, that's a tackle there, Gakpo. One Mbappe. Make the run. We could seal the deal here. Oh, tackle. Shotter. Now to Diaz on the right hand side. He is right footed. Diaz finishes it off. We're in the semi final. Liverpool gets the job done. Luis Diaz gets the job done. We get a 2-0 win versus our rivals, Everton, Mbappe and Saka. And a 3-2 win against Villa. Just about winning Mbappe, Fabinho and Gakpo. And we have Villa again in the semi-final of the FA Cup. I did say we will now take this seriously. So we will put out a somewhat strong side. So we won't be rotating too much in this one. Or will we? You guys know I love to bottle or keep it close in an FA Cup semi-final. Oh, but when you have Kylian Mbappe on your side, it's just different. I don't know why it's so dark in the stadium right now. And Bappe, easy save. They have a penalty opportunity hit. This has to be a glitch. We're going to go to the left. Oh, what a save. I don't think he's conceded a penalty in like four or five. Here's the O-shot up. What a ball there to Diaz on the left-hand side. Saka's making the run. We'll sweat it across, though. Mbappe! Oh, he's just so lucky. Honestly, this guy is in the right place at the right time always. Here's Joe Shutter. 
That's a ball over the top there for Diaz. Can he take it down straight away? Okay, good stuff. Down to his right foot. Finds Yeah, Jota. Puts that now to Saka. 2-0. That should be us in the final. Saka with the goal at number 10. They have quite a few people back right now. How can we break down this attack? We're the best team in the world. We can do it. Here's Jay Shutter on the ball. Okay, there's a run there out wide. We can keep it. Luis Diaz. Okay, they take it away from us. That should be game though. And it is. A 2-0 win. We're in an FA Cup final. And we're playing Huddersfield Town in the final. The semi-final was between Huddersfield Town, Luden, and Aston Villa. I mean, how easy is this? And guys, the Champions League semi-final has been drawn. We're playing Tottenham Hotspur. Of course, this will be the next episode, guys. If you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. We want to see a Barcelona crew mode. My second channel is right here. We could win the treble in today's episode. And the only Premier League side that has ever done this is our rivals, Man United. We're facing Spurs in the Champions League semi-final. And you guys won't believe this. I don't know how it's happened. But we're facing Huddersfield Town in the FA Cup final. Now, we have built one of the best sides I've ever used on career mode. I mean, our entire defense is 90 plus rated. In fact, there's only two players in our starting 11 who are not yet 90 overall. This team is incredible. They really would be disappointing if we don't win that treble. Guys, I have a special announcement. Today's video is sponsored by Oprah GX. Oprah GX is a special version of the Oprah browser, but it's built specifically for gamers. It's also available on mobile and can be connected to the desktop version. The browser also has this awesome GS control system, so when you're gaming and you have your browser open, your game doesn't lag. It's perfect for when you want several tabs open, but don't want your browser to hurt your gaming performance. And the way it works is you go to GS control and you can literally limit your RAM and CPU usage. You can also put a network limiter on so you get good connection when playing online games. And you guys can see how well it actually works. I've got 15 tabs open on Oprah GX and 13 on Google Chrome. And Chrome is using more than four times the amount of memory than Oprah GX. GX Player lets you keep your favorite streaming services in one place. You can log into Apple Music, Spotify, YouTube Music, or directly from the sidebar. I use Spotify the most because it's my favorite, but you can use all the others. Whenever you start streaming, video or audio in your browser tabs, the player automatically pauses and then automatically resumes once the tab is finished. I highly recommend you guys join the club and get Oprah GX on your computer or mobile. Link will be in the description and the pinned comment to download it. Go check it out. We now have the first leg versus Spurs and we will be simming it. How are we going to get on? We are at Anfield and it's a 2-1 win. Kylian Mbappe with a brace. And now we have Bournemouth in the Premier League. They're in a relegation battle and three days after we have the second leg. So we will be rotating here. I mean, we've pretty much rotated in every position. Look how strong this squad is. Away from home to Bournemouth. It's a 2-1 win. Just about winning. Harvey Elliott and Luis Diaz. And if you're wondering how the Premier League's looking, we're 16 points clear from second place. Chelsea with a game in half. We win our next four games. We could finish on 103 points, which will be Man City's record. But now we have a second leg versus Spurs to get ourselves in a Champions League final. This is good from Gak early on. Mbappe's making the run. We go over the top to Mbappe. Takes it down. That's not great. I mean, that was a handball as well. That's a tackle to lip. Fantastic. Now Saka on the ball. Going to go around number 21. Still Saka. Manages to get the pass off. Mount now to Mbappe. What a tackle. Here's the number nine. Now slips that to Ndoji. Big opportunity for Spurs. What a block. That should have been the equaliser. Here's Hakimi. Now Saka on the ball. Mbappe's making the run. We play it over the top. He will get there. Mbappe, great touch. Mbappe, has he got the finish? What a goal, Kylian Mbappe. It's now 3-1 on aggregate. This player by now is the best player in the world. He may not have won the Ballon d'Or two episodes ago, but he should do. Next year, he will, because he's going to win a Champions League. Here's Robertson out wide. Now a ball to Gakpo. He can get that. Now Robertson. Nice pass to Mason Mount. Fabinho on the ball. Oh, that was a bit of skill from Fabinho. It's won a free kick. But is it shooting range? That is the question. Gakpo. Oh, just about. Kylian Mbappe. No, we'll get we'll get Trent on this one. We'll put a decent amount of power on that. Can we get it up and over the wall? We do. Oh, easy save. Probably should have gone on the outside of the boot. Mbappe wins the header, though. Fabinho. Saka's making the run. Over the top. What a touch. Oh, what a save. Ruba. 
Now, that is a goal and a half. It's 4-1. We're in a Champions League final by now. Saka, goal of the game. Fantastic assist for Benio. Splits the defense. Save, but the rebound is there. What a goal, Saka. Oh, no. His son on the ball. I mean, Spurs are so unlucky in this one. Or are they? Because we have completely outclassed them defensively going forward. We really have put on a show here. Basuma, that's a handball. I mean, we're going to VAR, but I'm pretty sure that was a handball. Let me know in the comments, what do you guys think about this one? I haven't even seen it yet. Basuma hits it. Oh, his hands up. That's going to be a handball. I tell you what, Spurs have an opportunity to get back in it. Penalty. Scoring this, they'll still need to score another two. I tell you what, Alisson Becker is the best goalkeeper in the world at saving penalties in this career mode. It's Gakpo. Oh, it's going to be a fifth. Killian Mbappe. Has he got the finish? Nope. Why would you doubt him? What a save. Don't believe it. How on earth has, has the keeper saved that? Edge of box. We're going to hit that first time. Easy save. And that's the 90 minutes. A 4-1 win on aggregate. We're in a Champions League final. What a win for Zidane's man beating Conte. He's still there at Spurs. But oh, no. We're facing Real Madrid in the final. If it's any team to face in the final, you do not want to face Real Madrid. Doesn't matter how good their side is. Doesn't matter how much better you are. They will always find a way to win that final. Newcastle away here. Fully rotated midfield and a 3-0 win. This side is so good. Our fully rotated side could get top four. And just to emphasize on how good our front three is, Mbappe, Gakpo, and Saka in around 45 to 48 games have 112 goal contributions. And we beat Southampton 1-0 thanks to centre-back Delict. We're officially Premier League champions. To be fair, we probably have been for a while. We have two games left to play and we are four points away from breaking the Premier League point record. But now we have an FA Cup to win at Wembley versus Huddersfield. We do actually have Chelsea in the league a couple of days after, so I'm not going to rotate Bully. But I sure am going to rotate a few players. To be fair, I'm not going to start Mbappe. We're going to start Nunes and, and we're going to start Harvey Elliott as well. Why not? In fact, it's probably better we start Diaz on the right hand side, but Jota will play. Delict will go off for Canade. Still a very strong side, but this is how we're lining up. You guys are probably thinking, how many goals are we going to smash past Huddersfield? I mean, I say we, perhaps some of you guys want me to lose here. Maybe some Man United fans not wanting us to win the trouble over the bar from Trent. Oh, that's a tackle, Gakpo. Come on, capitalize. Mbappe would be scoring this. We're not going to release the ball, though. Hyoda, still Hyoda. Going to go past him. Number 19, Diego Hyoda pulls it back. Oh, it's too good. Oh, what a player. 90 rated, 89, whatever he is. He's a bench player, and he's this good. What a Finish. What a finish on his weak foot. What a player. Oh, that's a ball in behind. Here's Simpson. Possible equalizer. Come on, show your man up. What a save. Oh, Trent. Oh, he's stolen it there on the halfway line. It's not quite a one-on-one, -on -one, but Trent fake shot. That was horrible. Diaz, little dink over the top. Gakpo takes it down. What a goal. What a finish. This guy is absolute class also. We don't have a bad player in the whole squad. Everyone is absolute class. Take Takes it down, finish. That was fantastic. Oh, yeah, bro. He just sat him down. We're playing some really good football. Slip this. This is going to be a goal and a half. What a finish. What a fi Oh, what a finish also on the rebound header. No one was stopping the power of that header, I'll tell you that. But the build-up play on this goal was absolutely fantastic. What a finish as well. That should be the whistle. Get this ball clear. I mean, that's an awful clearance. Oh, no, a penalty. Ref, you're 45 seconds over the what it should be. VAR is not going to take a look at this. They've taken a day off. They, they can't be bothered, but keeper, he's going down the middle he saves every okay perhaps he saves 90 percent of pens but no one cares celebrate all you want because soon as i click a we are champions off the fa cup look at that potential treble winning side with one of the most attractive livable home shirts you've ever seen but we still have a lot of work to do to win that champions league canada to lift it he has been here a while now to win the fa cup liverpool fc vamos get in we are champions as i said three days after the final we have chelsea at 
Anfield. And take a look at that Chelsea squad. It is looking pretty good. Tony Cruz must be pretty old by now, though. Chelsea have a corner here. They're going to cross it in. Oh, they've gone near post. Allison gets to it. Comes back out, though. Cruz back in the box. Havertz. Undobia. Now Isaac. Now to Sterling versus his former club. Good keeping. Guys, we only need 101 points. But if we're going to break the record, we might as well set a real good new one with 103. So a point here would be fine. But we, we want that win, of course. We always do. Here's Robertson. Now finds Saka. Nice bit of play. Through the gap. Still Saka tackled. You know what? There's something about this angle right here that I'm feeling confident that if we welly this, I'm actually going to score. Call this and back there around the wall. Ooh, just keeping it out. And that's it. That's the 90 minutes. A nil-nil. A point. We can only get 101 points. The fans are going mad. Do we lift the trophy now? Or against Brentford? We lift the trophy now. Here it is. The Premier League trophy with the red and white stripes on it. It's CEO, Captain, Kylian Mbappe to lift it. Premier League champions. 2025-2026. Don't know what season it is, but we are champions. Victorious. That is is now the domestic double. We are now hunting down the Champions League trophy. With one game left to play, we need to win. Get the three points to get 101 points overall to beat Man City's record. And that game happens to be against Brentford, a relegated side already. And to be fair, I'm not going to rotate too much. I know we've got a Champions League in mind. So I'll rotate a bit of the defense or the midfield and leave the deadly front three. Oh, when we kick things off with a penalty, you guys know exactly what we're going to do here. We're going to Penegre down the middle. The absolute cheek from the CEO, the captain himself, Kylian Mbappe. Oh, good opportunity here for Saka. We'll now play that to Mbappe. Power shot. Oh, caught him left-hand corner. Kylian Mbappe for the second. Oh, that's a ball out wide. That's a bit of play from Brentford. That's a goal from Brentford. That is fantastic. The build-up play, the pass, the finish, the whole lot on the ball-spinning technique. Woo. Oh, he's there. He shot though. Ball over the top to Saka. He's going to have to win that header to keep this going. Now to Mbappe. Do you know what? Long shot. Power shot. Mbappe. We're going for it. This will finish the game off his gap up. Now he finds Mbappe. Tucks it home for three. Three one. It's a hat trick. Hat trick hero. Mbappe. Oh, what a free kick opportunity here. I really would be disappointed if we do not convert this one. Trent is not on the pitch, but we can get this up and over the wall. Mesa Mount, saved by the keeper. I tell you what, Brentford could do a QPR here. They really could save City. They're back in it. They're one goal behind. No, but it's too late. That's the 90 minutes. It's a 3-2 win. That's the three points. And Mbappe, another hat-trick. Are you kidding me? Before we get to our biggest game of the series, we have an update on the player's stats. And Mbappe in 48 has 50 goal contributions. 32 and 52 for Gakpo. Cody Gakpo having a real good season and playing a real lot of games. 20 and 15 for Saka. What a signing he was. Now 91 overall at 23. We signed him at 86 overall. But as I said, our biggest game, our final game of this series. Can we win the treble? Can we beat Manchester United's record? Of course, we are not going to rotate a player for this game. So we're now on the way. The ball is moving 90 minutes away from I'm finding out who is going to be Champions League champions. This might actually be the 15th for Real. We are three seasons in. Is Gap on the left-hand side? An early goal would be fantastic. Going to the byline. Chips it up. Keepers on that one. He's come to Ligt on the ball. Now Saka. He's got to face Alfonso. I mean, he's just gone straight around him there. Laid Alfonso. Saka. Still Saka. Coming into the box. Onto that left foot. Through this gap. Can he keep it? What a tackle. Here's Alfonso. Oh, it's Vinicius. What a save, Alisson. What a fantastic stop. Best opportunity of the game so far goes to Real. And Alisson's on that as well. Oh, that's a foul on Mason Mount. We're approaching halftime. What's the referee going to do here? Yellow card. He sent him off. Kulusevski off of that. I mean, take a look. I mean, that was bad. But that's not a red card in FIFA. We're now 45 more minutes facing a 10-man Real Madrid. With a Kylian Mbappe, by the way. First opportunity of the game. What a save. Here's Mason Mount on the ball. Now moves that on. Trent, I don't know why I'm going for a long shot. What a save. 25 minutes left to play. And so far, we've 
have really had nothing. Trent edge of box. I'm finessing this one over the bar. We need to do better than this. And Mbappe through the middle. Oh, what an opportunity. Mbappe got all that pace. Terrible angle. He's going to hit it. Oh, I could have sweated across the Gakpo. 15 minutes to play. That should have been the goal. There'd be nothing better than a late winner here. I did not expect it to be like this. Trent, what a run. Mbappe, though, he's going to keep it. Still Mbappe. Out wide to Hakimi. Back in the box. Trent. Oh, what a goal, Trent. With six minutes to play, we're now in the lead thanks to Trent Alexander-Arnold. Great play from Mbappe. Great assist from Hakimi. Great finish by Trent. Courtois just fell to the ground and watched the ball. In fact, he got a little touch to the ball. Zidane winning versus his former club. Two minutes to play now. We have the ball. Keep possession. Saka. Yes, slip that to Mbappe. Intercepted. And we have it back. That should be game. We have possession the ball just don't let it go let's try to score another one Gakpo nice bit of space across the box nope. Saka what a save that'll be it though Champions League champions that's the 90 minutes played Liverpool victorious England victorious the side in red get their seventh Champions League in their history what a way to end this series if you guys have enjoyed it then leave it a like subscribe don't leave yet we need to see them lift the trophy I already know the next series some of you guys probably do it will be another red team and a team that is rivals to Liverpool. And a team that I support. Here's the trophy lift. Mbappe champions Liverpool. I don't know why the fans aren't cheering, but there we go. That is the win. Treble completed. We have now equalized Manchester United's record. The Premier League, the FA Cup, and now the Champions League. As I said, if you guys have enjoyed this series, leave a like, subscribe, turn the bell on. The new series will be out in a couple of days. If you guys want to see a Barcelona crew mode, my second channel is here.